All right. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Aklon here. Welcome back. Happy to have all of you here. And of course, if it is your first time watching the stream, then I am extra happy to have you here. I, uh, I practice, uh, well, I suggest practicing caution and uh, keeping your hands inside the cart at all times. If you're watching this on YouTube, of course, uh, come over to Twitch. Watch this live. It is more fun because then you can be part of the conversation. It really is as simple as that. <laughs> Uh, is the music coming through? Everything should be coming through as well, hopefully. <clears throat> Why is this source showing up? Oh, hold up. Let me just quickly, quickly take a look here at why I'm seeing this fucking source in, uh, hmm. Ah, yeah, that, that, that should be good. That should be good. All right, let's just make sure. We are actually live. For some reason, this shirt's pissing me the fuck off tonight. Uh, I have no idea why. Uh, but it, it is. It is. Uh, we've got a, a lovely evening planned for you guys tonight. Absolute amazing evening. Mm, let's just quickly see here. Mm, yep. All right. We can actually export this one quickly. Yeah, let's switch account quickly. I just want to see something here. <clears throat> I'm usually just waiting for people to get in here. Holy shit, this thing is getting 45 views already. I did not expect that many views. Holy shit. It's nice, slave to the cross. How you doing, bro? <laughs> How you doing? Um... I don't quite understand. Anyways, I'm sure I'm sure that'll be fine. <clears throat> Just quickly see where are we? Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, add all of that. <clears throat> Slave, how was your day, bro? Sorry, I'm just quickly trying to set everything up. To the point where this is what was this Friday? What, what am I exporting right now? See, this is quite weird. Um, I can't remember what I'm exporting. Oh, right, I remember now. Never mind. If I can remember, I remember what I'm exporting now. Um, really boring. Why was it boring, slave? Why was it boring? Mm, some wow and some hearts with viewers. Okay, that should work. Start this fucking export. Get off my back. Adelia, how you doing? Sorry about this, guys. I'm, I legitimately just remembered. I have not actually exported the latest video. Party Nate, how you doing, bro? Oh yeah, life's been good, man. Life's been good. I have nothing to complain about. I've got Biltong for D&D tonight. I've got Druvors for D&D tonight. I've got Pepsi Max. I've got some fucking coffee. Life's brilliant. UK Hooch, how you doing, bro? How's life? How's everyone? How, how's your day been, guys? Let, let, let's touch base for a bit. What have you guys been doing? Slave to the Cross have already said he's had a really boring day. Uh, he's not explained why yet. I'm still waiting for him to explain why. Adelia, you've had a boring day too? Why is everyone's day so boring? It's about to turn up, by the way. It's about to turn up. We're going to be playing Among Us. And we are absolutely going to be playing Hide and Seek in Among Us. We're setting to a uni test and I had no interest in any game. Oh, shit. That fucking blows. My power is going out at 2 a.m., tomorrow morning so that's gonna be fun i'm literally gonna be stuck for two and a half hours with no power uh i'm not looking forward to that at all at all let's do publishing here on all things uh on all things publishable and then we can uh then we can fucking start let's just see alex did he come back to me 
All right. Uh, we'll see in a moment. Pepsi Max, you were safe for gaming. I just went to airport to drop a family. Oh shit, pardon it. Did your family come to visit? No job in quarantine. But you guys still have massive quarantine going on, Adelia? Playing Town of Salem again because I was bored. I've never played Town of Salem. I don't think. I'm trying to remember if I've ever played it. I don't think I've ever played it. Um, but I also don't know if it, like if I've never heard of it, it's probably not my type of game. Like there's a there's a higher than usual chance that it's not my type of game. Um quickly want to see here. Right, this should be this should be all good. Just throwing it out there. We talk about the void, the light, what could happen with the light lunatics on Draenor, Koresh, etc. But people seem to be missing a problem that already on Azeroth. The Evergrowth that ended up outside Stormwind during what? That life going unchecked is still there, just chilling in the in the hills. Well, it's not necessarily that it's chilling in the hills, but I do think you you have a point. There is a lot that Blizzard can do moving forward to take the story in all sorts of different uh, directions. To make a better thumb. Alex, yeah, maybe just a thumbnail that, that, that jumps out a little bit more, you know? A little bit more clickbait. Not clickbait in terms of lying, but just like that thumbnail that that sort of preset that we use normally it tends to not do that well similar to among us there's another game that's very similar to among us that people want us to play which is called project winter i think being a mike how you doing bro you you actually spoke about project winter right my job is remote is there a, a chance you can adjust what's your profession adelia well just on the yeah the the fucking lockdowns it's interesting to me. We have these lockdowns and the number still seems to go up. So, I don't know. Um, there's there's a quote. Do the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. But, you know, what the fuck do I know? Um, all right. I just want to close down quite a few of these fucking panels that I've opened right now. <clears throat> Let's just quickly see. Okay, this this should be good. Let's switch accounts again. Go back to Akalon. You guys are now part of the team, by the way. I'm doing all of my behind-the-scenes shit right about now. Sathex, how you doing, bro? I don't know what this is for, but I want an NPC name for me. Sathex, uh, that's for D&D. Uh, so later tonight during D&D, um, people get to sort of use their points to either influence the story so they can create a, alongside Apocalypse, they can create um some or other scenario that we have to go into or they can get npcs name after them so what is your npc name so i can quickly uh screen capture it and then send it to alpocalypse wait you're a web designer delia maybe maybe we need to talk maybe you and i need to talk baby panda how you doing lockdown will go on forever at this point yeah fucking seems like it Adelia, but I do think you and I need to talk at some point. I have a, I have an idea for a website that I want to begin, which is basically just going to be called Lore Central. Macmillan. Macmillan, I'm so fucking glad that you are here. Macmillan, everyone that has access to the emotes, if you go into the emotes, you will see a brand new emote. It is the Superman sign, so to speak, with an M on it. Uh, Macmillan, that is your emote specifically. It's literally called Ackle Mac. It is your emote. Uh, Ferorius made it for you. Um, so, yeah, that, that's yours, bro. To thank you for all of the support that you've given to the channel. Uh, Lunavira, how you doing? Norwak, how you doing? Sasa, how you doing, bro? Um, but yeah, my, my idea for the website, effectively, is... No, Macmillan, you don't have to thank me. Thank yourself. I mean, the amount of effort and the amount of gifts and shit that you've given to this channel has been absolutely amazing. So, it's the least I can do. How are you good, sir? Why are you dead? Like, you're, you're always so dramatically underwhelmed by life. What's going on now? Um, please only run ads that advertise meat on your site. Uh, UK Hooch, the, the plan that I have for this website, you guys can tell me what you think. It's still early days. I haven't really decided where I want to take it exactly. 
but it's going to be you know a website where all of my videos is going to be present on the site obviously um there'll be uh it, it will basically replace the patreon as well as probably the youtube channel member stuff but then i want to go a step further um so all of my videos will go on there some videos that will never go onto youtube will go on there you know some of the behind the scenes stuff and so forth but i want to go a step further and i actually want to reach out to some of the people um so some of the lore scribes and the mods that we have on the channel that, that love coming up with theories, giving them the ability to post articles on there with their own speculation theories, right? That I will go through before I publish them. So basically I'll play the editor, making sure that these are good theories that people want to see, as well as a collection so that if there's a new interview done with one of the developers about the lore of world of warcraft it will be there right there so that you can actually fucking see it and uh battle of the theories you're actually that's actually an interesting thing that was something i was thinking about uh maybe every week having two theories that people have to vote on and uh the winner gets a, a money prize right because the money that's on that website will not be coming to me it will go to paying uh contributors of the site the people that create the site paying alex um for the work that he do he does on the site uh if adelia comes on board paying her for the work that she does on the site and then just making sure that it becomes sort of the place to be if you love lore right if you love the lore of world of warcraft that's going to be the place to be because you're going to get so much out of it we have to wait till Monday to have the several different holes in the walls fixed in the bathroom and I need shower for a birthday dinner tomorrow at my sister's place. Oh, that sucks, Luna. Membership, it's really simple. Macmillan, thank you so much for the tip, dude. Really fucking appreciate that. 23 US dollars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And can we now get the spam of the Macmillan emote, please? The Mac emote. That's basically what needs to happen. Whenever uh, Macmillan gives stuff in the channel, that's when you spam that fucking emote. 100%. Just to say thank you to him because it is... He's the first person on the channel to have his very own fucking emote. Just uh, chill out chat with other lore guys, girls. You can huge effectively the plan that I have for it, right? So the plan that I have for this website is going to be... Um, if you go onto Discord, right? And you go to the lore channel... You will find millions of theories that people share. The problem is most of those theories are completely broken, right? You have to go through pages and pages and pages on Discord to make sense of a single theory because people are discussing these different theories. Wes, how you doing, bro? Uh, discussing these different theories as people are coming up with them. So it's very difficult to follow. Now, I already know who the people are that contribute the most to the lore discussions on Discord. And I know who's people that, that's coming up. For example, a good fucking example of this would be Ziang over on Discord, as well as Pain Fairy over on Discord is another example. There's a couple of others, uh, actually a few others, but um, they just use those two. Well, what if I gave them an actual place to share their full-fledged theory, right? So they write out the entire theory for, for all of the members to see. And uh, if that theory does well, I pay them for it. Like they're a genuine contributor to the site and therefore they get paid for their contributions to the site. Um, and that way it becomes a very interesting place for people to hang out in, right? It becomes a very interesting place for people to hang out in, to have conversations in, uh, have a forum where people can actually um, it's a really nice, uh, jiggle in the titty. Uh, the weight loss is going. The weight loss is definitely going. Apocalypse, thank you very much. Dude, really appreciate that. Appreciate you for noticing. Um, but it could go fucking faster. I'm, I'm legit getting frustrated on how slow it goes. Dragon Wolf, how you doing, bro? Omi, thank you very much for the prime stuff, dude. Really fucking appreciate that. Three months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's basically a streamlined area. It's an area, and I don't mind eventually bringing other people in. If the website really takes off, I'd be very interested in reaching out to someone like Paramonster and saying, hey, would you like to contribute to the site, right? As just a, an extra way of making money, right? Um, maybe Noble reaching out to him. So if the website really takes off, I don't want the website to be just mine, but I, I sort of basically think of it as a wow head. Think of it as a wow head for lore. Yeah, like an MMO champion for lore. 
where all you get is fucking the lore of the game because many of us don't give a shit about anything else in the game right when they come up with class balancing changes sure that's fine maybe my class does an extra bit of damage but i don't give a fuck right because i don't play well for how much damage my class is doing if there's a new story around my class that excites me far more than my class doing three percent extra damage or some shit like that uh, so there's a lot of posts on wow and, and those places that just doesn't appeal to me as a lore guy and i think there's people in the community that maybe don't have youtube channels but they have amazing theories i, I know because i use a lot of their theories in my own videos right uh so it would be nice to get them a place where they can actually share their theories and it's fully fleshed out um someone like apocalypse for example comes up with a trillion theories the issue is just he doesn't really make videos on those theories. So what if I could pay Apocalypse uh, a fucking salary and say, hey, apart from just being a mod on the channel, how about you share your theories on this website? So yeah, Seven Raven, how are you doing? It's broken in RBGs. Uh, they better nerf Convoke further. Convoke, I've heard, is, is quite fucking bad. You'll do that. Very fun indeed. I'm going to take a short nap. All right, Lena, see you later. <laughs> Va, how you doing, bro? Apocalypse, that's the plan. That is the plan. I, I want to start a YouTube uh, a website. Um, one of the re uh, other reasons for it, of course, is you never know what's going to happen. By the way, we're just sort of stalling at the moment, guys. We're going to be playing Among Us in a bit. Um, and for those of you that don't, that, that want to play Among Us with us, um, please do. We're going to be playing Hide and Seek tonight. I've never played Hide and Seek in Among Us, but I'm I'm told it is crazy fun. So we'll do Among Us and then we'll do D&D later. Um, you battle the winning theory with your own. Sassafras, I have no issue if a theory is really good, making a YouTube video on that theory, either explaining why I don't agree with it or what might be wrong with it, or just highlighting the things that they're saying in the theory, right? So yeah, th that is something that would happen. Maybe podcasts could be something that I think could work on that as well. So people who really fucking enjoy um, putting out theories, getting them on a podcast and, and doing a very long form discussion in the World of Warcraft lore between myself and two or three other people within the community. And you can just download that as a podcast and listen to it whenever. Um, those are all things that I'm working on, right? Vote again. We will be voting again. No, it's not right. I agree with you just giving shit. Take Moon out of it. I have no problem with him pulling that thing into line. Um, Sam Raymond, what do you mean? Play instead of stay, uh, staying silent. Yeah, you can talk while you play. Yes. Convoke. I've never been a victim of Convoke. We did some PvP last night, by the way, for those of you that didn't know. Uh, there was a year. I did PvP for the first time in fucking years last night. And, uh... I actually had fun. I actually genuinely did have fun. This is literally where we PvP'd. Sasa, we PvP'd on NA. I had fun. Mike didn't have as, as much fun because he, he was the flag carrier the whole time. <laughs> but as a hunter, I was fucking wrecking shit, bro. We're just out of control right now. Bro, I don't even mind. As a marksman hunter, the burst is on my side. You're literally zeroing people from 100% to none, right? It is so much fucking fun. <laughs> I will send you a message tomorrow, Akko, with some ideas if you want about the site. Uh, please do, Adelia. I am very serious about this website. I, I do think it's something that could work. Um, and I, I think it's something that could have unlimited potential because it doesn't have to in a website like that uh, Valkyrie, how are you doing? <laughs> On a website like that It doesn't have to be just wow stuff, right? You can have your wow category and people that signed up to the wow category That's all they'll ever see But all of the other games that people care about could also be there, right? Uh that is insane. I have 65k uh, HP on my Demon Hunter, and Raid Paladins and Druids can 100 to 0 me in 2 seconds. I don't know. I used to love PvP back in the glorious days, but it stopped being fun a few expansions ago. So, 
PvP was actually a lot of fun for me when I didn't have to, like last night, I didn't care about winning, right? There was at no point that I think, oh my god, I have to win, I have to win, I have to win. It was just fun. I was just laughing and joking around and getting pissed off at the fucking DK, Frost DKs that just basically stick on you and there's no way to ever get out, right? Um... Anyways, just to bring it quickly back, um, how would you guys feel about a website like that? Would that be something that you guys would be very interested in? And it's going to be cheap, right? If I'm talking about subscribers or talking about you need to subscribe, I'm talking about $5 maybe a month at the most, right? And all of it will go to contributing to the people that actually fucking make the site good, right? Um, it's not going to come to me. I do well enough on YouTube. I don't need to fucking... I don't need money from anywhere else. All of the money that I have... All of the money that I make on Twitch, the money that I make on Patreon already goes to paying Alex. Uh, so I don't want to pocket that money. I want to use that money to grow the site. Um, just kidding. I think it's a great idea. Put it this way. If you don't do this website after, uh, now after telling us, I will be upset. Sasa, we're going to start working on it. I think... Um, do you want or just membership uh we'll probably do we can always do a donate also right and based on the amount that you donate you get access to whatever uh, and maybe even like a, a free version of it so there will be posts that is free for everyone to watch and then maybe you know some of the other posts so all of my normal videos to go onto the website that'll be free anyone can watch that on the website if they just don't want to do it on youtube right but then we can do it anywhere else as well Sathix, holy shit, thank you so much for the five community subs, dude. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, thank you so much to everyone that keeps gifting. Sathix, I really fucking appreciate that. It means the absolute world to me. It's like a private Facebook, Locals, I think it's called. Except, well, it would be similar to Locals, only just for World of Warcraft lore, gaming stuff, right? It will be a website for gaming, where we all just... Everyone that loves lore in world in games will will want to be on this website, right? Um, locals is uh, Dave Rubin, right? I'll definitely look at check it out, but isn't it? Um, isn't locals sort of? I think it's hidden. I think you, you have to be invited to it. Which lawyer? The Canadian lawyer. Because I love his fucking videos. Viva. That's the one. That's the fucking one. I love that guy. I fucking love that guy. His videos are so fucking good, dude. Uh, oh, I need to go check that out. Let's quickly see this Damuj. Quickly see this damage. Andy just linked this. You need to curse me to smell me tonight. Nice, nice. Convoke, convoke. Wait, what? What the? What, are you, what is this game? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even you fucking to, see it. Hold up, I didn't even see it. You need to curse me to smell me tonight. Nice, nice. Convoke, convoke. Wait, what? What the? What, are you, what is this game? Holy Jesus. Oh my. Nice. Bro, that was Convoke, quick. Convoke. Look at this. Wait, what? What the? What, you, what is this game? <laughs> oh, oh my god! Just quickly look at his health up there, yeah. Look at his health up there. Just look how quickly it disappears. He says, "Convoke, convoke, convoke." Probably trying to interrupt it, and it goes off, and it's like insta fucking rip. Just look at his health. How quickly it disappears. In fact, his health disappears so quickly that the animation on his health bar can't even fucking keep up with it. Like, just look at this. Nice, nice. Convoke, convoke. Wait, what, what the, what are you, what is this game? <laughs> oh my Jesus. That is, uh, that is fucking disgusting. That is fucking disgusting. Bro, yeah, you, you can't have that. I'm sorry, but...
that amount of burst whoever at blizzard this is why i told you sometimes i just wonder what the fuck the people of blizzard has, is doing yeah that's is what this game is but you can hear the pain in his voice just listen to this this is what makes it funny listen to the pain in his voice as he gets fucking right L listen to the pain in his voice now guys can you curse me to spell me tonight nice nice convoke convoke wait what what the what, you, what is this game <laughs> Boomkin goes brr. <laughs> Bro, you hear the pain in his fucking voice as he just uh, he, he just doesn't know what to do. He's just like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh, but that was funny. Boomkin goes brr. <laughs> <laughs> oh jesus um uh, yeah blizzard needs to do this uh, they need to fix this you i mean who fucking thought that, that was a good idea like who at blizzard thought to themselves you know it's a great idea let's give them an ability that spams 16 of their fucking spells all at once They explain this to me, right? I mean, from a balancing standpoint, you can think to yourself, well, 16 might be a little bit much, right? That's like 30 seconds worth of fucking spells all crammed into, what is it, a second? And, and no one at Blizzard went, guys, this might be a little bit overpowered. Just a tad. This might be a little bit too fucking much, right? No one at Blizzard paused to go, uh, guys, I can see how this could delete tanks. <laughs> Never knows how you're doing. Wait, this is another one? Hold up. There's 53 seconds. Let's watch this. Popping bottles in the I can't listen to this though. Uh, this song would insta fucking get uh, would insta get fucked. Like we would insta get DMCA claimed. I don't know why they thought this was a was a good idea. I, I genuinely don't. I I don't think it was a good idea. I I think. Anyone with any with half a brain could tell them this is not a good idea. So, Nusa, how are you doing? All right, are we playing? What are we playing? Leveling my boomkin. Yeah, fuck it, guys. Fuck among us. Let's level boomkins. <laughs> Nusa, why? Come out of this and uh, can't do it fast enough. All right, so we're playing Among Us, yeah? Mm. We are playing a very special version of Among Us tonight, by the way, guys. Oh, shit. Look at this. Look at this, Mike. Look at what I have available. Look at what I have available right now. For as little as $10 a month. Look at that. I've been telling you guys for a long time, get yourselves the Microsoft Game Pass for PC. But none of you fucking listen. None of you fucking listen. Uh, you get all the good games. Probably the things on his school computer during school hours. He's 13. Nusa, what was he looking at? I hope Project Winter is a blast. People want me to play Project Winter. So we may play it. So now I have a two. Royal J, you will have a two. Indeed. We will play Project Winter because apparently it's very much like Among Us. Nusa, is it porn related? Let me ask you that. Is it porn related? At 13 years old, it's what every boy does. I can, I can promise you that, right? I, I'm not going to give you parenting advice because I'm sure you know exactly... 
what you're doing i will just say this the biggest mistake you could do is freak the fuck out the the biggest mistake you could do because then you make it um off limits you, you make it bad and that will draw him just more into it the best thing you can do is just go hey maybe if you want to look at these things look at it at home don't watch it on the uh, at home uh don't watch it at school right don't be stupid about it he's doing remote learning and the teacher caught him the teacher saw what he was looking at uh well just tell the teacher to just tell the teacher you, you punished him and then that's it right choice of viewing time yeah he basically just watched it at the worst time ever i'm not saying he should watch porn uh, you, 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 you need to explain to him why porn isn't good, especially at that age. I mean, porn isn't good for anyone, right? Uh, porn is very bad. It is very bad. We know what it does to the mind. It, it, it sets up all sorts of bad neuron networks that, that really does do a lot of harm to society. But at the same time, if you make it a, a bad thing, it's like smoking. When my parents told me, you are not allowed to smoke, what was the first thing I fucking did? I started smoking because if you tell a boy especially a teenage boy he's not allowed to do something oh my god <laughs> how quick we fucking do it it's what i do for a living hey i don't mind people who do porn if there is a like look i'm i'm a complete fucking libertarian in this regard you do whatever the hell you want to do and if there's a market for it someone's gonna fill the market may as well be you right make your money do whatever the fuck you want to do and i don't fucking mind right i don't mind i just i know how bad it is for us as well right um so that that is sort of that that's sort of the only point i'm trying to make here <clears throat> drink at home if i wanted but could not go anywhere guess how much i cared to drink not up i was lucky in that once my parents found out that I was smoking, they were actually very cool about it, right? And so uh, with drinking, they were far better. So the reason they didn't want me to smoke is because when I was young, really young, so at the age of three, I inhaled um, poison, right? Um, it was a cleaning liquid, like a liquid that you used on floors. But back then, there were no regulations about what could be in these cleaning liquids. And so I... Literally, my mum was on the phone. I had the bottle and she yelled at me to put down the bottle. I got a fright and I fucking inhaled all of this poison into my lungs. I was on a respirator for three days because I couldn't breathe on my own. After that, I had asthma, right? I outgrew it. I eventually, the last asthma attack I had was at the age of seven or some shit like that, right? So my lungs obviously repaired itself over time. But the reason they didn't want me to smoke wasn't because they had, and my dad smoked. He was a medical fucking doctor and he smoked, right? Uh, he quit years ago, but he did smoke. So it wasn't so much that they didn't want me smoking. They just didn't want me smoking because they thought I had asthma and that could that could be the end of my life, right? But when they finally found out that I, that I smoked, they actually handled it very well. They, they, they sat me down. They said, look, this is your life. It's your choice. It's not a choice that we necessarily agree with, but we're not going to stop you. As long as you do it at home where we know and we can see, that's good. And um, with drinking, it was exactly the same thing. As long as you fucking uh, drink at home. Like, I could... I, I started finishing my dad's beer. Like, he would always leave this much. Not much, like a couple of sips. But I was seven. And then I would feel like a big man. Because, you know, I, I get to drink beer with the guys. You know, but it's like this much. And it's already diluted because my dad never told me this. But before he gave it to me, he would actually throw some Sprite into it just to dilute it so that it's actually just fucking Sprite with the taste of beer, really. Uh, but I felt like a big guy doing it. So when it came down to actually going out, I wasn't nearly as bad as my friends. My, fr my friends were getting into all sorts of fucking bullshit. And I was... Uh, I was fine. I wasn't doing half the shit that they were doing. I mean, I wasn't... I, I was still naughty as shit. Don't get me wrong. I was a very fucking naughty boy. Um, but my parents knew about all of that. <laughs> Mind of the door. Thank you for the subscribe. Something really fucking appreciate that. Welcome to the Fat Fuckers Club. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
We're talking about drinking. We're talking about drinking. We're now basically talking about something that happened at, at uh, Nusa uh, with Nusa stepson um, and giving her unsolicited advice. So he was logged into school and using school computer when the teacher caught him. I mean, how embarrassed is he about it, Nusa? Can I can I just ask? I am schooling son all the way to college age. Still naughty, dangerous. Yeah, I'm definitely still naughty. I will say this, um, Babas, I sort of want the opposite. If I ever do have kids, I want them to be fucking naughty. Because I think if you get it out of your system when you're younger, you actually grow up... Um, I think you just grow up better. Because you don't have to do all that. You don't have to catch up at any point in your, in your life, right? Um, so I sort of think it's better to just uh, do that shit whenever the fuck you can. All right, we got the code for Among Us. Who's playing Among Us with us? Can I quickly, can I quickly hear? Who's playing Among Us? Not the sex part, just the no brain choice of timing. I mean, the fact that he fucking watched it. I'm proud of the fucking kid. I'm going to be honest. I'm very proud of the kid. Watching porn during school time. Now that is commitment to your fucking uh, hormones, bro. That is commitment to your hormones. Your hormones are going, fuck, bro. We need to see some titties. And you're going, yep, I'll do it on school. <laughs> he is stupid for doing it during school. But I will say this. When you're a teenage boy, once your hormones start speaking, your brains fuck off. Actually, fuck teenage boy. It is literally uh, every guy. Guys get brainless whenever we fucking, whenever the hormones get going. Like, you lose all sense of reality. When you see a, see a beautiful girl, you make an absolute ass, as you ass out of yourself almost 100% of the time. Only enough uh, blood to fill one. Exactly. Fucking exactly. Sob. <laughs> How you guys doing? There you are. Good. Hey, what up? That's what I'm saying. Like, dudes have two brains, but only enough blood to fill one. Like, uh, this is more. this is fucking truth. This is truth. Robert, we I, we cannot control ourselves. You see a hot chick, and it's like everything stops working. Everything stops working. Your your whole life goes into slow mo as you're just going fuck. I can see my whole life in front of me. I can see how I'm marrying this chick. I can see everything right now. That's a that's a quote from that's a quote from from Robin Williams. But we do. I mean, uh, oh, there was research done. True. There there was research done. When was this? This was like years ago already. But the research was done. Men fall in love within fifteen fucking minutes. 15 minutes you fall in love you know yeah. that you're in love it, now it takes women like three time. months i've made some bad decisions in, that, in those 15 minutes <laughs> bro bro and fucking now like you know everyone has told you this is a bad girl she's gonna fuck your life bro she's gonna burn you your shit listen. she's gonna steal yeah. your crap and and then you see her for the first time and you're like take my shit take my shit take my life i don't care i just need you Ru <laughs> Ru please ruin me <laughs> and then that exactly so attractive. like it's, there's a biological reason they they have to cover that one week and you speak to them you know they're fucking crazy you'll, you'll get away from them that's why they look so happy yeah your brain just shuts down it goes let's marry Let's breed. Let's have kids. <laughs> I think it's both. I think infatuation sets becomes love eventually dangerous. But infatuation, what's the what's the emotional difference between love and infatu in, infatuation at the time that you're in sp experiencing the infatuation? Is there an emotional difference that we can even? Because I think love is required for long term, 
But infatuation is all you need to fuck up your life, right? You legitimately need nothing else. And yes, everyone can join. We have 10 spots. We're going to be playing hide and seek. Uh, for those of you that don't know how hide and seek works, uh, we fiddle around with the viewer just with the distance so people can't see each other as well. You have one imposter and there is no reporting of bodies. The one imposter goes around killing as many people as possible. He has to kill everyone before everyone gets their tasks done, right? People don't have to do their tasks immediately. They can hide away if they want. But whoever gets the task them first or kills everyone first, that's the winner of um, of hide and seek. Should I lower the player speed? It's on 1.5 right now. No, no, it needs to be quite high, actually, from what I heard. From what I heard, the, the player speed is usually very high. Uh, is there a way to disable the boot body thing so nobody accidentally does it? Oh, I turned off emergency meetings, uh, but there's no way there's there's no way to turn off uh, report body, so it's just something that we just don't do. And if someone does do it uh, by accident, then we just go skip out. Another why do you hate you Alex why do you hate making thumbnails uh let's just quickly let's just quickly I want to show you guys this which one do you guys prefer stream this thumbnail right uh, or this one which one catches your eye more First one, I want more. First one, definitely. Basically, which one is more clickbait? Which one would you click on and then be angry at the end because it didn't actually offer everything that you thought it was going to offer? Sure. One would be clickbait. All right. Um, Posting new code. With new stuff, we kind of have to go a little bit more clickbait, but none of this is lying, by the way, because uh, based on how Blizzard stated their shit, that is effectively what it is, right? Charmancer, thank you for the follow. Really fucking appreciate that, bro. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My background, my mind goes, oh no. All right, so we're going to use the second one then, Alex. We'll use the second one. Now we just need Ferrarius to meme that uh, that picture. <laughs> oh, bro, the fucking uh... <laughs> Luna. How was your nap? You literally missed the sex peak, by the way. Uh, let me just quickly make sure I'm not on the wrong page. I was literally on the wrong page here. Macmillan, holy shit! Thank you so much for the five community subs. Dude. Really fucking appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys know what to do, chat. Let's get spamming. Let's get spamming. There we go. There we go. Uh, show McMillan the love. Ferrarius slaved and slaved over that fucking uh, emote. Why do I not have access to... Oh, oh yeah. You see the new uh, emote being spammed? I mean, that <laughs> emote, Ferrarius is pretty proud about that one. While at PvP. All right, Nisa. The vision. It's... What's oh, up? Let me just quickly change this. Hold up. Give me a sec, guys. Should we increase the crewmate vision? No, um, crewmate vision is supposed to be uh, low. I know the one link that you had posted about the... Alex. I yeah, I, I tweaked it all. Imposter at 0.25 and crewmate at Fuck. Point. Alex? Yeah, Alex? Your thumbnail is literally 0.2 megabytes. Too big. To be a fucking um, thumbnail. Yeah, I tweaked the crewmate vision uh, down. Like, look at that. So then it's more, I guess, a little bit more jump scary. <laughs> but we can, we can, we can, we can also tweak it as we go. <laughs> See that yeah, file is bigger than two megabytes. <laughs> crewmates, <laughs> What's that? There, there should be a slot open. open. How many? How many how many slots do we have at the minute? We have five. five. Four. All right, we have five slots open, I believe. Four. So 
Good. Get the fucking four. Do we have four slots open? Yeah. Well, I assume you want to play, so yeah, four slots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it would be get preferable in. if I could play as well. Like, well then get in here. <laughs> claiming what, Luna? Oh, oh Luna wants to come as well? Luna wants to come as well. All right, so All right. we have Luna. Hold up. I need to fucking... You got a new code for the room? Yeah. It's been marked. Yes. It's already posted. All right, copying it now. <coughs> All right, getting in. Uh, how do I move the overlay? Oh, my God. Adelia is back. She's going to be the imposter every single fucking time. Don't kill me first, Adelia. Which which overlay? The voice overlay? Yeah, on the game. I have no idea. At least you will know if I'm uh, imposter, Rako. <laughs> yeah, this time I will you... know that you're the imposter. Yeah. So that's all right. So, so another thing is that the imposter gives the crewmates 10 seconds to vamoose and then they and then they start Alex what in the fuck is going on did I click on the uh, wrong one the... no this is still 2.2 2, Alex uh not 15 still 2.2 2. you can see here on properties it needs to be under two megabytes. Why is it so big? Thumbnails are never this big. It's PNG. It should be. But I uh, earnings too. Oh, there needs to be another earnings. This one, better fucking work. All right, all right. Yes. Changes have been saved. Yeah, there's Delia mistakes have been made. App settings. Scroll down to <laughs> gaming settings overlay and you can change which side you're in as well. Yeah, there's still Yeah, it doesn't move. Yeah, Thank you very much, Alex. Really appreciate it. Dead Rick, how you doing, bro? There's still uh there's still a uh, kill cooldown. Oh, I need to I need to fix the overlay again because we've once again fucking changed the... Mm. We've once again changed where we host. Where the fuck is it now? Trishan, thank you for the follow. Really fucking appreciate that, bro. Uh, yeah, Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, Apocalypse, yeah, that's perfect. Um, this fucking, literally, they announced 12 o'clock today that it is returning. Yeah, so. Yeah, nice. You're very quiet, Apocalypse? What the fuck? He changed the mic so he's not uh, cracking. How about you suck my dick, my friend? Uh, Mike <laughs> would do that for you. I really don't wanna. If I can help I, it. I I I I I I am not gonna. Uh, I, I that I'm not gonna. No. That's Mike. Just, don't don't take one for the team, bro. Get on your knees and smile like a fucking donut. I am not fighting Shammy over that. Okay. Line you all up like circus seals, man. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> uh, Tristan, yeah, you're welcome right. to join. So we, jump into, you. Jump into so Discord, had... by the way, and join um, in-game. If you join the in-game channel, uh, we'll drag you up if there is still... There's one spot left. Who still need to come in? Where's Sussy Boy? I don't so know. Same... We have one spot. So so we've had the sex talk, we've had the dick suck. We, 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 need, we, we need just a general bingo card of stuff that is said during the stream. <laughs> Hold up, I need to I need to turn fucking Apocalypse's user volume up. Speak again, Apocalypse. Perfect. 
actually not going to know. Yeah, I need to hear him because I genuinely can't fucking hear a word he's saying. Like, genuinely can't hear him. Or he's probably busy eating his pizza. I'm going to restart the. Uh, Kill count and dudes can't wreck you in like two minutes. Um, I think, yeah, also kill time needs to be turned down. I think that you need to put it to Mate, almost as soon as you fucking ask me to speak, kill. my laptop crashed. No. Oh, kill. shit. But now it's better. Is... I've turned you up. This is the recommended uh, kill cooldown. Mary, how you doing? So if it's, oh my if God, it's how still you doing, bro? too long, we can tweak it after. But this is what the, the recommended is. I mean, 15 seconds is still pretty quick. Yeah, it's 50 seconds, but uh, at the start, uh, usually they say 15 seconds for the imposter to move. Yeah, pretty much. The imposter like usually the... stands still. Everyone else gets to hide. What's the kill yeah. speed at the moment? Kill cooldown 15. Yeah. Everyone yeah. that I've watched play it has the kill cooldown at like 5 or 6. Because uh, basically the imposter needs well. to be kill people as quick as possible. People need to get the fuck yeah. away from him. That's basically because remember, he already Whether... like you can already not see each other, so it's very easy to escape from the imposter. But I think that yeah, also he's the got kill the, distance. Yeah, he's got the imposter vision turned up and the crewmate vision turned down. Because normally, it's there's a... imposter visions 0.25, crewmate visions 1.5. He's got imposter vision turned up to 0.5, crewmate to 0.75. So there's barely a difference between crewmate and imposter Whoa. vision. There's also a shit. There, there, there's also a bunch of tasks as well. So, guys, also, is just... there? Oh fuck! It's the Russian. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Gaki, are you in? Uh, well, it seems there are eleven people in in the voice chat. But there's only nine people in the game. I think some people oh. joined the voice chat and didn't join. Well, um, if you, w I can come. I, I, if I there mean, is we a get, free... we get people in. As they as they want to join, like you guys know how it works. We kick people out, we get people in. It's we try and give I'll everyone be there as much in a minute. to play as possible. There's only one well, spot left. Needs to jump in we're yeah, gonna I'm gonna be there in a, in a minute. Yeah, we we we're gonna get kicked out of this room as well. There we go. Yeah, now we need a new fucking key. Fuck's sake. Bro. Yeah. All right, don't post the room key just yet. Don't make the room just yet. Wait. Um, we're gonna make it first 10 people that join they're in I need one spot and that's it right that that is legit it wait is Mike low as well Mike is pretty high for me but I'll turn him up a little bit so that you guys can hear him better all right can you all, everyone can you all, can you all hear me just fine now How's, how's yeah. the mics now? All right. There's not really much else I can do about my mic volume. No, I can turn it up still 80%. So I can I can boost you much higher for me, which is all that matters so that the stream can actually hear you. Yeah. Okay, Mike, post the new room code. Everyone should be ready. Okay. I'll delete the other one. Now, get in. We want 10 people. We're going to start. If we have to start with less than 10 people, we start with less than 10 people. That is the beauty of hide and seek. You can actually play with less than 10 people. One spot. One spot. Uh, 15 man. seconds. Abador, how you doing? You, you can still do regular Among Us with, le with, with less than 10 people. Yeah, yeah. We've got 10 people. Let's fucking do this. Just hitting record here. By the way, we can talk now. This game is actually better. Oh, Why did Alpaca leave? Oh no. Uh, oh, Alpaca DC. I am the imposter. Okay, who's the, who's the imposter? Imp you have to tell us. Me. Royal I'm J. The imposter. All right, we fucking hide. I am counting in ten now. All right. Okay. Ah, uh, how do we play exactly? I'm sorry. Dude, you just test hide. is normal. Yeah, and Play hide from the day. imposter. And and I can't report yeah, uh, bodies, right? No, That's you don't right. report bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay.
I got booted from the server. Rude. I didn't do that. <laughs> I don't know why you got booted. I died. And we can, and we can still chat as normal. Oh, did you get yeah, DM first? Holy shit. Yeah. Fuck was, you! Uh... Fuck you! Get away from me! No, get wait, who's the imposter? Who's the imposter? Oh shit! Royal <laughs> no. J. Royal J. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Cassie. Remember that the vote body. See? Wait, I don't uh, know where the fuck I am. Can we say where he is? No. Echo me, he's coming for your booty. No! Let's tickle that booty oh, hole. Don't let him do you, it, dude. Royal J. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, there we go. Wait, how did you know I was here? <laughs> Something fishy is going on here. I smell a fucking rat. I mean, you were at the start. <laughs> Should ghosts also um, do tasks or is ghosts not allowed yeah. to do tasks? I do want to say that it's a little bit too easy to see. Don't report bodies. Just oh, skip. You, yeah. You have to. Report. You have to turn out the lights as well. But yeah, it does appear as if I can see way too much. In all the games that yep. I've watched, uh, you could see fuck all. Like you can literally not see um, the guy running right behind you. You can't see him. Why are we? Why did you report body? Okay. Who reported the body? I did by accident. It's just. Uh, by the way, Bye. the kill uh, sh should be short, short distance. It is short. Yeah, you have really? to kill the lights as well. Yes. Kill, kill the lights, Royal J, and no one's allowed to fix the light. Lights need to be fixed last. All right. Ghosts, we need to get these tasks done before Royal J kills fucking everyone. Here I come. I'm gonna go to dinner brunch. All right, Mary, see you in a bit. What am I supposed? To? I don't know half these fucking tasks. Okay, never mind. You think it's too many tasks? Really, Ace Nubs? I don't think so. I mean, if people do right. their tasks, uh, but we do have to turn down uh, the vision. There, there seems to be way too much vision here. Yeah, I can like. It feels like yeah. Gold, to be honest. Yeah. You better run. What am I? Uh, should right. we have the uh, task bar visible? Oh, fuck. Oh. There's no way to turn the task bar off. I mean, I could turn off the comms so you can't see anything. So we just run from task to task and murder you all? Yeah, you're not allowed to turn... Uh, like, you just have to fucking basically... Oh my god, you killed everyone? See, with us not, be see, with us yeah. not being allowed to turn the lights back on, he actually has better vision than we do, because his vision's already turned up too high. The recommended yeah. was his at 0.25, ours at 1.5. And his is at 0.5, ours is at 0.75, with the lights off, ours drops down to 0.25, his stays at 0.5, so he's got better vision than we do. He sees us before we see him. Yeah, I would I would say like the vision needs to be so he does turn off the the imposter turns down the lights as soon as the game starts, right? The light is the last task we are allowed to fix, right? Or do. Um we need to do all of the other tasks and then get the lights on. But it has to be done in such a way that either the crew and the imposter has the exact same vision, or the crew can see a little bit more than the imposter can. But it has to, it can't be uh, what it was now, basically. I was standing in the corner and Royal Jay could see me from the fucking, um, literally from the hallway. The yeah, so that that is too high. 
I also find it easier if you, after you kill someone, just stand by their body as imposter. So, you know, it gives people a chance to run. Hey, let's go. I'm the imposter. Who? Me, Nicholas. Nicholas. All right. Yes. Turn off, turn off the lights, Nicholas. Okay. Oh, fuck off, I was AFK. Shit. Did I turn off the lights? God, chat, I don't know. I don't want to go out. Like. This is so dangerous because he could legit see us here. Wait, where's my fucking tasks? How do I get there? I, I genuinely. Oh, I need to go in here. Is it here? All right, let's, let's just let's just get away from him, chat. Let's just fucking get away from him. It's just so dark here. Where's my tasks? All right, let's do a download. Has anyone been killed yet? Yes. Yeah. All right. Who's been killed? A lot of people. Oh shit! Oh hello! Uh, leave me alone! I lost you. No, I don't believe you. I did. Yeah, I'd never believe him. He's fucking lying 100%. I'm behind you. Yeah, he lost you. What? It's not true. <laughs> Is he the only one alive? No. I'm still alive. I I'm I'm a little bit fucking afraid to run around here because uh, God knows where this guy is. Hey, hey, hey. Scared me. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. No! Oh, hello! Get fucked! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my fuck. Wait, did you see me the whole time? Yeah. That's bullshit. Wait, is your vision really big? The vision is very short though, but I can see you, kinda. Oh my god, it needs to be turned. It needs to be turned down even more. There's no way to turn it down more. Turn it to zero. You can't. It's not possible. Then... Like how how short I would have to be imposter first so I can see exactly how short the vision needs to be. Yeah, it's like I don't know. You can, it's like one and a half bodies if that makes sense. Like from from me. Yeah, it's the same as screw. Yeah, but then I couldn't see you. How the fuck could you see me? Fuck. Oh. oh, wait. Oh. What? No, she was a ghost. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Uh, for a second there, I did not fucking know what I was what I was doing. This map is actually quite fun. No. Except for the doors. Fuck those doors. <laughs> Man, Where I hate are the you? Doors.
Hello? How would E have helped, uh, Alex? Own. No, oh my god, come on. Oh, I'm done with tasks. Yeah, me too. I'm close to done. If we can get the task done, I'm almost done, yeah. Just got a wire in and I'm done. I think if you two finish, we're gonna win. No! Don't finish! I've done with tasks. Go, go, go! Fuck Who off! Task left? Fucking no. do quick! What about the lights? I can't Sorry. lose. Yeah, just fix lights. The lights need I to did be light. I just did lights. What? I did them because it was my last task. Fuck! Who still has tasks <laughs> left? So that means that be- Oh god, fuck. Our task it means completed it... bar is not going up. No. Oh that's my That's because it's- That's because it's set to only update uh, at meetings. I'm gonna change that. Yeah, no. Yeah, there's yeah, no possible way to... for us to win that. Yeah. I, everybody finished their task. We technically won. It won't- It won't- No, it won't- it, it- Tasks still get completed, just the bar does not update. The bar updating has no bearing on- on us winning or not. No, no, but- No, the bar has only... to fill up to full for us to win. Mm. That's how we win, is fill the bar up to right. full, or eject okay. the imposter. Yeah, but it fills up either way. Exactly. The bar didn't move at all. Yeah, okay, because it when, would, it would when... have moved if we called the meeting, but it still moves. Yeah, it but there's still... no meetings. So, yeah. so but we the can't call a meeting. The bar still gets filled up regardless of whether there's a visual yeah, representation filled, or not. if it doesn't show as filled, is basically the issue. Like, so who who's still had a task? Because Me, I, I like did wiring. say that I still needed to finish wiring. Oh. Uh, okay. I do think I do think I agree with chat here. X Snaps is saying there is too many tasks. It does feel as if For the sure. killer really yeah. has a long fucking time to kill everyone, uh, with everyone. And considering that yeah. people don't actually want to run around doing their tasks, it is fucking scary running around doing a task because you could run like what i did That's i was going to a task and i ran into nicholas it's like oh hey i came to offer myself to you <laughs> any any not necessarily any... too many tasks it's just i had like three of them that were fucking ridiculous to do like on phone that um like pathway one you're you're cutting out a one on i <laughs> can't. And then the two actual long tasks is way too long because they make so much noise that any fucking imposter can just run up to you and be like, "Oh, hey, you're here. Cool. Bye." Uh, any Wait. other changes? Yeah. No long tasks. All short tasks. I think. Yeah. If you're gonna do long yeah, tasks, go one go. maybe. But if we can just do it like no long tasks, short tasks can be increased a little bit. So that's actually perfect, Mike. Five short tasks, two common tasks. That, that's perfect. Um, the player vision at the moment is crewmate vision is one and imposter vision is 0.25. Should we have lights on or off? Light should be off, right? Yeah. Actually, I've never, I've never seen lights have to be Doesn't off. Uh, actually, I saw the settings for the hide and seek. Uh, crewmate vision is five. And uh, the imposter can only sabotage the lights. I've seen imposter sabotage comms. You should be able to see more than the imposter as a crewmate. Like, you should be able to see more than the person. That way you can, like, avoid. Uh, can we check the crewmate vision 5 and see? It doesn't yeah, go maybe, up to 5. Maybe. Oh, okay. no, I think she meant, I think she meant <laughs> point. I think she meant point 0.5. I, no, I sort of think no, it says so 1.5, yeah, yeah, and maybe not have the lights enough. So maybe make imposter vision 0.5, uh, no, crewmate vision 1.5. Uh, crewmate vision says no, imposter vision needs to be low because so then they, they yeah, it, it says crewmate vision 5 and imposter vision uh, uh, 0 0.25, yeah. Five is fucking a lot. Yeah, but it's yeah, like with the lights off, the it makes a huge difference. Uh, like we that. can check if it's. Right, if, if we're going to have the lights off, then it doesn't matter what we set crewmate vision to. We yeah. can see what. The point. Leave yeah. the lights on. Play with the five crewmate vision, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. 
because it's better when the imposter can't see you and they're the one trying to catch you. That's the difficulty. Yeah. yeah. It's be it's uh, better for, you know, like, you can see the imposter and he's just running around cluelessly. Especially if you have an open mic and you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. Any, All right. any other so changes? No, I think that I think that's everything. Uh, basically, what we're gonna do then is, but if we're gonna have it this way, uh, next game we should see. But then maybe kill the uh, kill cooldown should be sh should be lower, because the the imposter already can't see shit. I'm fucking Wait. a crewmate again. Uh, uh, I am I am imposter. Of course, seconds. the Russian is imposter. Let's go. How do oh, do I wait? How how long do I wait? When your kill down. Ten seconds. Uh... Oh, Basically. it's on. I can kill now, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go now. Fuck you. I could have killed like. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I have no idea what the task is. <laughs> Literally having to run around into each fucking room to try and find shit. You do. You do. You do have a map. How the fuck Help, did I you? I get the map on for me. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Though. <laughs> this is bullshit. I thought the kill distance was short. I it is short. That, that is short. That's it might as short be a, as it can go. Might be a bing thing then for me. Because I, I'm pretty sure I turned around very quickly, and he just, he still fucking got me. No. Run, Royal, run! What? Oh, hello. Ah. I, I Come here. His ankles. I clipped his ankles. Oh no. Oh my god, can we do a different map? This fucking task is impossible on phone. Like, I literally can't <laughs> see anything at all. <laughs> what, map, what map do you want to do? Just change map to this fucking gateway task where you have to drag it. that thing through the little maze. I can't do it on yeah. phone because. Oh no, Renadel! No! <laughs> oh come on, I was finishing! <laughs> Uh, my tasks are done, by the way. Yeah, I was doing. Wait, whoever's in there. Yeah, you should. I uh, like me because I got this fucking draggy thing that I can't do on phone. Come on, I finish, finish my your task. tasks, you bastards! Oh shit! Quick, Where the hell are you? Where's that fucking Russian? He's over here. He's, he's <laughs> down here. Come, come with me, Uncle. <laughs> <He's down. laughs> Where are you, Kaki? I I don't know actually. I'm lost. I don't know this <laughs> no, map at all. No, run! Run the other way! Why? Oh no! No! Run! Where is she? How do I do this? Oh, I gotta move this. The fuck? Take your oh. time. Take your time. No! Kaki, bro, how much can you see? Uh, I can't almost see anything. King Julian, how you doing, bro? I mean, you can see everything as a ghost. I gotta do med bay stuff. Yeah, the ghost can see. No, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kaki is running around like a headless chicken. Come on, bro. Who has dust? I think this is my last I'm one. I think I might lose eye. I don't know what the fuck is. Are we finally? Is there yeah, only one person alive? Him, uh, like uh, four times. Is there only one person alive? You gotta do something right here. Yeah. Oh my god, he scared me. Jesus. <laughs> my last one. Oh fuck. <laughs> GG's. Come on, what? Cookie. Oh uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh spooky. Alright, yeah, that was that was. Spoopy. I think that was perfect. Uh, so I you, think that was, but you yeah, change the map. Yeah, let's change the map. Dude, I physically cannot do that fucking task. It sucks. All right. I'll post a new code. 
Alright. Okie dokie. I kind of like this, uh... I, I do enjoy the, uh... So, lower, uh... Hide and seek. Crew vision? But... It would be 100% better. I think crew vision can come down to three, just because fucking five was literally my entire screen, so... <laughs> Uh, did yeah. we use the light? Sabotage no, the light? No. Uh, maybe sabotage the lights now and seek with five. What's going and on? And there's no point in doing the. the then there's the, no point in adjusting you, yeah, crew, 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 crew vision. vision. Yeah. No the the, the oh, light the automatically as... takes yes. it down. Yeah. Yeah. I think. So, um, what do you mean, game is full? Oh, yeah. Who fucking joined? Who just Ooh. fucking snuck in there like a can? Uh, D D direct. Oh, Daybreak joined in. Dead right, yeah. Dead right. But who the fucking jump queuing asshole? Alright, <laughs> 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 uh, we'll do we'll do one I mean, game I can leave. And... It's not a problem. Um, Daybreak. Yeah, I don't think we were we were mm. rotating mm. out quite yet. Yeah, you we'll, can we'll enter all fucker. Deadrick will yeah, rotate on the get, next. Uh, will rotate on the next. Uh, start, so two games, boring, basically two games from now, will uh, rotate. Yeah, so then more, more people can come in, uh, and some people will oh, step out. This map is annoying. Um, no, it's, you don't have to apologize. It dude, has at all. hiding spots like, though. Really not yes, even an issue. All right, yeah, better hide you. Okay, um, hide you The. I'm the killer. The the basic so. At least most of us know this map. Mods tend to yeah, rotate out less them. because I kind of yeah. need the mods in here to do stuff, but okay. I, I rotate out everyone else. I'm on the hunt. Oh my fuck, he, he's on the hunt. Damn it. Royal J, stay the fuck away from me. Damn it. <laughs> Hope nobody's in that kitchen. I'm coming. Oh. No! <laughs> <laughs> you, you fucking cunt! Of everyone you could kill, you killed me? Why? What did I do Why to you? Don't kill, go down, fucking do him! <laughs> oh my god. I hate you, Royal J. I fucking hate you. <laughs> everyone is standing there and you kill me. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't see. The vision is pretty nice. Wait, oh, hello. <laughs> no! Don't worry, I got to right lock dog, how you doing, bro? Like, during the next game, you? uh, do I go if there is room? White. King Julian, uh, we'll move in. There's Mike a few people like waiting. Daybreak is waiting to get in. No, you won't. Um, <laughs> but I will kitchen, try and Mike? get as many people. Like, we're doing yes. one more game machine? with this crew. Yes. And oh. then we'll switch out, right? And then we'll start switching people in and out. Um... God, oh, it's fucking a dealer. You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> that's because that's because you, you're biologically trained to know that she Adelia is imposter, uh, yeah. the killer. It's, uh, is the imposter? Yeah. She's always the fucking imposter. Kaki, Kaki, come with me, dude. I'm coming. Safety in numbers. Hello. Safety in numbers. Fucking. He's gonna be oh. your. He's gonna be oh, your. Come shield. on. That range. Yeah, I'm right. gonna be the second imposter. Before I do. Oh my god, come on, you cunt. Got eight seconds before I kill again. No. Better, I saw you right up there. I'm gonna get you once it's ready. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. I, I, love how, I love how fucking evil you're being about it. Oh, I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> Run, little girl. <laughs> right away. Oh, right away. Uh, my my, my tasks are finished. Oh, Who, I'm almost done. Yeah. I have two more tasks. I'm done. Rip my body. F and chat for my body. Tasty oh, I just need Hello. wires. Hello. God damn it. <laughs> uh, Tasty Berries, we're not playing WoW um, today. Mainly because we're doing Among Us and then we're doing D&D &D and then my power goes out. So sadly, no WoW today. But we will be doing WoW again next week. And uh, uh -huh. then I will be playing on EU. I will be playing on EU for a bit, and then we'll do some NA EU oh, rotations. Oh. <laughs> You're lucky, I My tasks are done. Come on, come on. I'm hiding. Come now. on. Who still has tasks? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hide. Yeah, yeah. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I got greenhouse and office to do. Oh, Did you do it? 
Oh my god! <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's what you have to do, oh, but that's no? clever. Oh, oh shit! Fucking oh, Royal J got her. <laughs> I know your your quest is in reactor now. Look at that. <laughs> Done. That was my last task. I'm the hunt. I'm doing, I'm doing Wait, who's, who's, who's imposter? Royal J. Royal J? Royal J, yeah. yeah. Like green. Anyone else Just here? Gonna get down to the launch pad. Hello? One more task needs to be done. Come on, you can do tasks as ghosts, so we are hiding. You one have more the, task. Time we have to... one more fucking yeah. task. Yeah. 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 Baby! <laughs> <laughs> Told you you wouldn't get me. Told you you wouldn't survive. Maybe, maybe, yeah. the task. <laughs> maybe <laughs> put the long task. Oh, do Luna, long I task? can imagine. Yeah, maybe There's do one long task. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have wires. I used Adelia as a meat shield. Because I got lucky that yeah. you all went to the reactor. I was like, okay. I saw Royal J come and I ran past her and let him hit her first and ran past her. <laughs> it's just, it's just a little bit fucking sucky that I got killed with everyone around me. <laughs> Fuck! I want to be imposter. He's like ran right in time. Who is it? Dragon Wolf's the imposter. Oh, okay, so light blue. Be careful right there, they're gonna get you. So, a tip for everyone, don't fucking stay near Akko, because you will die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they all want to fucking, uh, they all want to get me. Oh my god, Mike, I thought you was it. I, was, I forgot it was, uh, nope. Oh, god damn it. Oh my uh -oh. god, I'm too used to being a ghost. I just okay, tried to run she through has a fucking down now. Move, move. Oh my god, Adina, what the fuck? I don't feel safe over here. Oh my god, Alpaca! Oh, hello. If you die, just get away from him! Oh, oh my god, Royal J, you fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> Ideally, you're scared. It's shitty, the kill doesn't come off the cooldown at all. The cooldown timer doesn't go down while you're in an event. No, I won't. Like uh, you shouldn't be on event here. <laughs> I was scared. No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Did you see me standing right on the other side of the door? No. no. Jesus. You're scared? This is actually worse than the normal one? You're scared of everyone? No, Everyone's no, scared no, of the shit go. out of you. Don't, oh, no! Beat it. Hello? You fuck! Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh oh. Oh my god, we can't go in there. Come on. Royal is going to die. I'm done tasks. No! Yeah, well, he's like in there. Jesus, that's a lot of bodies. Oh my god. He's just standing there. I'm gonna yeah. go I'm I'm gonna go hide as a ghost. No! Fuck you! I knew I should have fucking faked the door. I was stuck with Dragon Wolf in the fucking chamber. Come on, man. Just yeah, I don't think you can do it. I don't think you can do it with two two imposters. First, two imposters would kill is, people uh, so fucking quickly. First, so you don't have to go in late game. Yeah, I, that's what I, I did, and I died in reactor. Uh, go to the main domination. I, I, will I say, haven't seen any rules about what no! I win. <laughs> I haven't, oh, on, I haven't, on I haven't seen any, sorry, yeah. I haven't seen, I haven't seen any rules about uh, other sabotages, so I don't know if we, the imposters should be doing that or not. I did no sabotage. I mean, I did use the vent like twice. But yeah, yeah, you're allowed to use vent. I did I'm not you supposed to use vent, so I stopped it. using vent. No, no, no. Yeah, it's, you're uh, you're uh, allowed to use vent. You are allowed to use vent. Um, just, uh, just, just not, 
just just no sabotaging. Yeah, you can't sabotage. Okay. I do want to say though, this map isn't the um this map isn't the I think the best one for it. The one that's yeah. the best is that one with the big uh the meeting room in the middle and it sort of goes in a circle. The reason yeah, this map really isn't as good as the exploit reactor. I just stood there yeah. in the hallway and just kept killing you guys as you come yeah. through. I had yeah, yeah. six bodies. So, what, this map has so kill points. It has choke points where all the imposter has to do is just go stand on the choke points and he'll just kill everyone that moves past that. Whereas if you have a circular map, there, there's no choke points, right? So the, uh, it's the I think it's the second map or whatever. The one we don't it's play a, as often, actually. The smallest one. That would be the first map, because this is the second map. Uh, the scale, I think, is the best. The, yeah, the, the yeah, do, the do we want Do we want to swap to that map, then? Yeah, yeah I think map. so. I think so, yeah. Okay. Better just keep <clears throat> trying different things. Yeah, because I, I immediately realized in this map, cafeteria and reactor is kill points, right? Because yeah. there's only one way yeah. in. There's only one way out. There's literally... Like, if you get caught in there, you're, you're fucked. They're gonna get you. So you sort of do wanna... Um, you want a map that goes in a circle? Oh, I have to hit the bathroom first. Alright, oh. I think someone left the game. Um, yeah, I, was, I was waiting for my cooldown, and all of a sudden, two of them were coming up. I was waiting to go down through the door, through the decontamination chamber waiting on my cooldown and two people come up they couldn't even see me on the other side of the door as soon as it opened i killed one went into decontamination <laughs> waited for my cooldown come out chase them around killed them waited for my cooldown got into yeah. decontamination somebody else is coming up through okay killed them yeah, yeah. i didn't even get a chance to leave decontamination because everybody kept trying to come up to reactor and running right into me All okay right. i'm back uh king julian is in now but dead wreck also wanted to uh, get in so is there anyone that's willing Slave to the cross, so you're new, right? Oh. You've only just joined. I'll step out. Is that correct? I'll step out for a minute. No, I've been playing like two Oh, you've been playing. Okay, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Um, if there's anyone that wants to step out, uh, Daydrake, I know, wanted to come in. I'll um, step out for a few matches. That's fine. Um, let's just see. Is Daydrake here at the moment, or did he go do something else? I mean, you can camp, but that makes it less fun, right? So yeah. the most I wasn't fun even is trying if to camp. Yeah, I no, mean, no. I in was that... just waiting on my cooldown, and it just happened to be everybody coming up through the camp. Yeah, yeah. And... But I think on that map, it's easy to camp. The problem is, where else are you gonna fucking go, right? I mean, mm -hmm. there, there's only so many places, and every single place that you can go is a choke point. So. Yeah, that is a bad map for it. The other two are this one and the uh, outside one. Yeah, are the better maps for it. The, right, the only reason why I the only reason why I swapped, I swapped oh. I swapped off of here I left so dead or somebody else can get in if they want. All to. right, dead you can get in now if you want. Uh, Dragon Wolf is stepping out for a couple of games so you can step in. The only reason why I swapped to the, why I swapped off of the, the the first map is because Apoc was having issues with one of the tasks. Yeah, I mean the first map like, is. Phone, I, 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 my finger when I drag that thing through the maze, I can't see the fucking maze because my finger's on the fucking thing. And then as soon as you let go, it resets. Yeah, it's it's actually super annoying on PC as well. So, I feel you. Yeah, this map doesn't have a maze, so it's okay. Sophia, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Really fucking appreciate that. How are you, Sophia? I haven't seen you here in a while. Can we get some love and chat for Sophia? And the gifted subs. How's the snow going, Sophia? Yeah, happy Friday to everyone. We can start the game now. Um, I think the, the problem with that other map that Apocalypse is also having problems on is that one is, again, a little bit too big, right? So there, the, the imposter has a pretty horrible fucking t time at actually trying to kill people. Who's the imposter? Who's the imposter? I have no idea. Hello? Someone with a, without a mic, maybe? Oh uh, yeah, I'm the imposter. All right, you okay, have to yeah. give us uh, you have to give us a bit of time before you start yeah, killing people. Yeah, usually it's your it, usually it's your it's your cooldown on your on your kill. Do, 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 do.
Oh my god, oh shit! So, so who was it? Who was don't imposter? go that way, Eklon. Uh, it's yellow. I don't know who that is. Uh, don't go that way, Eklon. That's what that thing. He got, he killed Brown, whoever that was. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, he didn't get you. Oh shit. Hello. Just fucking run! I'm afraid to look at my map. I'm afraid to do fucking anything. I mean, it, it, they can Why literally be this? anywhere. What is this fucking task? Come <laughs> what on. Is what task? I don't want to say because it'll give away what, where I am. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm not. I'm not giving away. Oh. I, I'm, I'm oh, not going to give away. I think away he's behind us. I think he's behind us. It is King Julian, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Oh, I need to go over here. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus god. Christ. <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me. Stay the fuck away from me. You are a liability. Oh no, I hate this thing. Oh, oh no. shit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! Oh my god! Ooh. Hello? No! Uh, fuck you, bro! Oh my god! Oh my god, no! man. <laughs> Macmillan, I'll be oh shit. Thank you so much for the five okay. minutes. I did really fucking appreciate that. Do we get the uh, emotes? Emotes for Macmillan, please. Let's see them going. I got scared. I kept failing it. Luna, see you back in your house. I have only one, I think. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> fucking. Well, Luna okay, died first. I'm happy about that. Oh, we have to do some tasks. Let's fucking okay, get it going. A bit. It's like all over the place. I'm oh, done with that. Why? Fuck, why fuck, fuck, fuck me, fuck. Luna? What did I do? Who has tasks? I do. I, do. I can't believe he fucking got me. How I'm did he get me? Crowd. I'm pretty sure it's my ping. Sure, Fact that I'm at 260, because I'm, in my opinion, I was well ahead of him. But Luna, I'm that's because have, every like single time, bitch. every fucking Chill. time, when you Why get uh, when you get imposter, you kill me yeah. first. Oh my god! So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, All right. No, how many one. how many tasks do we have left? Uh, I think I got three. Done. Do it quickly. Get it done. We can win this, boys. We can win this. Make it work. Finished. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm all done. Royal, you made me poop a little bit there, buddy. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Fucking get your tasks done, boys. This is a long one. Right, like, where's yeah. where's King Julian? Alright. I can see him. Yeah, I have no idea where he is right now, but Oh shit! Shit! He's my O2! He's my O2 He's chasing me right now. Okay. Yeah, well, do a task. Oh, my finish is shit. I'm done. I'm d trying to hide. Who still has task left? We're so close. It's one task. Yeah, it's, it's literally one, one task. One, Who still has a task left? One tiny task. Uh-oh. Uh, go down. I'm back on him. Uh -oh. oh. Yeah. Uh, he was he was Fucking him, yes. <laughs> that was close. Is full? What the fuck? How's the game full? <laughs> um, so, someone needs to step out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll go, I'll go. Guys, don't don't join the lobby uh, unless we tell you to. Otherwise, it, it creates a lot of fucking problems. Yeah, a lot of confusion. All right, we're 10 again. We're ready. Do we feel that the kill cooldown is sufficient or should it be lowered? 
to think uh, about. How long is it? You're it's welcome, Jen Rat Guy. Alright, I'm oh, imposter. Oh, Get shit. fucking going. He's gonna hunt us down. Mark, I'm not Five, doing one four, three, two, Rob. one. Ready or not, here I come. We'll go right over here. Oh no, not these. Fuck me in the ass. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god, I don't need to <laughs> <laughs> you will be the first one to die. I hear you. I can hear you guys. Yeah. Oh, Mike, is that you? Yeah. Hello, Mike. Very creepy little shit. <laughs> hey, Mike, I'm coming for you, bro. Do, 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 do. Are you? Royal, don't be sneaking up on a boy like that. Oh, you Come can't! <laughs> God damn it, it should have went south. <laughs> oh. Alright, who's next? Who's next? You weren't even in view of me when you were when you were trying to find me. <laughs> Who wants to die next? Who wants to fucking die next? Me, I'm in med bay. I'm coming for you, bro. Thank you. At least now I can do my tasks in peace. Jesus fucking Christ, alpaca. Oh my goodness. Simon says is like the oh, worst no. fucking time. Oh no! It's the murder. Don't go down now. Don't go down. It really, oh, it really oh, is. Oh, 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 where are you? Oh, the murder. Oh, oh, fucker. Oh, shit. oh fucker. Somebody pooped out an echo on that. Come back here, bro. Just want to talk. Just want to have a chat, bro. Where are you going? I uh, I don't want you to take on my booty hole. I'm okay. You, you don't want to you you don't want to pinky up the stinky. I have three tasks. I got one more task and then I'm done mine. <clears throat> what the fuck? How do I keep getting tasks? What the fuck is this shit? Fucking wiring can suck my nut. There, now I'm all done. Oh my dude, god. Dude, dude, dude. Whoever's over there on that side, you better run. Yeah, I'm done as well. I only have two tasks left, but they're in the same fucking Echo, you're so slow. Yeah. There's like six people alive. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm done too. Yeah, fuck for, knows where they are. Yeah. For, for someone who wants a lot of blood, you, you're, you're taking your sweet time about it. Oh, Damn. whoa, he j I just witnessed the murder. Oh my god, I've got you, I've got you, they wrecked, let's go. <laughs> come here, go. Julian, 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 come here, come here, Julian. Thank you for taking a look for me. I'm still alive. Do, do you have tests, Julian? I'm, I'm oh finished, my god. I'm done Oh yeah, me too, me too, let's just Oh my hide. god. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Let's do this. Come on, ghosts. Do tasks. We are hiding. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Get this last one hanging in, y'all. Oh, yeah. GG. <laughs> what the <laughs> shall yeah. me? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, so Wait, where did you guys hide? In in Mad <laughs> Bay. You, you saw us. Med, like right at the bottom. <laughs> You oh my god. Uh, you maybe, I was maybe. just in there. Fuck me. Maybe the, okay, the vision uh, is perfect. Wait. The vision is perfect. It really forces you to watch, to look at every yeah. single angle. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, the crewmate is kind of big, I think. It's supposed to be big. That's what yeah, she It might be. But it might <laughs> be. I'm sort of wondering if the crewmate vision isn't a bit too big. Because. Yeah, I think it's too big. It, I mean, it it's fine three. that you can, yeah, it's fine that you can see the imposter, but you shouldn't be able to see him from across the fucking map almost. Uh, okay, I'll lower it to two times two then. See how that works. Yeah, let's see if that works better. Yeah, we can just work it down. We, could... and we can work it until it, 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 it feels just right. You know that? They, they yeah. almost want to call it the G spot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Send back uh -oh. and how you doing, bro. Who is it? I think it's Goldilocks, mate. Just right. It's just right. I think it's I think it's Luna. 
Luna, are you the fucking killer? She doesn't have mic. Uh -oh. it's, uh, it's Luna. It is Luna. Luna, I'm going to mate bay. Yeah, it's Luna. I just got killed by her. By Luna, her. I'm over there by the uh, meteorites. <laughs> you really have to change your. Uh, you really have to change your your task tactics when doing this mode. Yep. Yeah. No. You gotta, like, watch where they are and shit. Go the opposite way. Yeah, like don't 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 do oh. weapons right off the bat. I was about to accept my death when I saw Echo. I was like, "What? Well, I'm dead." Tasks are pretty scary uh, to do, you, though. You shouldn't, you shouldn't camp a uh, place. You should run around, Luna. Yeah, don't camp. Camp's yeah. pretty cheesy. Yeah, don't camp at all. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. No, no, no. Oh, she yeah. didn't see me. She didn't see me. Nice. Uh-oh. Running in uh -oh. corridors is uh -oh. so fucking scary, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yellow. Fuck you, Luna. Fuck you. Oh, the Jesus Christ, Royal. <laughs> she was around that area. Oh my god, I just found I don't go down. Ah! Oh, I'm dead. Ugh. Fucking hate doing these. Oh, so the, the one task that I was having issues with was the it's a stupid card swipe. You're, you're doing it too fast. <laughs> it Fuck is, off. No, I'm not. It is a little bit scary in this one if the task fails or you don't do it right because you're like, Fuck me. Just get it done. Pretty I need to much, move. yeah. I need to fucking move. Oh, Jesus Christ. I got one more task and then I'm done. Yeah, me too. I'm about to finish my last one. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna hide. Fuck this. Fuck this. Done. Fuck this. I'm ah! It's a bit... I'm oh cool. I, God, I told you, you to run away. And that was so a fucking fuck. scream. I was so oh scared. Oh my God. <laughs> you brought her right to me? You fucking asshole. Oh I was so scared. I started speaking Serbian again. <laughs> that was That's... a nice scream. That was a that was a perfectly cut scream. That was, oh that, that was a battle God. cry. No, no, no. Um, that was a battle cry. Alex, I hope yeah, you put that scream. Uh, <laughs> Clip that. Yeah. yeah. Audio yes. Work, so who who hasn't done their task? Because I'm all done. <laughs> yeah. Oh done. my God. Oh, oh geez, guys, come oh, on. Yes. Oh, she got well it. done. Oh, well he done. Shit. Luda is a cold-blooded fucking snuck killer. Under my fucking task screen. <laughs> <laughs> Luna, fuck oh, yeah. you for killing me, holy yeah, shit. Uh, but, uh, we are don't come. Don't come uh, at, uh, yeah, go play. Don't come at uh, places. Yeah, that's... I yeah, mean, don't camp. The killer, yeah. the killer is allowed to camp. It just makes oh, it less shit. fun for everyone else. Um, oh, uh, come on. So sort of keep in mind, who's the killer? Who is it? Is it Nicholas? No. No, it's no, Luna again. again, she's just standing Is there. Is it Luna again? Get the, the fuck? fuck away, uh -oh. get the, walk get get the fuck away. It's Luna again. Luna? Yeah, yeah she's just standing there. Who's, really, who's really the bad. imposter? Who's the imposter? Luna. Luna, I'm pretty sure. Because they're the only one that isn't saying anything I'm like. Yeah, it's Luna fucking Luna. Like... Luna just killed me. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you leave me alone. No, don't go that way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think there's, uh... Oh, fuck! <laughs> God damn it! Dude, I ran half the length of the fucking fuck. map you got me from half a corridor over there. Oh, you see his fall- Oh my god, no! There! Jesus. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, no. oh, I'm dead. Oh no, I got stuck. Oh. Alcohol, you better get out of there. Oh my god, Kaki, you motherfucker. Scared the living shit out oh, of Oh fuck! Me. No! Oh fuck, Jesus. fuck, fuck! <laughs> oh fuck you, bro. The other way. Those downloads are annoying. The wires Wait, are more annoying. How can Luna see me this fucking far? Like, uh, what the oh, fuck? Fucking hell, Royal. <laughs> fucking echo. No! Oh, I think no, Luna is falling down. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Wait, oh, no. how can Luna see me that far? She fucking followed me. I think Mike just saved us. I oh, know. Can Apple I just can died. I just know how did Luna see me that far? Like she followed <laughs> me all throughout the map, like literally turns everything. Something's fucking up. Yeah, she did the same for me as well, like from fucking navigation all the way back up. If to the, the if to you're in <laughs> If if you're in range of her of her kill when it's off cooldown, then it all it all go. No, but I wasn't. I was far away from her, dude. That she took turns and ran exactly how she should have ran. Get the fuck away from me! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! No, go elsewhere. Trying to do this now. I'm pretty sure Luna has hundred percent vision. <laughs> she there's no fucking okay, limitation to vision. That's Seriously. what I'm saying. That's what I'm asking. How does Luna see us? She's I'm not hacking it. Like dipping and dying. I mean, I didn't even see her. Fuck. I'm done with tasks. Yeah, me too. I have uh, one more task left and then I'm done. Come on, Echo. I'm done. Task are done. Then go and hide if you like. Who's got a fucking task? Who's got tasks left? I'm I'm done. I have one. I got one I'm more. Done. I'm I'm hiding now. Yeah, there are only two more tasks. Two more tasks. Come on, come on, guys. I'm done. Come on, do your fucking tasks, boys. I might do it. I might I'm do done. It. If this is my last one. Uh, yes, Roy, I think it's your last task. Come on. I'm always last on this shit. There we go. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, 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 come on. on. I just did it. Oh second. my god. No I don't know, Luna. What the fuck kind of cheats are you using? It's <laughs> no, it's 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 the it's 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 the it's the kill action. If you're in range when it's off cooldown, it will it will highlight and then she'll be able to There's only some latency here. Um, cause like she got me from the entrance of admin all the way into cafeteria, like past the door, the kill then popped. That's gross, dude. Yeah, that was like she could follow me around, so it must be fucking latency or some shit. Yeah, I wish you could thinking change. Probably. All right, here oh we go. Who's God, the fucking we're... imposter now? Who's the imposter now? Is it Luna again? <laughs> Who's imposter? I didn't see a move, so I'm assuming it's Luna again. Oh my god. Luna again. Is it Luna again? Jesus fucking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, every time we play, yep. it's. It, uh, never mind. Maybe we should change the server in the U. <laughs> Would be nice. Yeah. We had, it, we, had a, we had issues doing it that way, though. I mean, that was one, uh, it was one we time. We can try it. Yeah. Yeah, cause the, this MS let, let you guys suffer with the MS a bit. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, it, ta it takes forever to complete the task. I mean, uh, uh, I'm from Europe as well, uh, and I don't hear. Come on, watch that! Don't go down there, King. Uh... Well, you just have a good internet. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I mean, is I have she there? Good is oh my he god, there? King. Oh my. Kaki, go, go, go left. Come on now. Oh no, oh no, fuck. Am I dead? Dude, let me at least download, come on! <laughs> yeah. oh. I don't have anything over here. Just going to have a done. <clears throat> okay. Hello? Safety? Not that way, Ako. <laughs> now I'm scared to fucking move. Oh, no! <laughs> move your booty. Luna, Luna, fuck you. You could have gone any <laughs> other way. Why this way? <laughs> oh my Jesus. I got most of my tasks, tasks done, though. Um doing up my last one. I'm Guys, done. you have to fucking rush these tasks. Like, fucking rush them. Oh, like a Russian. Why do I have one more? God damn it. 
Like, yeah, don't, don't worry mission. about safety. Just, uh, you know, do what the Russians do. Fucking build it and then deal with oh, when it breaks mean? later. Don't go that way. <laughs> Just like Chernobyl. I yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. You toxic fuck. Oh, fuck it then. I don't know how All right, I I'm done away. with tasks. I'm done with tasks. Quick, everyone, do your fucking tasks. Ooh, Echo, I you know how you don't roll? Yeah, we're we're playing hide and seek at the minute. Come on, Roger, hurry up. Ooh. Come on, Alpaca, hurry up. Goes to sleep, he looks under the bed. Holy <laughs> 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 shit, that dog is coming. No! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> what? Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Holy shit, Luda has one. Can, can we? Can we take it? Can we change it to Europe and see? Yeah, because Luna, the MS is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Alpaca can host it if he's okay. How is Luna that, killing? But... Like, Luna is literally the god of death. Uh, all, I, all I want to know is how every time we play with Luna, like, she gets imposter 17 times in a row. Yeah, she has a script. <laughs> no, uh, I'm hey, actually. Hey, 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 first yeah. Yeah. Hey, three yeah. times in a row. Oh yeah, my god, yeah, oh my god. First... have that same ad. The fir May the maybe the it's the fir mess too. The first right, time that we it... played. The first, the first time that we, that we played this on stream, Adelia got it like six times in a row. So, yeah. Well, yeah, but that was that was one time. I couldn't find that game for some reason. Oh, because I have to change. Oh first. yeah, Europe. Yeah, I have to change Europe. Sorry. All right, what's uh, Europe. Like? Is you making me? Hope oh my God. Okay, online. Europe. Searching for the game now. You disconnected from the server. Reliable packet one size equals seventeen was not act after Jesus. Okay, it's a lot of words. Yeah. There we go. For some go. reason, I can't get into that game. Apocalypse. Try exiting the program and relaunching it. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna exit the game quickly and get back in. I should be able to connect to EU far better than I connect to fucking NA. You would think. Well, yeah, I would think yeah, it's better. EU is closer, isn't it? Uh, all right, here we go. In Let's it. see if this works. In it, mate. Fucking in it. Oh, mate, you ain't got no fucking stupid here. <laughs> mate, I can't get in here. Like, I fucking yeah, genuinely I think, can't get uh, in. Yeah, I think I can't. <laughs> what the fuck is that MS, Akko? 7,500. <laughs> it's literally fucking it's ridiculous. Look at this. Look at this. I'm trying to join the game, right? And it just yeah. breaks and then massive MS. So it's gone by you disconnect from the servers. 7,532 MS. What is that MS? What is going on with your internet? Did you hide it out, bro? It's not my, it's not my internet. I, it's not my internet. I could, I could connect to NA. Easy. Alpaca, are you on, are you on mobile data or are you on actual internet? I'm on Wi-Fi. What the fuck? Try Asia. We are both close to Asia. No, no, that's, that's... Yeah, no, let's do NA. Hold up, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can do it. Um, oh, actually, let's see if I can host it. Right, that 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 should yeah. that should solve it. Which one were we on? Uh, scout. Uh, scout. Scout. Yeah, the, the scout. The scout. Okay. Scout. The first map. Yeah. Let's see. No, again, I can't play on EU at the moment. What the what fuck is, is going on with the EU servers? That's so weird. Alright, I'm hosting another one on that there. Hopefully it's uh, removed Luna's I'm always imposter script. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Not just the script right. for always imposter, the script for being able to see exactly where everyone is on the map whenever she clicks tab. Oh, that's the, ad that's the admin table. The admin table shows people where they are. That's not a script. <laughs> no, no, it turns I... out she's, uh, she's playing with the beta, so all the settings are removed. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Luna does whatever Luna wants to do. I mean, I've never seen anything like that. I'm trying to get away from him, right? I'm running. I am fucking... I'm literally dodging and weaving between the tables, and Luna is taking the exact same fucking path as me through the tables. It's like, wow.
Am I leading you? What the fuck is going on? I mean, if, <laughs> if, 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 if I saw you and you were running away from me, I would be following the exact same route you were taking. <laughs> to yeah, catch but up I to was in, on my screen. <laughs> I was quite far away from her. Now apparently in NA, I can't fuck her. Oh, because I'm not. This one is an NA one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, apparently that's the only fucking server we can play on. All right, yeah, I'm into the NA one. Why? Uh, Why would it not let me play on NA on EU, but it will yeah. let me play on NA? Your guess is as good as mine. Uninstall it and uh, install it again. Maybe next time it works. Uh, yeah, turn it off and on again. I, I don't think that'll work. I know. What I have balls on my head. Of my sight? Fuck, I wish it, they could give you the ability. Like, this is apparently a hell of a lot more fun with Crew Link on. So, if you have Crew Link, if everyone is on PC and you actually have positional audio, this is yes. a million times more fun. Proximity chat is. Oh, I've seen a bunch of videos with the proximity chat and it's so hilariously fun alex would cry though if we use proximity chat <laughs> alex would le just legit fucking cry oh here's a hacker come on let's go let's do this because because then go. alex would have to sub every single one i think isn't player movement a little bit slow or did you turn it up Alexa, that's 1.25, it looks like. No, the settings are wrong. I'm moving uh -oh, much slower. It's 1.25. Is it Luna again? She's the only one that stood still. Oh, Are come you... on. What Kidding? the f- Oh, shit. Time? I'm dead. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Is it Luna again? Yep, she's she's a poster again. Oh, for the love of cunt. Perhaps uh, a rotate is uh, in order. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Fuck me. Ah, uh, she's after me. Okay, just keep her busy. How? <laughs> Die? Dude, that, oh, the ping, dude. Oh, I that, think you're slow, that yeah. was bad. <laughs> The only way you can keep someone busy is by dying. <laughs> like, what the nope, fuck? nope, nope. She, she, she was so kill, far away. Go kill Julian. Go kill Julian. Oh, <laughs> oh hello. hello. Do you see Luna? She's she's not even dressed up as a plant. She's just green. She's just green. Just green. Go, green. green as well, me. Dude. She is hunting you. She oh my changed God. me all the way around. <laughs> yep. I witnessed it. She's a weed. <laughs> I'm telling you now, there, there's some hacking going on here. What the fuck, bro? There's, nah, there's no hacking. No, I know. There's no <laughs> hacking. <laughs> but it ah, is box. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's following you? Uh-oh, I'm leaving. Uh, yeah. She's around here. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm almost done with my tasks, though. Hello. Oh my god, pink scared me. I'm done. Who keeps leaving all these leaves around? Jesus. Oh, for Who's fuck's sake. all these fucking dead bodies around? Jesus. <laughs> but I, I oh, do think, be... uh, I do think Luna needs to step out for the next game so she can reset her role, because... For some reason, the game about decided <laughs> give her give her fucking uh, imposter every game. Yeah, yeah like over oh. here running around crying about Luna. She's over here just with a million dollar smile on her face, going, "Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies, Let the bodies hit the floor." Bro, floor. she is fucking wrecking us. She is wrecking our shit. If she wins again, it's four zero. You guys do realize that? Look, Angel, thank you for the yep. follow, dude. Really fucking appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm done all my tasks. Alright, we still have tasks left, guys. Do your tasks fucking quick. Hello, come on. Too. Come on. Stay alive, person I'm looking at. Staying alive! I don't, Staying I don't, alive! I'm hiding. I've done all my tasks. So. I think we need two or three more tasks. Oh, 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 for oh, fuck's oh. sake, Royal J, yeah, I man. saw you coming. I was like, no, bro. No, don't it's go that way. It's four in a row now for Luna.
Yeah, Luna oh. has wrecked our shit. Uh, Luna, you are you have the stream paused, right? You're not looking at the fucking stream screen going, oh, there they are. Uh, what's your miss? Minus 270. Minus 50. Uh, Mine's that... 150. All right, guys, you guys realize Luna has just kicked her ass four times in a row, right? Because yeah, because she's hacking. Hacking. I don't think she's hacking, or he's hacking rather. Sorry. No, it's oh. like guys are uh, low. Uh, so it's easier to kill us. Yeah, uh, we'll see her later. Now Luna lives right next to the fucking server, so she her her latency is too ms. And then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of us play at twenty I mean... ms. So Luna is literally he is playing in the past like see sees exactly where we are and goes they'll be here in two seconds i'm just gonna stand here yeah, and slaughter them as soon as they fucking get you <laughs> nothing escapes luna wow. no i don't i, I can i can time? agree i was okay. looking at luna and uh he was definitely not um stream sniping the movement wasn't connection. oh my god royal j got fucking kicked uh, oh no adelia spare me please yeah, run around, guys. Oh, for fuck's if, sake. If, if we're going to have less than 10, we should probably adjust the kill cooldown to compensate for it. Uh, I think we're going to have more people coming back in now. Yeah. We'll have more people coming in. We just wanted Luna to reset, basically. Because otherwise we would have had another fucking Luna kill here. Who just entered? What the fuck? Who is that? <laughs> no! Oh, run, run fucker! Almighty. <laughs> Luna, Adelia, Adelia, please, please. You, we are good friends, right? We are good friends, please. Listen to this Russian fucking bargaining with the killer. What the fuck is that bargaining? Yes, I'm doing precisely my job. <laughs> Don't you know bargaining history? Greeks and Russians are in good, in good um, um, relations. Are they? Jesus. Yes, we will free Cypress for you, Adelia. I swear, I will tell Putin to free Cypress. Please leave me alone. <laughs> free Cypress, like what the fuck? <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, this is bullshit, man. I keep dying quick. <laughs> Are you guys doing your tasks or just hiding? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm doing my task, but I also have to run away. Ah! Shit! No, 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 Adelia. <laughs> please, 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 please. Thank you. Thank you. Please, Adelia. Thank you. Adelia. Adelia, please, please, please. I swear, please. Thank, thank you for your sacrifice, Khaki. Why why are you yep. chasing only me? Fuck off. Because you didn't uh, you didn't one, free uh Cyprus, bro. Jesus, look at the bodies, it's a fucking massacre. <laughs> oh, no. oh my this god. Is, this is what Adelia does in her off time. <laughs> no. Alright, my tasks are done. Where's the Delia? Let's let's look at her movement. Let's see yeah, who she's doing. All my tasks are done. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, I'm done with my tasks. I'm looking for a Delia now. There we go. All right, do we still have people with tasks left? Oh my Ready god! Oh my up? god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Shh, shh, shh! Come on! Come on! Please, please! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> get away from there, buddy! Get away! No, I have to do it. <laughs> Oh, swipe! Oh, there we go. <laughs> no, no. Oh, fuck, fuck. Okay, just one more. 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 Okay, I'm oh, done. I'm done. Shit. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, fuck knows where she is now. Okay, I'm not done. Fuck. I'm one tap. <laughs> <One tap. laughs> oh, uh, fuck. I'm not done. 
please, please, have, please. Have one. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Come on, you <laughs> can do it. <laughs> no pressure. Yes! Oh, yes! yes. yes. Oh, yeah. my God. Finally. You're at the other side, right? <laughs> at the left? Yes, the, the other side. I was hiding in mid bay. <laughs> it's the girls in the game. Really? What do you mean? Yes. Yeah. Fuck! I Why it's it the girls? It's the best killer. That's good. I was in the farthest corner. Because we're so wired to trust them. You would, have, you would have had to have gone right in to be uh, to be able to see me. <laughs> we have one spot. <laughs> we have one spot. Dude, Who's coming the, in? Uh, Among Us channel. There's a fucking top tier lead from. Local yes. Area. Yes. <laughs> I fear no man, but the thing it's yeah, that me. thing. Oh yes, this is this is fucking this is perfect. Look at this. I should, I should have killed Kaki. <laughs> Chat, look at this. Fucking top there, me matters. This is true. 100% fucking true. Oh, love this is pretty. I'm the imposter. Nice. Uh -oh. Okay. No, don't move. King. Yes. Yeah, Wait, I'm not in the game the... yet. Wait, I'm not in the game yet. I'm tweeting. Hold up. I'm fucking tweeting stuff. You guys have to calm the fuck down. Death by tweeting. Yeah, yeah, just uh, don't move until uh, Kirkuk down is uh, gone. All right, King Julian, don't fucking start moving. Give me, give me time. Give me time. <laughs> All right, now do whatever the fuck you want. There's people between me and you, bro. Kill as many as you can. Leave me alone. That's the wrong way, Mike. Hello? Is the enemy over here? <gasps> I'm a little bit Mom, fucking Bobby, scared. Yeah. Oh. Friend? Is it Mario? What? It's yellow. Oh. oh my god. My money. <laughs> Fucking duked him like a pro. Let's go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Oh my god, you scared me. <laughs> Fucking Christ alpaca. Royal J, why the fuck do you always scare us? What the fuck? <laughs> it's just my time. No! Uh oh. oh. Is he coming? Is he coming? <laughs> Yeah. No! Fuck you, Mike. Oh my god, that was scary. What? I did nothing. Fuck I'm trying to do a task. Yeah, but I thought it was King Julian. Uh, I do I look, wrong. Do I I look yellow? I just saw Orange get killed. Who died? Oh god. Orange. Oh fuck, it was Orange. The Buckles was there, you. No, shit. <laughs> No. <laughs> the the fuck was that moan? <laughs> Come on, no, I'm not dead. <laughs> do, but the question is, do you want to be dead? Uh, no. No one wants oh, to be okay. dead. I'm done with tasks. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm almost done. No! Got a few more tasks left. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna no! go and hide somewhere. Oh shit, fuck you, Binet. Oh my fucking god. I am yellow. not yellow. Fuck. <laughs> uh oh. Oh my god, I'm seeing so many bodies here, dude. It's, it's, it's disgusting. No! These are dangerous fucking tasks. You guys are so slow. Come on. I'm trying to not die, thank you. I don't. I need to heal oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Again. No. Oh, oh fuck. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Cocky bro, calm the fuck down. Um, <laughs> Look where I am. I'm just hiding. Bro, I'm so fucking scared. I am so fucking scared. Because if you run into him and he's got a kill ready, don't go that way. You're don't done. go that way. We have like maybe five yeah, or six right more tasks. Fuck my life. 
Come on. Oh fuck! Oh, fuck! Fuck! I'm dead. I'm dead. I finished my task. I sacrificed myself. Come on, guys. You can do it. Uh, uh, still. No! One more task. Come on, guys. Just one task. Who has the task? No! Oh my god, that was scary. Adelia, you better finish that oh. fucking test. I'm finished! Oh. It's a hacker, this no good yeah. task. I'm yeah, done, I'm done, I'm done! There we go. Yes. Oh, my god. oh my god. I am literally standing there, ETA three seconds. I'm like, come on, you fucking cunt. Let's do this, let's do this. I actually. Oh, where were you? Shit. Where were you? Echo. Uh, in Med Bay, bro. Yeah. Oh, that was that was fucking nerve wracking, dude. That was nerve wracking. Yeah, I ran into him at least six times. Oh my god. And this will be my last game for the evening, so I can shovel some uh, cinnamon rolls into my face before the end. All right. Do we have uh, Do we have one more person that wants to come in? Not fifty percent. I had two uploads in the Mate Bay one. Alex, that I still had to finish? Oh, we've got one spot. Who's coming in? The downloads oh. are annoying. The why is this what gets me? You do one, you gotta do the six. Coming in the next game, computer's still booting up. Anyone's welcome? No. Astral Occult, Alex, anyone's welcome? Uh, since Alex asked first, Alex, you can, you can step in. You know where the code is. It's in the Among Us on Discord. Just join, join the Discord if you want to join, guys. Ashra Colt, by the way, how are you? Yeah, Alex does have a point. It is on the screen, mate. Like... <laughs> oh, I'm on the wrong... I'm on the wrong fucking... Uh... Yeah, wrong overlay, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm so used to that being the overlay that I'm on with Twitch that... I genuinely don't even fucking think. I have one job. No, I actually have a lot of jobs, Luna. One of them is to actually try yeah, and be as uh, entertaining as possible. <laughs> Everyone knows Alex is the one that puts in the real work to the channel, dude. <laughs> this is true. This is true. I'm not even fucking arguing about that. So we want to see. Um... But yeah, Akko, you're so lucky I didn't find you. Yeah, I, I was legitimately just running around trying to fucking stay away from you as much as possible. Um, Alright, yeah, we good. Fucking crew. Oh my god! Uh, I haven't been uh, fucking imposter uh, once. Is it a Delia yeah. game? Uh, yes. Me laughing. Point <laughs> that out. Okay. How do these same people keep getting fucking imposter? I don't know. Hi. I don't know. I genuinely don't understand it. Oh shit! Got me. Jesus. What? 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 <laughs> oh, no, oh Adelia! Adelia killed in uh, electrical. Ooh. Yeah, I just yeah. ran past. Don't go that way. Thank you, Green, for your sacrifice. Yeah, you whoever you are. Bro, I survived. What are you talking about? You the other green. Me? The other green. Like green. The no, green. no, what Why the are you Wait. reporting? You... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Adelia, you do realize you Bro. just fucked my download. Bro, Wait. Adelia. Yeah, yeah press the... She... Adelia. Adelia. She... No. She... You can't. She also... Oh, that is how you doing. She also screwed yeah, over her, uh, her, 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 her kill. Yeah. yeah, you have. <laughs> Who fucked this for? <laughs> you realize we could have won this by just all uh, voting yeah. her out? She fucked herself effectively. So yeah, we yeah. Won. <laughs> I wanted to vent and uh, press star for a report. Don't vent near a near a body. Oh my god, finish quick. Oh my god, King Julian, you gave me the fright of my fucking life, dude. Don't kill me, I'm a good Christian boy. Lol. No! What? <laughs> uh, 
How are you 20 <laughs> feet away <laughs> from me? Adelia, Adelia, me. Adelia, please, please, no. please, please, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Thank you. <laughs> Nick, run. Oh, fuck, Alex. <laughs> the way me. you said Nick, run, that was no! so. Oh my Jesus. I have them down, so it's okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You saw me. That's that's enough for me to not trust what? you. Oh my god. She was stood on top of Nick, didn't kill him, waited for me to run past him, and was just like, haha, shoot you in the face. <laughs> 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 uh, no, my god. Oh, that was so fucking close. Oh my god. <laughs> shit. That, that was way too close. Oh my lord. Oh shit! <laughs> Okay, oh my is your, god, dude. Uh, <laughs> is your is your is, is your uh, is your butthole flap in there? No, no, my I've got sure a is. butthole in, Jesus. in my fucking face. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Don't go that way. Go where I want. I'm a ghost. I go All right. I, oh, <laughs> I got my task completed. Seriously? Oh, oh, oh. I can't complete my tasks because she's where my tasks are. Go, Alex. Go, 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 go. Oh, as fast as complete you can. that task. Lure her away from oh, come the on. fucking place. Come on, come I'm on. done. Do, ah. do your task. I am. I'm haunting Alex right now because I'm going to steal his horse later. You can finish your task now, Jake. Ah, fuck you. I've already done my task, oh, so come I'm, on. I'm bored. <laughs> I'm done with tasks. Ask her complete. Come on, Akko. Come on, come on, Hurry. come on, come on. Go faster, faster, faster. Bro, I'm, I'm, nearly, I'm fucking We're nearly there, guys. Come on, you're, come on. You're in one, one task. One more task. Come on. Dana. Dana. Go, come on. Alex, what the fuck are you doing? Alex, still alive. Go. Go. I go fucking run, boy. Yeah, fucking try, bro. Who still has a task left? It's Alex. Alex, get the fucking task done, bro. Alex, get away from all. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh shit! 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 Uh, Adelia! Shit! 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 shit. Run, Echo! Run! Oh, that's a that's a long one too. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh, shit. Do, 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 do. Alex, go go go! Alex, oh. come on, you motherfucker! Finish the one task, bro. Finish the one it, fucking task. He's just standing still. Oh, Alex oh, is just has standing to. still. Oh wait, there Alex, is. There he is. come on! I, 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 go, job, I would Alex. not advise standing there. There we go. Yay. Oh my god, dude. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was so fucking scary. Why did it take okay. so long? You kept away 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you kept away. Yeah. Yeah. I was killing on cooldown. I just uh, the last ones. I couldn't find uh, anyone. Apocalypse, you said you want to go, right? Yeah. I'm sad I never got a fucking imposter though. Like, I never get imposter on Fridays. It sucks. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, Luna's in. All right. Well, so we know who the imposter oh, is no. going to be. The, ha the hack is back. The hack is back. Yeah, we know who's going to be the imposter here. I mean, uh, fuck. What time? The first time, time isn't. The what first time, time are we? Oh, come on. Well, it's be khaki, still an hour, right? Not who's me. the killer? Not me. Me. Who, Nicholas? Oh. Yes. Uh-oh. Should I wait a little bit? So you guys can Yeah, you run? wait. You have to wait. Yeah, yeah, you wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, can someone pull Alex quickly into voice chat, please? please? Yeah, hello. Hello. Oh, my hey, God, the God. doors? We're closing the doors. What the fuck? Yeah, don't close the doors. My bad. Yeah, don't sabotage. Oh, shit. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a long time since I was last time, so sorry. I was keeping watch for y'all. <laughs> keeping watch oh, for us. Yeah, Thank yeah. you very much. Really appreciate that, dude. <laughs> Your loon is acting very sus. Hello, cat. Oh, fuck! Hey, I forgot it was Nicholas. I forgot it was Nicholas. I forgot it was Nicholas. Fuck! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Yeah. Did you go and stand with him? <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god, I'm dead. But he wasted like 15 uh, seconds trying to kill me, so... Not true, it's not true. Oh my god, I don't even know where the fuck he is. Oh. I didn't do learn that was scary. Oh, I just witnessed it. Yeah, I, I don't know where he is either. I'm trying to hide right now. Hello. Uh oh. I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm trying to stay away from him, but it's very hard when you don't know where the fuck he is. Here. Exactly. No! Oh, oh. oh shit, 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 shit. I just saw Nicholas. Run, run, run. Oh shit, 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 shit. shit. Stay away. I hate these fucking tasks, dude. I go on run. Actually, they met Bay. Right, no! I'm finished all my task. I'm just gonna go hide Back now. On. Hello? Complete. Don't go that way, Adelia! Oh my god! <laughs> run! Don't do me! <laughs> run! Akko, why are you? Ah, uh, Nicholas, run, 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 run! Run, no. Nicholas! Ne I've never had so many people run away from me. Oh no. You're scary. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna hide. I you. have one task. <laughs> I'm done on my tasks. Uh, no, I'm done with my task as well. I'm Get done. the fuck done, guys. Go. Are you Get the fuck? fuck? Done. Like, uh -oh. <laughs> Get at least one more. Damn. Jeez, this is fast, dude. Come on, oh, one, one more. more. No! Yes. No! <laughs> oh, Clutch. yes, boys. Well fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> It seems so stupid I again. I ran an entire circle around the ship and Nick running around me. <laughs> I ran right to him. Alright, I'm a poster. Oh, fuck. Oh. Akalon, no. oh. is I, it? Red is dead. Yeah. Time for the mega hacks now. <laughs> I can't stream slap myself, can I? <laughs> <laughs> You say that, I've seen you hurt yourself in games multiple times. <laughs> what was the one when you were playing Apex? That fucking uh, thermite grenade that you threw at the door, then closed the door on yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th that has happened, but... No, you fucker! Get away from me! Stay away from me! Get him. Oh my god. Did you find him? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you motherfucker! Ah, uh, no, 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 get that way! <laughs> Got ya! Oh fuck, 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 fuck! Run, run, Mike, run! <laughs> oh, 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 Mike just saw me and pulled out of there. <laughs> All I heard then was excited Serbian. Like, yeah. If I just, oh, oh, you scared me. <laughs> All right, where's everyone? Come on, guys. No, we're, we're hiding, hiding from you. We're Oh my god! From Hello? Run, run, run! Let's see, I gotta go down. Oh, I mean, I gotta go. 
<laughs> over there. Honestly, with this game mode, it wouldn't take Alex too much work to, uh... Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. I didn't do it willingly, but you're welcome. Oh, at least Akko hasn't found me yet. I haven't found you, so that means you've been hiding? Fuck! Oh, no, oh, no, no, Akko, stay away. How you doing, Kijillian? Stay away! I managed, yeah, to run. I managed to dodge you twice. Oh, fuck my life. No! Echo! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, finish. Okay, he has cooled down. And done. Oh, I my got one God. more task and then I'm done. <clears throat> oh, oh, shit. I saw something. <laughs> that was me. Oh, shit. I forgot you were the imposter. Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm done. I'm yeah, done. Just go and hide, go and hide, go and hide. I'm gonna hide in med bay. Yeah, I'm hiding there as well. One more task, whatever it is. Yeah, one more task, come on. <gasps> no, he got me. Oh, come on, Red Adelia, Adelia. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Fuck, this 10 second fucking... God damn it! It's one of the guys want this. Who has the task? Is it a ghost? Uh oh! I think I see what's about to happen. Oh, you! Yeah! Hey, hey, that hey, was oh, me, dude! Dude! dude. I thought I was about to kill fucking light it's, blue. It's... It is literally fucking impossible. I have 15 seconds to wait before I can kill again. I want to get imposter so bad. You're not gonna ah. lie, you're pretty sus the whole know. time there, Echo. Luna somehow managed yep. to win four times. I don't know. I, I don't know. Because I'm trying to kill as, as quick as possible. And Luna, yeah, I did go for you first. Mm. I'm the imposter. Uh oh, Nick is. No. Uh, right, stay. Hide. Tell me to want to move. Uh, when you can keep? Yeah, yeah when, as soon as you can kill, you're you're welcome to move. Okay. Just don't kill anyone that's green. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or purple. Or black. <laughs> Unless you're a racist piece of shit. Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Goodbye, yellow. Way to single me out. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can like, hit all the me. You stopped. Keep on running. Who's the killer again? Me. Oh my yeah. god, Nicholas, the white. Ah. Oh my god. Fucking tasks, bro. Yeah, Echo, it's Nicholas, he killed me. Oh, no. Hello, Roy. Kill Mike. Kill Mike. No. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> At least I got my fucking. No, punishment. you stay the fuck away from me. Oh, I'm Again. sorry. Am I interrupting? Yes. Yeah, you okay. are. Can you, you can you go? Can you go have some no! tea or some shit? We're almost done. <laughs> no! You, sh God you damn shouldn't scream, I can see you. <laughs> I can do my Simon Says in peace. No, Nicholas, oh, get the fuck away from me! Yeah, just complete the task, I'll leave you- I'll... What the- Where did you go? You teleported! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, you fuck. <laughs> Bro, this task is stupid. Why did we have this task? No, 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 don't do the task. Let me win, please. I don't know why we okay. got this task. Like, what's the point of this task? Keep messing up on this card. You gotta destroy those asteroids before they destroy the ship, man. Here we go. Oh my god, come on. Alright, I've got one task left and then I'm done. Yeah, I'm about to be done. <clears throat> yep, I'm done. No. Actually, 
two more need to upload now. All right, guys, you have to fucking finish. Finish. Hundred percent done. Oh, yeah. Didn't trigger and he killed me. Uh, these oh, that's, that's all my task. Is so done. annoying. Luna, the, the long ass task is so fucking annoying. All right, guys, I've, I'm done with my tasks. You guys need to get the fuck going. Got one and a half yeah, more. Finish same here, Echo. Same here, Echo. I'm done. I don't know who oh, else has it done, but I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Too. Yeah, I'm done. It, four of us are yeah, finished. I think ghosts have to do them. Ghost cannot struggle with this shit. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh fuck! 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 Oh, fuck, fuck. Oh, run! Run! No, run! Run! Adilia! 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 Come on! Run! Adilia! <laughs> I'm running. Run! Just run, Adilia. Only one. How many more do I need to kill? <laughs> Shit! No! Oh, Hello. Uh, that fucking kill scream, dude. Yeah, that fucking go, scream go, yeah. at the uh -oh. end of that. Adilia! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my is god! That? Alex is dead. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, what? guys. What the fuck? Adelia was alive. Adelia was alive. How did he win? We got owned. If he, remember, if there's only oh, one left, he wins. Right, 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 right. That's right. Alright, new imposters. Oh. Come on. Oh, I haven't been imposter for like two Oh my god. Kirby <laughs> again. Uh -oh. Who's the who's the imposter? I think it's Is Adelia. It I mean, she's laughing like a fucking psychopath. Of course, it's Adelia. <laughs> oh no! Why is Run! she right here? Wait, who's the? Is she imposter? Why? Oh, yeah. Nicholas, don't you dare, please. <laughs> Wait, who's imposter? Uh, I think it's Adelia. Okay. Is it Adelia? Is it Adelia? Adelia? Are, you the Are you the imposter? Yeah, yeah I told right. you. Thank you. Fuck. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, it's it quite stressful with the imposter. It's either Adelia, Khaki, or Nick. What? I haven't been imposter for like two fucking hours. Oh, you didn't? You haven't been given <laughs> this time? Because usually you're imposter half the time, Adelia's imposter the other half. I'm Simon bit... says it's the worst fucking task ever. I <laughs> know, right? That's yeah, uh, but I was kind enough to let you finish it. No, I, I, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> Wait, you was kind <laughs> enough to let you finish it. Holy no, I was shit. misunderstood. I was it's trying to finish it. I was finished. I was trying to get away. I thought, she, I thought she didn't see me. The tasks that's close to the doors? No, Adelia. Oh Don't go goodness. that way, Royal! Don't go that way, Royal! She's after us. Just run. Just run. Well, I'm fast. Go down. Run with tasks. Alright, uh... Oh. Fuck, Royal, you scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> I know, I'm just slowly creeping. I feel like we're about to die, though. This fucking task, dude. I know, Simon says it's really difficult. Yeah, it really is, because it's so slow. Oh no, Akalan. God, run, 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 people. And uh -oh. done. Oh, I hate you so much, Adelia. What? I've been uh, disconnected. Uh, no. uh, Same here. We won. We I had like 500 yeah, no. yeah, I, I think. I think the servers are, are a bit fucked at the minute. Yeah. We still use an EU server? No. No, no this is an A. But apparently the servers are full of shit. So I'm still in this fucking lobby, by the way. Can you oh, guys join it? There. We'll try. Good night, fine. No, I couldn't find it. We might have to reset No, I'm fine. Yeah, we have to make a new lobby. <laughs> okay. Let me try. 
try to make a new lobby we'll do um i think we'll do Ooh, can we do the normal one you want to do a normal game yeah yeah let's do like before we are done for today and you go play D, &D let's maybe All play right. some yeah games. yeah let's, right. do normal um, before D &D, don't let's do worry. let's that. do normal mode Okay, so normal mode. Everyone that wants to get in could not find the game you're looking for, Mike. Yeah, are you are you America or Europe? North, North America. Yeah, I won't find the game for me. I think the servers are fucked. Alex told me he's yeah. guild members. Alex told me he's guild members are struggling with the same thing. Uh, like they can't find games. So apparently the servers are full of shit. So we may we may be forced to play something else or hang out until D&D starts. D&D starts in an hour, by the way. Then yeah, we'll... Uh, for Shami to get home, basically. She should be home any minute and ready to start at half past eight my time, so about an hour, but I don't know. She hasn't got back to me, and so she may be stuck doing something at the moment. All right. Oh, guys, there's I mean, a new code, and it works. There's a new code, it works. All right, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. All right, so you guys want to do normal game now, right? Yeah. Yes, please. Please, please. Yeah. yeah, let's do a normal game. Okay. Push the talk there. Should add Banshee in your D&D &D and name it uh, Kakika? <clears throat> I mean, you're always welcome to add an NPC. I don't know if you can actually do... Um, I don't know if you... Like, who would have a Banshee? Wait, why would you name a banshee after me? Fuck you. Because you screamed like one. Oh, yeah, true, true. Yeah, your screams are legendary, dude. It's been clipped. And it's also been ripped. And so oh, when Akko has five minutes to uh, listen to his mods for once, we can actually get it to be a playable clip on stream as well. So that you just type in a command and then the screen plays. Oh. That right. was the best game. <laughs> Alex, Alex can do that, by the way. No, it needs to be on Streamlabs, not Stream Elements. Stream Elements doesn't have the capacity to do sounds. Oh, hold All on, right, I so gotta remake. I... I have to remake, I realized there was only one imposter. Fuck, okay, I need to... Wait, you have to do a new game. All right, so we'll leave this one. Can you change it to the settings? I forgot to switch it to two imposters. We Gucci? Yeah, the only fans is 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 coming. Kappa. Uh here is another Hi. room key. Room key. Aha, uh -huh, there's somewhere. Okay, so now we have most of the settings is fine. And we have uh -oh. two imposters, right? Yeah. yeah. My ninja. It's gonna be very difficult to switch now. I'm so used to not even worrying about reporting, just fucking running away. So it's going to be See, quite it's hard hard to switch. Who spotted that ninja? But no, I will I will make sure that I fucking um I'll add it to Streamlabs. We can do it after this normal game. Then we'll just sort of hang out until D&D starts. How does that sound? We'll do just chatting until D&D starts. Sure. Uh start that we depends on one question. Started. Do you it's have the yeah. Streamlabs chat bot? I'm not sure. You mean the app? You mean the app called the, Streamlabs the chat bot? Chat bot. All right, I'm uh, out, boys. Thank you, thank you guys for um, the games. It was fun. All right, Nicholas, thank you much for hanging, bro. Yeah. All right. All right, everyone, mute yourselves. Well, Yeah, we can do that now after these games. Who fucking someone sabotage the doors? I'm stuck with in literally in a room with the biggest killers on earth.
I'm still stressed like I was with the previous one. Oh my god, what? All right, who's dead? King Julian. King Where Julian did you find his in body? In navigation, I completed one task and then I went to do the second task, which is the, which was right at where the pilot seat is, and his the report button showed up. Uh, I was with uh, Ecolon and the Delia. For the yeah, most we were part. in lights. Yeah. Uh, well, electric, yeah. Uh, yeah, then I saw Ecolon in the navigation after that. I passed up Ecolon. No, no, not navigation, reactor, sorry. Reactor. In, I went yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you did. You did join Dragon. me in reactor as well. So I can vouch uh, for Kaki Pro and Adelia. I don't know where Adelia went after she, uh, she the finished start. electric, but I'm pretty sure you didn't do it. I okay, finished so the electric uh, and went to storage to do the fuel. For some reason, that wreck was following me at the start. I got scared and went to electrical. I don't know. I, was so just going my I saw. I did see Daedric. He ran past me. He was coming from the top of reactor, so where reactor is, down to electric. I did see him pass me on that side. So I'm not sure. And I saw I saw saw my electric. Yeah, Dragon Wolf was entering electric when I left. What about you, LJ? I passed up Akalon and I went into electrical, and that's when uh, Drag Wolf left it and then someone called it. So do we skip for now? We have no clues. Yeah, we have, we have well, literally it, no one it to go could, for. It could, it could be a self-report. It's possible, so keep yourself on mic for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. pretty quiet. Yeah, he didn't speak at all, which is unlike Mike. So it I, reported the, I, I reported the body and said what I was doing, so I was not quiet at all. Yeah, and then you kept quiet. <laughs> Florius, how you doing, bro? Why Adelia? Adelia was me. I don't think it's Adelia. Oh, reactor is fucking melting down. The f fucking doors, man. Hmm. Fuck. Doors, bro. What What the? I hate this. <laughs> oh my god. I hate the, uh, the sabotage, dude. Alex? What are you doing? Why are you running around so sneakily? Oxygen. Fuck. Okay. Finish this and then go oxygen quick. Uh... As I was reporting, what the fuck? And uh, course, I found. Oh shit! Uh, well, it's not a deal, yeah. It would be Luna. I found she was uh, looking at cameras. I did upload in a, in a electrical. I saw a bin at Mike there and Luna. Then I ran to security to do the second uh, part of wires, and I saw her dead in security. But That's I pretty much report. it. But I saw nobody there. I think they may, might have entered. Why did that report? Where was? who you? What body did you find and where? Adelia in security. Pink. I was gonna say, I just saw Royal Jade over by navigation area. I did a couple tasks by navigation. Kind of but Royal is dead. I saw Royal Jade, but I didn't see anybody else around there. Except I was in navigation and then I. Fucking Adelia, bro. Every I mean, Royal is dead. Time. I was yeah, I know. I, so that's what I'm saying. I, Top of this angle, I was, I was passing through storage and... I'm, I'm basically the the only me. person my I haven't seen is, in a long a long while like is this. Alex. My keyboard is like this when I play. So well, I'm basically playing with my hand like this. Yeah. And but or also when I want to type... Or yeah, fucking, or and I was trying to fix it. At a weird angle. No, I don't hide. Which makes I mean, we have back. to vote. I mean, I don't know. There's six of us here, and if we don't vote, the killers can have just double kill and 
and we will lose. Well, like I was trying to say, I I saw Royal alive over on navigation side. The only other two. Oh, then it's, then it's Luna. Then it's Luna. Luna. Then it's Luna because Luna went to navigation. It's Luna for sure. What Luna? And I wouldn't be surprised because she always gets a fucking imposter. Don't, don't <laughs> what me. Don't what me. <laughs> Even if you're not imposter, I don't care. I, I'm, I'm just. I mean, yeah, Luna, Luna was Luna the last speak. person I saw around the <laughs> navigation, so that's why I'm sus. Luna doesn't speak. Doesn't have a mic, I think. I don't know. Oh. You're awfully quick to jump there to point a finger too. Uh, yes, because I hit Luna. Tops. She's always imposter, and she ran towards. Uh, she ran towards the okay. navigation. Okay. All right. You guys. I. I really fucking. I hate being dead. Like being dead is the worst in this game, bro. Absolutely the the worst. Because all you have to do is these stupid fucking tasks. You legit have nothing else that you can do. You can't influence the game. You can't. Yeah, you can literally don't not do anything. Can someone fix the communications, please, so we can do the fucking tasks? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I saw Alex coming from reactor from the area where the vent is. Ah, uh, can you re what? Yeah, well, I went there, there from the admin. I took the down path. I went to the reactor, did the tasks, and then I ran to uh, the electric room. Yeah, but your positioning is right where Cinnamon there rolls. is a vent. So I'm um, very, very suspect that you are one of the imposters. Just but because Luna, I was standing near you there, should really get a mic. That doesn't make you any sense. You should really get a mic so you can actually defend yourself. Um, You've been alone a lot, rolls. and you're coming from an area that ben and is in the fridge. Has a vented area. I, oh, I, slave. I'm, I'm voting Alex. Okay, if it's not Alex, go I don't know. I've never Fuck had this. that. <laughs> say something. I say swing through listening. <laughs> are you allowing anyone to play in the game? We are, Ace. We are. We play this every Friday. So every Friday with viewers. Everyone that you see here is viewers. It's uh, people that just join and uh, oh, well, play with us. Well done, guys. Hey! Hey! Nice. <laughs> Don't you, I told you it was Luna. I told you it was Luna. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was a nice call. So, what is... was I, so Alex, was I right? Did you vent and then come down at a reactor? No, I just went all the way on foot. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so lucky. I mean, oh my I, I, god. Just, I just want to say this was absolute bullshit. As I'm reporting <laughs> the fucking body, Luna snaps my neck. Like, what the fuck? It took too long to do it. Oh it. my god, dude. Oh my yeah. god. It was a nice double kill. Yeah, oh. but this was, a, this was, in my opinion, a nice way to end the Among Us for yeah. tonight. Uh, yeah, we'll do we'll do okay. more Among Us next week, but we're also gonna do uh, for those of you that can actually get the game, try and get uh, what's it called again, Mike? Fucking Project uh, Winter. Probably. Yes. Try and get Project Winter because we are gonna play that probably next week sometime as well. Yeah. Then I am sort of thinking next week Thursday. Next week Thursday we might do another Phasmophobia. Um, Alex, this is Project Winter. Uh, I posted a video in uh, other games, Alex, if you want to go take a look at that. It's apparently very much like Among Us, but it's, uh, you also have to try and survive. There's no, like, cross between the rest of Among Us. Yeah. But then, I, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. Earlier where you could, like, turn people to your side. You could turn people into imposters. So you can basically kind of convince people to become imposters. There's a, a role 
called the demon, and you can kill people and raise them for your side. But there are multiple roles. It's not just survivor or imposter. You've got like yetis, um, detectives, uh, medics, um, spy, and That's all cool. sorts. Of and oh, they've shit. added a lot. They've added a lot more in since I last played it. Cause I played it, I think, a year or so ago. This Not actually, longer. but it looks like it's gonna be a long game. This. Um, I think it the time, uh, the game time is is around thirty minutes. I think. Oh. Right. So. This is what we'll be playing at some point next week. If you have, I don't know what it's what it costs, guys, but Game Pass, Game Pass is like fucking something stupid. It's uh, it's, uh, uh twenty bucks. How much is it? How much? Well, if you go Game Pass, you get literally all of these fucking games plus that. Right, you get all of these games plus Among Us plus Project Winter, and I think I I pay fifteen dollars a month for this. And all of these games is available there. So if you don't have a lot of money, I would say spend $15 on this so you can get all of the games that you basically would want to play. Right? Um, Jesus, they've added so many games as well in the last month. It's been sick. Um, but yeah, we're going to be playing Project Winter at some point. And uh, then we'll probably also... I've got the Ultimate, but I don't think you need Xbox Ultimate for all of these games ultimate just gives you extra goodies and also gives you all yeah. of the add-ons to it if you will um but you don't need ultimate we're going to be playing this another game that people have asked for that we will be playing is seven days to die i've got a lot of people asking me to play seven days to die so we'll play this next week uh, let me just change um let me just change this I'll to just chatting want to join in on seven days today because i know i know ben raging in the chunks play a lot of that game as well isn't it like only would... eight people in seven days it depends on if you have your own server or not oh okay oh okay. we also have rust also... right so rust is also something that's coming um where we have a server i know there's some problems with the server at the moment they're they're trying to reset yeah. the map, and there's some map issues. But oh. Mike, what's going on there? So what the issue is is that it it's supposed to be a procedural map, so the the entire layout is supposed to change and whatnot, and it keeps uh, spawning the same map. You know, I could contacted the help desk, so once we have an update with that, then we'll we'll post in the in the Rust channel about it. But, uh, All right. Yeah. No, we we spent like two hours last night trying to get it trying to get a different map spawned and the same one just kept spawning so yeah because if we can get the rust i've been wanting to do rust for a while now but the map keeps fucking up the servers keep fucking up and i would like to start rust when everything is set up so we have a month yeah. basically the rules right now on our own server is going to be anyone can join that is a part of the community so if you are on discord you are active on discord you can ask any of the mods for uh code well i don't know if all of the mods i don't know We'll figure out which of the mods is actually mods in the game, and they should be able to give you an invite to the server. You can either join our group, or everyone can play. You can start your own group, right? And you can attack. You can basically attack us. So it's literally up to you how you want to play. But everyone joins the same server. We all have fun on the same server, and every month we have a force reset. So every month we reset the map so that everyone starts again, and you sort of build up again, right? um the nice thing about this server is the fact that once we're over rust and we don't want to play rust anymore we can just shift to a different game right uh the server basically works on a shit ton of different games so we can add our own server that way we can all play on the same server and you know it's going to be safe the mods aren't going to be abusing their powers they're not going to be giving themselves guns and fucking ammo yeah. packs or shit like that yeah. everyone plays the same excuse me mister i spawned ten thousand mines <laughs> I didn't spawn those. I actually created those. The things okay, that then I spawned in with the armor then, frag then, for my walls. Then 10,000 armored cores. 
Yeah, that was for my walls to see if uh, <laughs> Nikki could break them with um, grenades better than rockets, because it seems the uh, frag grenade, the F1, can do more damage to walls and shit than fucking high velocity rockets. That's dumb. Grenades do a shit ton of damage to structures, though. And to and be, be fair, fair is, is Rust on Game Pass? No, no. Unfortunately, Rust isn't, but Rust is pretty cheap. Um, it is 40 um, bucks here. It's so, yeah, it was 54 for me. I'll show you guys something that's going to make you so fucking angry, but if my and Steam I will spawned, just fucking open. And I only spawned rockets the one time, and I gave everyone the same. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did the cam freeze? Fuck my yeah, life. This good. fucking cam, dude. It's not the camera. It's the microphone falling off. Your battery died. <clears throat> okay, let's see. There we go again. It just does this. I, I genuinely don't know what the fuck causes it. I do not understand what causes this mic, uh, the mic issues, but it's as if something tries to take control of the camera. It's Alex fucking with you. No, it, it's a program, <laughs> I think, on my... But the thing is, I don't know which program that would be. This was this happened as soon as I opened Steam. But Steam Voice wouldn't use the camera, would it? Where do you I fucking don't... change the settings of Steam Voice? It would be friends and chat, I think. I have never used Steam Voice, so I couldn't tell you. Steam Voice. Yeah, it's using the wavelength, so it should not be a problem at all and yet whenever i open steam it, it fucks up but let me let me quickly show you what's gonna upset you guys a lot all right so if we go rust rust is 219 rand now what is 219 rand uh that that sounds, sounds like, a, like fucking, a fucking that sounds like a lot <laughs> no no oh, no no, no, no. dollars 14 14 15 dollars that's what we pay for Rust. What? Yeah, we pay fifteen dollars for Rust. I would I like would a, like a I would, I would, I would like a refund of the difference because I paid fifty four for mine. That's you know what's more for. fucked up? I can't gift it. Uh, I wanted to gift it to uh, Alpocalypse as well as to Skills, and I legit can't gift it. I had to wire them the money on PayPal. Huh. That's bullshit. Huh. Yeah, because it's 40 bucks just for the base game US. Yeah. Here. Then it's got the two DLCs that are 10 bucks each, so 60 bucks for the whole thing. Yeah, I only got the uh, I only got the base, which was that is disgusting. I don't know why you guys pay so much for games. All of our games, on average, is cheaper than yours, though. Like, it, like because it, Americans are capitalist country, so they everybody's got to make their their dime off of everybody else. Let's not let's not even say America is the least yeah, capitalist country not, in the world. There is there is nothing the, capitalist. Yeah, let's not get America. into that. Yeah, I'll repeat it yesterday. I'll be right back. How's everybody doing? Um, um I'm um, trying to see. I'm trying to give you guys a good example of uh, check a game. Go to your Steam, right? Go to top sellers, and then. Uh, let's see. What is a top seller at the minute? Like a, a normal price game. What is Cyberpunk for you guys at the moment? I think that would be pretty similar. Similarly priced, at least. $60. Mine is 53 US dollars. It's regional pricing, but I think the reason the difference is so heavily in South Africa, why the reason is so heavy, is um, there's not as many gamers in South Africa. Like, the vast majority of gamers in South Africa, sad to say, it, borrows games, right? They do not buy them. They borrow them off the internet. And so, if you want to make money in South Africa, you kind of have to charge less for games. 
You don't have a fucking choice. People are not going to pay $40 for Rust. There's no way. You you will not convince a single South African to pay $40 for, for Rust. Okay, That's why I'm not getting it. you got to actually advertise to people that have got $40 fucking dollars. <laughs> Would a VPN work to be able to buy Rust at a cheaper price? Uh, might, might work. The problem is just once you try to pay, you're going to try and pay in dollars and the VPN is going to be like, or Steam is going to be like, wait a second, you can't buy a RAND game in dollars because this is RANDs, right? Yeah. So all you do is go into your PayPal, convert dollars into RAND and then... I don't know if uh, PayPal does have RAND. I've, I've genuinely never checked, but I don't know if... Do they have RAND? Yes. Because all my PayPal stuff is in US dollars, and I have to pay them, convert them from US dollars to RAND whenever I pay them out to my bank. Although I haven't had to do that in a while, because it just... Well, it still converts to you, Alex. It, it converts to your uh, da Danish crowns. Yeah, see, I, most of the stuff I buy, I buy in dollars anyway. So when it comes into my PayPal in dollars, I don't have to change it. I just pay it back out in dollar too. Yeah, I do the same. But yeah, Steam or PayPal takes care of that conversion rate for me to Alex. Right, but I am. It? This is what I want, by the way, guys. This is what I fucking want. But now look at the price of this thing, right? So this game, this is the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, right? Who wants to play this? Or who wants to watch me play this? Because this is Mass Effect. This is one of the best games ever fucking made. And it's fucking remastered in 4K. Is it just oh the my first god. No, no, it's, it's all three. The Legendary Edition is all three of them. Plus all of the DL DLCs, 40 DLCs. All of it is included in the single price. Was the screen clipped? Yes, Kaki Pro, it was, it was clipped. All right, so this game is 999.95 Rand. How, how much is that in US dollars? Let's quickly see. 67 US dollars for this. Yeah, it's 69 here. But it looks so fucking boss, dude. It looks so yes, good. I see. Good. I know I have the three Mass Effects. I just don't know if I have all the DLCs for it. I have all the Mass Effects and all of their DLCs. And I've played all of them and all of the DLCs. But wow. when I went so back... Went ba because I want to play it again. When I went back... Oh, that's Miranda. You guys missed Miranda. That's Miranda. The hottest chick. The second hottest chick in video gaming. That's her. Miranda, 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 Miranda is stupidly hot, bro. Miranda like, doesn't hold up. Miranda does not hold a candle to either uh, Italia or um, who's the blue one that I can't remember the name of right now. Squid lady. Oh no! Fuck the blue one isn't the alien that you meet right in the beginning. Yes. The, the first one. Yes. The love interest for the first she one. She she's is right. smoking hot. No, she's all right. all right. She is not as good as Miranda. Look, the my list Miranda. of video game Miranda. girls, right? Miranda. The list Miranda of video game trash. girls is um, Yennefer first, because fucking hell, who wouldn't put Yennefer first from Witcher 3? Miranda second yeah. from Mass Effect 2, I think. I think she's in 2. She might be in 3, but I think she's in 2. And then number 3 is um, in Dragon Age 2, there's this pirate girl. I can't remember her name, but she oh, is exactly also hot as balls, dude. Isabella, yeah. that's the one. Yeah, she is also fit as fuck, dude. Judy Sylvanas is in a level of her own. The fuck is right here. Sylvanas is on a level of her own. She doesn't count in terms of these because this is RPGs that I'm talking about. So I'm talking about actual characters that you can have love interest with, right? Um, that's yeah, why Judy. Witcher 3, Mass Effect... Judy wouldn't... No, Judy is hot. Judy is very hot. But I couldn't have a love interest with her because I'm a fucking guy. Because and she Judy only dates up. girls. Don't blame that on her. No, that's bullshit. That is bullshit. I should it's be able bomb. to sleep with Judy if I played a guy. As a guy, you just get the worst people that you can fucking sleep with. Liara, get, that's get, her name. Liara, Liara is ten yeah. times... 
Liara is 10 no. times hotter than Miranda. No, by bro. By a country mile. Oh, yeah. No. Liara is not 10 times hotter. Miranda's, than, uh, Miranda. Mar Mar Miranda's a plain Jane human. Come on now. Miranda isn't. She isn't a plain Jane human. She's literally oh, genetically she's totally engineered. Is. That's her I mean, story. Compared to Liara or Tally, oh yeah, she she's completely plain Jane. Yeah, I mean, she, yeah, she, you she's can't attractive. Be a plain but... Jane human with a vibrating vagina, like that's not. <laughs> not <laughs> Miranda, Miranda was genetically engineered, right? This is her story, by the way. Miranda was created in a lab, so to speak, to become, um, like just be appealing to men everywhere. Like that is literally how she was engineered. Every feature of hers was meant to entice men. It is fucking insane. If you're not going to play more Among Us, can you stop the Among Us music uh, out with something more pleasing? Yeah, I could do that. Actually, there's um, probably there's probably one character that I would rank higher than uh, Liara. I need to think of find who? the name. Um, hold on, I'm finding it. Trap Andy, obviously. <laughs> Man, Trap Andy is actually scary. It is actually fucking it's, scary. It's very wrong how much it makes you question your, uh, your sexuality. It, <laughs> it, it makes you wonder oh, if you're actually fucking straight. Like, legit. It makes you wonder if you're actually fucking straight. Oh, you guys have never seen Trap sure. Andy? People are asking uh, if they can see. Oh, I'll show you guys. That's Andy. I, I posted it in the chat, dude. Like, it's already there. I'm showing them on stream as well. That's Andy, one of the mods of the channel. Dude as dude can be. And you're fucking wondering, wait, what the fuck is going on here? And he looks like... And there's his real face. This is Andy. This is Andy. Normal. Shitting me, normal. Man. That's Andy. This was for a for a what's it called? A dress up party or some shit? Yeah, they had like yeah, a dress up party. Dress up party. Yeah. No, that was just Friday <laughs> evening, mate. Like that's what he does in his spare time. <laughs> so the the, the 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 one character I would rank above Liara is Arya, yeah. the one that the one the Asari that runs Omega. She's got a mm. badass personality to go along with her. What about your Who? solo from Skyrim? Arya. I've, ne I've never know. played the Skyrim one, so I, I genuinely don't know. Oh no, this is Mass Effect. I don't know. I listen to Alex, not gonna lie, I would tap that. As long as you're, it's, it's like riding a scooter. <laughs> it's like riding a scooter. It's all fun and games until your friends find out. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Luda, send me send me a picture again. I don't think I have it anymore. You'd have to send me it again. I just posted the link to to Aria. You'll probably recognize her once you see it, once you see a picture of her. Oh, this is uh, this is Luna, by the way. And Luna is also a guy. I don't have the question mine. I know who's who I Aria. Wait, who's Aria? She runs the Omega Club. I'm trying to think now. What the fuck are you talking about? Omega Club? Where's the Omega Club? Uh, it's in Mass Effect 2. I'm very. Uh, she is in. Look at Ferorius, uh, confused as fuck. <laughs> Hey, Florius has never been confused when it comes to that. Like, <laughs> Arya's Arya's a Mass Effect three. My mistake. I thought she was a Mass Effect two. It makes hot with a tea. It, it's getting dangerous, guys. It's fucking getting dangerous. I mean, I show don't, me a picture. Don't show have... me a picture of Arya. I posted a. I, a, a, I, posted, a back in there. I posted a link in uh, in the chat to her. Or wiki. Wait, post it again, please, Mike. Okay. 
All right, got it. Yeah, oh, buddy. Aria. Oh, oh. Right. Aria yeah, was a right. Aria. Aria was a right, but Aria was definitely not. If you're saying, like, this right. Her personality, was... her, her, her personality ranks so much higher in terms between, uh, with regards to uh, Liara. Oh. Yeah, but the Either problem is, the problem with this race is, uh, if I remember correctly, the story goes, they can't procreate, right? We can have sex, no, they we can, can marry, we, no, can we? They, I'm fairly certain they can actually swap their genders, so they okay. can. No, 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 wait, no, 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 I mean, the thing on Hako's screen right now is oh, what, wait, Mike oh, thinks wait. is the hottest character in a game, in any yes. game? No, it looks no. like a guy. No, no. Not in, not well, in, not in. Well, not Mike, not Mike in is. Game. I just want to say, Mike is bisexual, so. Oh, he well, would yeah, I know that, game. but I mean, the facial structure on that creature is totally it's masculine. Not? No, it's not. No, it is not. Yes, that the is, eyes, the nose, the cheekbones, the chin. It's totally maybe masculine. You wanna, maybe up, you want to see it as male, just, but it, that, uh, no, let, that, let me, that creature let me, looks ugly as fuck to me. Person. So here's the uh, thing. Here's the thing, Mike. They can procreate. I remember now how it works. So it's actually very interesting how these creatures procreate. Yeah. So every creature, every single one of the species is born female, right? They they That's don't right. have male. Yeah. They don't have males in their society. But let's say they have sex with uh, a human. They take the genes of a human and sort of incorporate it into their own genes, and that's, that's how right. they make their species stronger. But it's always that's female, right. and regardless of who the father is, the f the woman always looks like this. They always have these features. That they they always look the same. No. So they don't change their appearance. They just change their DNA. It was very interesting. That's how deep Mass Effect is as a game. By the way, it is fucking silly how much behind the scenes little things they added to the game. No, Mike likes Arya. I like Miranda. Uh, should we could go. Mass Effect model, but uh, no, I, I I don't uh, think I, I don't I I don't think Arya is the hottest female character in all of gaming. That's not even remotely close. Let's see if I we can make I, it bigger. That's just your favorite of the Mass Effect series. That and Liara. If I if I had to rank them, it would be Arya, Liara, and probably Tali as my top three. This girl has an ass that you can bounce pennies off of, bro. This girl has. One hell of a body, Miranda. I like I Miranda the most. Three from Witcher is better. Oh, I mean, if, if you're talking about the hottest, yes, that would be Yennefer, right? Right. Well, fucking, all three fucking, of them from the Witcher. I, I, I wouldn't say. I, I wouldn't say all three of them. Yennefer is like I'm not a big fan. Everyone loves uh, what's her name, redhead. Uh, uh, fuck my life. What's her name? I mean, how how can you not like a redhead? Redheads are fucking sexy. Triss. No, man. What's her name? Triss. Triss. There we go. But how can you tell Triss. me Triss is hotter than Yennefer? Because it's fucking... I'm I'm not saying hotter. I, I'm saying all three of them, Triss, Yennefer, and Siri, are hotter than the one you're talking about. You're talking Mass about these. Yes. You're talking about all three of these women that's on your uh, screen right now. Yeah. I think all three of them are hotter than the one from Mass Effect. Mm. Yeah, but Yennefer's just got that fucking style to her. She's a bitch. She's a bitch. She is. <laughs> so does Triss, though. She's fucking amazing. Triss is just, amazing. She's got that attitude to go with it, too, Yennefer does. Uh, I, I suppose. I just, I know every single time I've done the playthrough of this, and that's been six times now, I have always hooked up with Yennefer. Mate, it's black, black hair and blue eyes. There is nothing better. Get, that is get, like get the rarest this. fucking combination. It is so fucking, so fucking hot. Give me the redhead. I fucking, I love redheads. Weep time. Weep no, time. Not, no, not no. <laughs> What's that, Dragon? I said, yeah, I'm definitely a sucker for redheads. The Golden Twilight. Oh my God, she is fucking fit though. Yes. Oh, yes, not talking the girl about... from Twilight. Yeah. What's her name? You're not. Um, you're not talking. You're not talking about Kristen Stewart. I hope. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Oh, thank God. God. The British one. <laughs> the British girl. 
She is so fit though, dude. <laughs> yeah, she's hot as well. fuck as well. This is this is actual woman Adelia, yes. This is like woman woman. These aren't main dressed as woman. Um Kerrigan from Star from StarCraft is also pretty hot. Kerrigan is pretty fit, fit as well. Thinking about Free Alice. Who the fuck's Alice? Oh, Alice Free from uh, Red uh, Resident Evil. She's fit as well. Her. Yeah, Mila Jovovich. M Mila is, is very hot. Oh, smoking. M Mila Mother is more in chair in a. From, yes, that? Alice from Twilight. Twilight. Alice from Twilight. That's the one, yes. Giant, that is the one. Giant, giant rat guy, Kerrigan, post cocoon is also just as hot because she's completely badass uh video what's the though. video you oh. just linked apocalypse although apocalypse? I, I also from resident evil i love uh michelle rodriguez she is smoking hot super bad yeah, yeah. Yes. i would agree with that i don't know who the fuck that is she you plays vin, she piece. plays vin diesel's girlfriend in the fast and the furious movies yeah don't you, know who the fuck that is you, if you saw a picture of her, you would probably recognize her. She's the I aggressive, would... mostly lesbian woman that was in Resident Evil, the uh, Dominican oh. one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't find her that hot. No, she's aggressive and mostly lesbian. Like, it freaks the shit out <laughs> of me. Like, you go to that woman for a fucking hand job, and she's going to tear your dick off and beat you with it. <laughs> 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 yeah, she seems like she'd be a real fun fuck. But, Luna, you're literally... St the, the entire Discord is about 99% straight guys right now talking. So, if we started talking about hot guys, it would be a very short conversation. I mean, as we in, there's no Andy. such thing. Yeah, well, I guarantee uh, you, even if you're a straight man and Ryan Reynolds comes to you and whips his dick out on the table, you're hoovering that thing out. I'm just no, saying. I'm not. I am fucking on. Yeah, I, I would punch him in the face. Oh, I would be. I I would be 100. percent One, he's you Canadian. Would, would you fuck? Would you fuck? Oh, I, well, you would probably. Yes, I, because yeah, you're I right. would. Yes, <laughs> I would. I'd no, hoover bro. that up. In there, the there needs to be. There needs to be a a. Uh, a very clear distinction between male and female. This is an awkward time to join the conversation. Canadian Rye, how you doing, bro? Well, actually, no. <laughs> it, it did become quite awkward, I suppose, but we're actually just talking about hot chicks in video games. And then Chaz is sort of going, well, where's the hot men in video games? And I'm just saying, don't exist. They're I mean, nowhere. Geralt, Geralt's pretty hot. Like, gray no. hair. Okay, well, again, oh, yeah. you being bi would feel that way. For me, <laughs> Geralt is just a, a kick-ass fucking Euro that should sleep with Yennefer. <laughs> that, that is legit how I, how I think of uh, Geralt. Plus, Geralt is sterile, so he can't get anyone pregnant. So he can bang whoever he wants. Geralt already do that in the show. Dante, guys. Yeah. You, I like me some. What the fuck's Dante? Dante oh, guys? he's talking about. He's, he's talking about Dante. Sorry. He's talking about Dante from. Uh, Devil, yeah, Devil May Cry. All oh, right. Gray no. hair or silver, silver haired Dante? Yeah. Yeah. Echo, look in media. That's Michelle Rodriguez. Here, hold up. In Discord, where? Oh. Yeah, Discord media. Hmm. Not lore media, just this good media. Yeah, okay, got yeah, it. Just okay, got it. She's got an angry face, though. She, it's, I mean, she's I don't, angry. I don't think angry, she, like, looks wise, I don't think she's like even close to one of the hottest chicks out there, but like the attitude that she has makes her that much more sexy. Okay, opinion. so Delia wins best comment ever. The boob is weird. <laughs> the boob is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I think it's just because of the the dress. And the 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 so you need a you uh, personally so I'm not a boob or an ass guy. I'm more of a complete package guy, right? So everything needs to at least fit. So if it's an average of seven, that to me is better than a nine face and uh 
two body, right? I, 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 I would rather take the average of six or seven than the fucking, um, you know, a girl that ha has great boobs, great ass, but no face or whatever the case might be. And in my opinion, this girl here looks like you'd always just fucking fight. Like, you would come home two minutes late and she would be up your ass about how Mate, you're fucking late. you frying pans at your head for sure. Exactly. I mean, she would yeah, fucking the if sex would be you. fucking phenomenal. I'm not saying date her. I just that's not the point. I mean, if you, Bro, if you want to talk, if you want to talk about aggressive women, uh, Ronda Rousey. Yeah, she, yeah. She, she, she's, no, she's, she's another she's, one. Dude, that scene in Final no, uh, Fast and Furious Seven when Mila Rodriguez fought Ronda Rousey. Dude, that scene was hot as fuck. Yeah, I, I will say this right. I, I'm not fond of Ronda Rousey. I don't think she's that hot. But she's actually extremely feminine outside of the cage. Like outside oh, yeah. of the cage, she's extremely feminine, and I don't. I think she would actually make a good girlfriend because I, I think she would be pretty laid back because she's kicking ass in the ring. Last thing she wants to do is come home and kick ass some more, right? You just oh, get I, these girls. I, I guarantee. I guarantee you that that Rhonda and her husband freaking duke it out in the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you? Can you? Uh, Conan O'Brien about it, and uh, he was asking her about like the talk of like extra testosterone in female fighters, and she was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm more of a dude than he is. Like before a fight, I want to fuck, and then I'll fuck." Him. Like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super hard off for sex. Not necessarily, Adelia. Not necessarily. It just it really depends. Like it's interesting for me to hear the different likes and dislikes that people have. Uh, in partners so i for example am far more attracted to hyper femininity right so a hyper feminine girl like really fucking that that is hot to me and then you get guys that really like the the more um middle of the road you get guys that like masculine chicks so not main but masculine chicks and then obviously you get guys like uh, mike that will just gobble up whatever the fuck you put in front of him yeah. <laughs> I, I got I got no issues admitting to that. <laughs> gobble gobble gobble. Well, if it doesn't matter. Yeah, bah, so bah, I, don't like bah, chicks. I just like tough <laughs> chicks, but I like feminine looking tough chicks. I mean, I don't I don't mind either way, right? Um I think it, when it comes to attraction, that's like how you realize just how different humans are. Right? So, your fr have you ever had this? Your friend comes to you and says he just made the most beautiful chick in the whole world. And then he shows you the chick and you're like, that's the most, that is the most beautiful girl in the world? Um, it's a trap. Um, is is this other girl standing in front of her? Or uh, is she not in the picture? Well, who's this girl you're talking about? Right? Um, so, it's quite interesting to me to see how, how it affects uh, the how different people find different people attractive basically big boobs and, and ass uh adelia are you asking me or are you asking someone else in chat every time sorry fucking slave to a fucking broke me there <laughs> <laughs> Feminine on the hoe change the dicks am i right <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> would my gobble uh would my gobble golem i don't know mike would you no, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Before he got I, deformed I, I, by the ring? No. That, 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 that's no. his line. That's his fucking line. He will I, not cross that I, line. I do have a line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, I'm going to jump into the D&D &D channel. I will see you there in a couple of minutes. All right, yeah. All right. I'm quickly going to go. I'm quickly going to take bio break and then... Uh, yes, have a break. Jesus. Then we'll get into... We'll get into the D&D. &D. So you guys can go grab a coffee. That's a good post for the YouTube community to get those cheeky dicks. No, I, I would prefer not to have that. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, I'll be right back, guys, and then we'll um, we'll start the D and D stream. Go grab a coffee, go uh, grab a drink, or whatever the fuck you need to do. And uh, we'll be back in exactly eight minutes. That's when we'll start the D, D stream right so i'm gonna run an ad for those of you that isn't subbed you'll see an ad right now that means you can go up and go do whatever the fuck you need to do 
And um, yeah, see you guys in a bit. Shame we didn't touch on the midgets. <laughs> hey Alpaca, what's the path of the um key um fuck my brain's not wanting to work. What's the shorthand for changing the, your nickname in the dice roller? Is it a fuck and then your name? I know I'm not Alpaca, but she's walking the city. Your name just needs to be one word because if you do name one then name two it will be name one is your nickname and then name two will be the password for that nickname so yeah just slash nick and then name Thank you kindly, both of you. You got a new mic of your morning? I'm on my laptop right now. I'm the friends visiting, and uh, so yeah, I'm not using my uh, headset at the moment, just the built in mic on my laptop. Is it bad? No, oh, it's not bad. It's definitely better than mine was coming through on the other fucking session. Um, it was just a different mic, so I figured I'd ask. What was the custom roll command again? What do you mean custom roll command? Um. So to roll, you do hashtag number of dice, D number of sides. That's it. That's what I was looking for. Perfect. I just I couldn't remember if it was a hashtag or another symbol. Uh, how does the mic sound, Alex? Uh, uh, is this better for you? Because I don't want to make your editing work even harder. It's not better? Well, then fuck. Way, Alex. Great editing on that first vid. I still need to actually watch it. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Is it actually legit still bad? Because then I'll just go back to the other headset because it's much easier for me. I tried watching it heard myself talking and was like I I can't take this it is shit it, it is something that you do have to get accustomed to but once you're accustomed to listening to your own voice it just bas it basically becomes just another voice oh you want to talk about voice throwing you off Every time I hear Royal J, I swear I hear myself talking. Which is funny because you and Royal J, you and Royal J sound nothing alike. 
Well, I'm not saying it sounds like me as if we were talking back and forth, but it sounds like me over like a computer when I listen to a recording of my voice. Is that better at all? Still crackly? Your mic you see, Alex agrees with me. And no, Ferrarius, I am crazy. Now my volume's low? Fuck. Yeah, but it sounds a lot better, OG. Big booty bitches be bouncing on my booty. What? I'm fiddling with Discord settings, because it's probably the processing that's fucking it up. Totally is what he's doing. After today, Mike's anus will be flapping in the breeze with a wind direction of northeast. <laughs> True. You should, you should hire, you should hire yourself out for those GPS na uh, navigator uh, voices. Turn left. Turn right, unless you can't look at the map. At the next roundabout, make a U-turn and come back 400 yards. Now I'm that's a... I'd say F U2. I'm actually trying to picture that, and I don't know how that would actually work. Turn right at the next signal. Uh, so, Mike, if you've got a right. one-way system, uh, you then go up to the roundabout, come back if there's a barrier in the middle, and you can't just take a U banging across. Bang. Which, uh, which hey, side we're in? Hey, I'll, pack it. I'll be right back again. Are we in the DD channel? We are in DD shenanigans. I yes, we are. Let me just change the channel quickly and change this. I left my biscuits with my tea at the table. There we go. Funnel berry butter bar. All right, uh, is this working? There we go. Okay, so we're up. Uh, uh, right, let's just make sure sounds fine. It's changed the uh, stream info. What a beer with a bunch of biscuits. Gee, biscuits go gravy, not tea. Depends on if you're talking about those British biscuits, or me I mean those cookies. Mate, I'm telling you, a proper biscuit, when fired with enough velocity, will cut your face up. I can weaponize that shit, my friend. Ginger snaps are awesome for that. Pop knobs. And back. Pop knobs are an oat biscuit. All right. And they will. Um, they, they turn into frag grenades like shrapnel. Dungeons and Dragons. Got this done. Done. Here we go. Nicholas TV, thank you very much for the fucking host, dude. Really appreciate that. Or for the raid, welcome everyone from uh, Nicholas's uh, stream. Nicholas, how was your fucking stream, bro? All right. So for those of you that don't know, there is a bingo uh, for for this. Yeah, we do have raiders. So say say hello to all of the raiders. There is a bingo. If you draw, if you pull up the bingo card, yeah, and. Uh, just keep track of the game. If you fill out an entire bingo card, um, Alex, uh, uh, Apocalypse, they can actually uh, suggest the scenario to you, right? Uh, so we've had three redemptions so far through the bingo. Uh, Ferorius has created a dungeon crawl. Uh, yeah. Royal J has created a uh, random roll villain. 
to turn up every now and then, and Enoch has created a quest tie-in ally. There we go. So through the bingo, you can basically create anything. You you get to be the DM for an hour where you talk to Apocalypse, you tell him what you want to put in, how you want to put it in, and if it is within the rules of the game, your scenario makes it into the game. Yeah? Uh, not only that, the other thing that, that you have is the channel redemptions. So there's actual channel redemptions that you can do. You can redeem the naming of an NPC. Uh, I believe that's 10,000. Let's just make sure I don't fuck it up. Yeah, so 10,000, you get to name an NPC. For 25,000, you can require me to do a skill check. For 50,000, you can literally tell me to do something. And for 100,000, you get to be DM for a second. So in the given scenario, you can't create a new scenario, but in the given scenario, you could basically tell Apocalypse to do one thing right or change something maybe add a mob or whatever the case might be yeah so um those are the channel redemptions so the channel point redemptions that you can do so that everyone can play with and everyone can sort of be a part of it let's just quickly pull up all of my D, &D shit here mm. my character char is up i'm ready with my rolls uh music music needs to fucking change hold up mm. right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm Can you guys hear Echo. the music? It's right there by your map. What by my what? Everything you're looking for, it's right beside the cosmological map. All oh, right. No, I'm I'm doubtful. I never play this music. I just want to make sure the music is on the right level. Is it too loud? Is it fine? Do you guys want it up or down? All right, cool stuff. All right, so Alpocalypse, if everyone is here, I'm, uh, I'm ready. Okay, so at the end of last session, we uh, jumped a little bit for time constraints and we dished out the loot for the quest you haven't handed in yet. So what we're going to do is take a minor flashback to you guys handing in the quest to Clint. Now, mm -hmm. the quest was to gain some information from the library that would help um, kind of reduce the kind of control that the library has over the town and uh, lower their influence a little bit. You guys managed to find some unfinished spell work in the office of Norvo Rogers um, that Clint would pay quite a high price for. In fact, the rewards are the artifacts I gave you at the end of last session. Yes. Um, for time constraints, you guys already know what that is. Um, so feel free to use those going forwards, and those will gain extra benefits and extra powers as you continue through the game. These are essentially your Heart of Azeroth type items, the things that you will carry permanently all the time, and they will gain some benefits alongside you. Yeah. And they will also tie into personal progressions. So Clint is very, very happy with the spell work. And uh, he even says that he might be able to, given enough time, replace the missing information from that spell work. But it looks to be some kind of time controlling magic. So some kind of chronomancy that has been in, heavily involved in the fuckery around the, the plane recently um and he is definitely thankful to thana for introducing you guys to him as uh you guys have proven yourself to be very useful and in fact offers his support in uh 
legitimizing some of your business ventures should you wish to progress with those wait so he just offered to does that mean that he would be willing to sell his shop to us or at least he would it's be not definitely bad. more than willing to lend a name Moni, your mic what's wrong with your mic Ma uh, Moni? i'm on my laptop right now that's all all right okay uh all right, so we'll figure that out offline most likely, and then we'll just explain it next session if we do want to. But we've already sort of set out business dealings that we do want to partake in, right? Um, yeah, and in fact, that will actually come into play later on. Um, but he is very grateful to what you've done for him and uh, in payment for some maybe future favors that you could do him. Uh, he is willing to lend his influence to your legitimate business side. Okay. Um, where do we find ourselves now? Because we've just gone back in time. So obviously we're going back to present time right now. Yes. So now right. a week later, you are now all back at the Shanks Manor. And uh, you guys have got it all restocked. You guys have got it all up and running as far as basic necessities and uh i believe have spent the last week kind of cultivating some uh more leads for the syndicate itself uh if you guys would like to take me through your plan as to what it was you were looking to do for example i know echo was looking Ambition, thank to you for the follow. Really fucking appreciate that, bro. the library in some manner and uh what exactly have you tried to do all right so um I've basically used my position as a warlock within this town and uh, granted that they view me as sort of someone who don't legitimately belong there, but I have used my position within the family and also within this town to become one of the lecturers there. Now, obviously, that I want to become a lecturer there, but I'm probably going to have to either deceive my way in there or persuade someone or pay someone off in order to do so? Or would this be something where I would be welcomed as a lecturer? As a visiting dignitary type of deal, uh, do give me a deception check. Uh, nine plus, I believe my deception is five. Yeah, so 14. So 14. Yeah, you, you managed to get a kind of TA position, like an assistance position there. Oh, so you're not actually involved in the teaching of anything, but nobody really pays too much attention to you when you're sat in the side of the hall, uh, just kind of taking notes about what's going on, which is definitely ideal for more spying situation and trying to yeah. like, gain some information. Yeah, which is basically what I want to do there. First, I want to look after myself. I want magic. So whatever magic they have, I want to take control of it. But then obviously also information. You have also made a, an acquaintance bordering on a friend um, in a elven looking gentleman. Very high society, very posh, very okay. well educated and definitely comes from money. And he goes by the name of Azazel. Um, he seems to have a slightly darker side to him though. And, uh, in fact, you're pretty sure that he may or may not be just a little bit kind of possessed by a demon. Oh, this is music to my fucking ears. Um, but for the most part, you, uh, you guys are kind of at that point where you'll nod to each other in the hall. You'll say hello. You'll ask each other how they're doing without really actually bothering to wait for a response. And, uh, he seems definitely amenable. And uh, not like the rest of the wizards in this place. Uh, they all seem very intent on what they're doing and the secret society that is operating within their walls. Um, but Azazel just kind of seems to want to do his own thing and is really there just to actually learn rather than contribute to the rest of it. Okay. All right. So... I'm not at the moment talking to Azazel. This is just the scenario that I find myself in in the library, right? Yeah, over the past week, this is kind of what's been happening to you. You guys are all currently in the Shanks Mansion and uh, currently kind of 
catching back up with each other over the events of the week. All right. So basically, I'll go ahead and I'll tell my group about my position. And I've made this uh, really interesting gentleman that may prove useful to us in the future. Right now, his allegiance seems to be with himself, which, um, Morny, I believe we could exploit. In fact, Sorry, you figuring out my problem. Helpfully provided an image for what he looks like as well. All right, let's just see this. Oh, look at this. Let me just show chat. So this is Azazel, ladies and gentlemen. This is what Azazel looks like. Interesting looking fella, but I definitely do he think. I do think we could, the fact that he is in it for himself and that basically what he wants is more power and obviously to focus on his studies. People who's in it for themselves can be commit or can be persuaded to join a different side if that side also then would help further their, shall we say, uh, goals. So yeah, oh, definitely gee, interesting so in that. Should I do a religion check? For what? <coughs> the name is Azel. I mean, if you want to, it's it's a fairly common name in a world where magic exists. Okay, fine. No problems. Yeah, I don't think we've ever met this gentleman. No, Might he's be... just a student in the library currently. All right. Uh, uh, what did everyone else do? Testy and Morny, yours are actually semi-tied into Shammy's as well. So I think we'll come back to you three finally, because that's going to lead into the rest of today. Um, but Mike, you were looking to set up a, a shrine, right? And uh, recruit some people? That is correct. Now... There are a couple of places and abandoned buildings within the city walls themselves, uh, mostly on the outskirts around the actual city walls uh, in the lower quality districts. Um, but they are currently abandoned and free to just take over um, if you would so choose. Or you can set one up within the Zarmatek estate uh, inside one of the sheds. You said there was Six Blades, how you doing, bro? three empty You want more uh, than welcome, man. Buildings? Oh, there is several. Cask, how you doing? Um, but to narrow it down, pick a cardinal compass direction. And there will be one there. Does there the direction are... does the direction are... change which one would be there? There's one available in each direction, uh, basically. Um, oh, okay. On the... Uh, is... Western side, you have the one closest to the brothel and pawpaws. On the northern side, you have um, next to the main road into the city. On the eastern side, you guys actually haven't been over that side yet, so there may or may not be something useful there. Um, but on the south side, that's where the docks are. Might go east, are bro. Any... Are there are there any that are connected together that would? make for like multiple buildings in the lower quality districts it's definitely a rat warren type of place all the buildings are squeezed in together then trying to conserve as much space as possible so they're all clustered kind of on top of each other very ghetto district very uh shanty town type look so you can definitely find some that would look like several small buildings but would actually in fact be hollow and made into a, a one large one but if he goes east we learn new things if we haven't touched the east yet then yeah let's go let's go east and and extend thank you thank you mike yes let's go east uh so do give me a d10 please mike What are we going to find? Oh my fuck. Really, Mike? <laughs> Come on, bro. 
<laughs> so this is a random roll generator that has given this uh, particular repercussion. But uh, on the first day that you attempted to do this, Mike, uh, as you were kind of looking around trying to pick the ideal spot, uh, you actually wake up in the fields outside of town with no memory of how you got there. You uh, are dressed in a crude tax collector's uniform and you're carrying enough goblin coins uh, to amount to about 10 gold. What the fuck? How did he just get 10 gold? Because that's all he has left. Oh, oh he got mugged. Oh, shit. He got fucking... <laughs> oh. It's okay, I... I, I, I don't particularly care about gold, so it's fine. <laughs> Luckily, your items and equipment are still there, and you have gained a crude tax collector's uniform to boot, but it did cost you all but ten gold pieces that you had in your pouch. Um, but you did actually find quite a nice kind of building. It's um, two across, one up, and uh, they actually had already previously knocked in the wall separating them. Uh, it seemed that somebody had had that same idea as yourself previously. Okay, right. I'll, I'll, I'll head for that then. <laughs> Ex to doubt. <laughs> Micah, you legitimately think you shabby did you in? I trust no one. That's a good idea. Good <laughs> and you know what I've just realized? We are missing somebody. Who? We are missing Where's our Andy. Oh, I was gonna say our elephant boy, but who's the asexual? Can someone Luna? ping Andy? Because I don't think he read the ping in D and D. Oh, that's yeah, it. he's well, actually in. Kind of forget to say that Raid Knight moved to today because of something. Oh, he's having Raid Knight, so we're just using him as a fucking staff at this point. He'll be here in five minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Andy is basically is a wand of uh, ghost hunting at this point. Um, but when he gets here, uh, he will have found a cursed treasure to have stored inside uh, the Shanks estate. And uh, we will have to see what that is. But for Shami, Testy, and Morny. Morny, I understand you were actually yeah. looking to ingratiate yourself with the Business Owners Association on a legitimate front. And uh, I may have misread the interpretation, but as far as I was aware, this was to essentially acquire legally a spot to set up or re-kind of build the brothel and take that over for testing. Is Morny there? He's dead. <laughs> Why is no one talking tonight? Right, I'm here. We were running a little late because we wiped like idiots. <laughs> right, Morning. while, uh, while Morny fixes his mic, uh, All right. we will deal with Andy now that he is here. Uh, yeah. Andy, please give me a D10 roll. Fucking what's with the bad rolls tonight? We well, don't know. It's it's random. No sh Sherlock. <laughs> what does three get him? Hold on. My page won't load. But now you said you said cursed chest, right? It is definitely cursed. a cursed item. Yes. We've got a cursed ring. It's still on Kamikins' finger. <laughs> yes, but he's also found another one. I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I, I, wanna... I, I think I'm already ahead of you. I know exactly what's so, happening Andy, next. You, uh, run, in your, Kimmy, run. <laughs> in your hunt for cursed items... Uh, you actually come across a shield that gives you some really bad vibes. Uh, on the front of it, it actually has a bat uh, that has a eye above it 
that is opened and bleeding. Um, and when you got close to it, your little friendly ghost that's inside your brain uh, started gibbering maniacally and definitely told you, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, just pick it up, just pick it up, dude, just pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Can you give me a constitution saving throw, please? Yes. Ooh, shit. What's happening now? Roll good, Ooh, Andy. Roll. Oh, I'm at the one this time. Oh, that's a good roll. Depends. So you actually kind of feel the curse kind of start to take hold. Um, but then something inside, you probably the ghost that is inside your brain already, actually stopped the invading force. And as your eyesight started to deteriorate to the point where you were convinced you were now becoming blind, it just snapped now? and then you could see again. Yeah, we really can now. I need to. It does so is Kami Kins's character at this point aware of what the curse does to him? Nope. Oh, this is good. Andy, you and I have to talk in the corner for a second. So, Andy, please do add to your inventory a cursed shield of blindness. Okay. <laughs> now, Moni, now that your uh, mic issue seems to be fixed, was I correct in my assumption that you were trying to ingratiate yourself with the Business Owners Association to legitimately rebuild and take over the brothel? Then his mic just breaking in. He's dead. Poor Morny. <laughs> no, Morny's just just not working. So for those of you playing bingo, uh, do check off technical difficulties. Yes, we have technical difficulties. Yes. Does, does my does my one count as a natural one, even though it's on a D10? No. No, it's not on that one. I, I so believe that one is only for D20, yeah. Okay. Just wanted to double check. Yeah, funnily enough, in rolls, it actually comes up with a very helpful nat one when uh, somebody rolls a nat one. Can I just... Does, does, I just... It, um, does, it, does it count as a nat one, even if there's a um addition, or is it still... Or... No, not oh, one. So not one. Roll a one on the dice. It's a not one. No, yeah, okay. actually, you, connect, uh, you can actually, you can actually see whenever people add like uh, d roll d twenty plus five, it will literally just say not one. If you roll a not one plus five, doesn't fucking matter. You rolled one, and that's one. Okay. Um. So, while we're waiting for Morny, can I quickly talk to Andy aside? I turn to Andy. Can we quickly talk uh, aside from the group? I just nod and follow. All right, standing <laughs> just out of earshot of the group, I turn to Andy and I explain to him my diabolical plan. I ask him if he would be willing to pass the shield to Kamikins as a gift. Hmm. Would Andy, would Andy be... Right now, I cannot get rid of it. The oh. haunt is telling me to to keep it. Can, yeah. I use, I use, can I use deception on Andy to deceive him into thinking that he can hand over the shield to, to Kamikins, or is the ghost stopping him from doing it entirely? The ghost is definitely the one kind of goleming inside his brain you would not be able to convince with words however you can definitely try an arcana check to see if you can work out what the ghost is all right let's all right. let's do an arcana check let's do an arcana check that's 19 i believe yeah 19. it seems to be a kind of greed goblin basically and anything shiny it will definitely make uh, Andy act like a magpie towards it. Treasure goblin in your head. Oh, wait, hold up. Um, what do I have in my backpack? Mm. Hmm. 
be interesting to when see I, if the ghost, I, if the ghost, if the shield's unique to the ghost, or if it's just like the ghost is just give like he just wants it regardless of how beneficial or um, d- um, detrimental it is. When I offer the ghost one of my daggers, does it do anything? I pull the dagger out and present it to Andy, hoping that he will drop the shield and grab the dagger. Nope. I take out, I replace the, 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 the blade with five gold pieces. Nope. Ten gold pieces. Nope. <laughs> Fifty gold pieces. It's definitely trying to go for the magically shiny. Your earthly, earthly fucking treasures are worthless to me. Oh, your staff. Can't. I have nothing magical. I don't, I'm not giving away my stuff. That just is going to be very helpful later down the road. Mm. I give one of those one of those gems that you got pleasure off of. Actually, Andy, please give me a perception check. Fuck. Chat, why am I giving this thing? Must it be shiny and magical or just magical? Does the magic make it shiny to the goblin? Uh, you don't know. You would have to bind it and talk to it to do that, uh, to know that. But, Andy, uh, you are actually kind of surprised that getting close to Echo Staff makes your uh, goblin shut up. Kind of the voices in your head stop a little bit. It seems to be afraid. Ooh. Now, how can I use this? How can I use this? Do I have you the ability can't. to bind the goes to my staff well you don't know about that yet you can't hear him yeah but i'm just tasting out different things uh so andy that would be up to you to either be a willing participant or echo will have to roll to subdue you to do some um how do i even put this (laughs) i don't mention what's what's happening in my head your body better be ready is he gonna ghost nap the like ghost in Andy's head? Like that seems really fucked up and possibly dangerous. Could be safe. I mean, I mean, he's I mean, not literally in my head. He's yeah around me. You just can't see him. Plus, you guys have fuck all to do with this. We're out of earshot. <laughs> Go on with your business. <laughs> Fucking hell, me and Andy here. <laughs> I just squint at the staff and don't say anything, and then we, we turn away. I bring the staff up to his head. Why, just randomly? I didn't tell you that something happened. No, I'm doing it. Because I want to. I mean, the ghost isn't in my head. It is in your head. I can feel it. No. (laughs) What? (laughs) No. Let me do... Okay, I've already done an arcana check. And I sort of have an idea that it's a greed demon. Mm. Andy, do you feel anything different when I do this, and I take my staff and I present it to him, just hold it in front of him, not near his head or anything, just bring it near him. I feel all right. Better or worse than you felt before? Same. This is like the most fucked Nothing up changed. opposition ever. <laughs> right over a ghost. Yeah, how would I? How would I bind this fuck to my staff? Let, let, let's get this done. You'd have to do some extra research. Oh, I can actually get a killing blow on Andy, and then that would give me a soul. If you did that, I'm pretty sure the rest of us would jump you. No, you're chaotic evil. You yeah, at least stay mind. out of it. Actually, I'm evil. That means that means you put e- you commit mm. evil to my boy. I'll commit evil to your boy. You know, it's Can very do... much within my possibilities to kill you in one hit. No, I, I'm standing right in front of you. I would know. I would subdue you instantly. Um, no. Okay, apocalypse. Um, can I do a religion check to see if I know anything extra about Greek goblins? Uh, you don't even need to roll. Uh, you actually don't know anything else they are normally uh just kind of trash spirits they are everywhere they will 
attached to certain people and they will stay with them for quite a long time uh just being a maddening whisper in their head for the most part uh the only reason andy knows that it's there is because he can see it uh, but nobody else can can you all hear me now yeah, yeah. Hello, morning. we can hear wonderful you. All right, but I don't want the fucking shield. I want the shield so that I can give it to Kamikin so that he can go blind. <coughs> Chat, you need to follow along with my plan. But it seems that Apocalypse is doing everything in his power to not have my plan come to fruition. So I'm going to have to think a little bit about this. All right, we return to the group. I'm noticeably pissed off about the whole fucking situation. Just want to make that clear. Yeah, you should be creative. Okay, so now that Morny is back again, we shall try to get the answer. Uh, I assume that you were looking to fix up the brothel, right? Yeah, I wanted to fix up the brothel and start doing more of the legitimate side of things while we work on the um, under uh, empire. Okay, so... Uh... When you start out trying to kind of take over the plot of land, uh, you're actually told you need a permit to rebuild on this site. And uh, you, will, you will need to talk to um, a gentleman by the name of Sir Pentis, uh, who is running the upscale tavern called Eden um, on the northern district of town. And um, as you were going about your business, trying to set up a meeting with Sir Pentis, uh, Thana has also been collecting and cultivating her contacts within the city, uh, one of them being Papa himself, who has run into a bit of an issue with Serpentis. Um, this guy is basically trying to take advantage of the lower economy districts and is actually causing them to suffer when everyone else can only see the the thin veneer of this kind of helpful uh charitable uh kind of person um but there's definitely something wrong with him there's something shady with serpentis and eden entirely and uh papa is is willing to lend you guys some influence to the committee if you might be able to get some dirt on Serpentis, or even remove him from town entirely. Hmm. Absolutely, I will be more than glad to work on that. Could we, we, could, we, could we sneak in and try to kill him in his sleep? That would involve uh, finding out where he lives, how, the layout of his place of residence, and your plan of attack, but it is certainly an option. I think it would be a better idea to find out how he's dirty, in case of we can either um, convert him to our side, or um, basically get info on his sources. Maybe if we can get some information on his, on his business dealings, we could just... Because right now, if we kill him, we know nothing more, right? We literally just know that he's dead now. But if we learn everything we can learn about his business dealings, then, well, once we kill him, we can take it over, right? It can become our business dealings. So that's actually a good idea, Tammy. Although you could come up with that idea when you're blind as well. So, you know, no loss. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Uh, Morny, uh, whatever... Yes. Uh business meetings you want to come up with uh make sure you take me along just to make sure that can be done what uh what information does uh did we find out uh so the information that you found out specifically morning is that um sir pentis is the owner of eden on the northern side of uh Zamatek. he is the head of the board uh, for the Business Owners Association. He is the one that grants all the permissions. He is the one that makes sure that... Did you just cut out Apocalypse? Big time. Man, we have to get Apocalypse a new fucking mic. 
might not be the mic, it might be the laptop itself, actually. Yeah, it's it's not that the mic died. He's um he's definitely experiencing some se- severe technical difficulties because his camera's frozen, etc. Uh-huh. Everything's back him falling. Um is currently on Michael Dishing Clint. It's coming down very laggy. Yeah, this is bad. It's something about Clint. He will have to re say the whole thing again. We're experiencing some te- technical diff- difficulties, guys. Mark it if you got it. See, I, I said it. Laptop is dead. It's metaphorical. <laughs> Curse of blindness. Is the laptop completely dead? Or can it be, um, can it be resurrected or is it dead for good? Anyways, chop. Where, where do you guys think we should go next? I'm thinking we should go to this dude's. Uh, like, we should maybe make uh, an appointment to meet with him, and then once we're in, yeah, like- we could use deception and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I agree on that's a good idea. I'd like to talk to him first. So yeah, maybe even just visit his uh, little piece of Eden. Like that. He's not. He, he's obviously not going to tell us much, right? Um, sure. it's, it that's seems not very uh, scaly. I mean, the one one of the things I heard that that was a comedy about finding out about his corruption is he's charitable. So it might mean charitable that's either the, means the near. Huh? It's probably best not to tip our hand at what we're trying to do. Uh, just act like businessmen and then surprise him. I was going to say, why don't we just talk him up a bit, kind of uh, just uh, rub elbows and whatnot. Sweet talk him, so to speak. Maybe we well, can get... What, what he said, it, yeah? uh, his laptop might have short-circuited, in my opinion. Like the... his GPU, probably. Fuck. Because, like he said, he got a shock in a finger and then it went dead. What a time for his laptop to give out. I mean, I would say generally any time for your laptop to give out is bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it would actually be worse if you wake up the next morning and your laptop just won't go on. I don't know if it's, if it's um, a dead laptop or not, I think. Uh, so possibly I'll be setting up a GoFundMe later. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, shit. Shammy, does he have actual dice? I mean, I think, I mean, if, doesn't he have a second PC that he works on as well? He does have another laptop. Uh, the problem is, is he can't do everything, like, Neither one of them are enough to do everything individually. Dang. Fuck. Well, it seems like we may need to reskip at least skip this week and um, schedule this again. Yeah. Well, give me a couple minutes, like, because he'll let me know. Like, yeah, we'll uh, spend like 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can wait. Um, I, I don't mind waiting. Yeah. But we may have to set up. Um, I know he's uh, in the inheritance is coming in soon, although soon might be fucking relative. soon. DM, yeah, yeah. Um. Otherwise, we may have to set up a fucking uh, GoFundMe for Apocalypse's laptop to get him a new laptop that actually fucking works. I don't you hate it because fuck me. <laughs> It's a new mic. Poor I mean. guy, Jesus. That, that that sucks, dude. Oh my god. If your fucking PC dies. 
literally as you're trying to play a game or some shit. Oh my god. So this reminds me of what happened last year with my computer. Um, I made the stupid mistake of not turning my computer off and I was rearranging my room and I was trying to get, I was moving my computer closer to my bed. So then I could, I, I could play with my computer in my bed and the video card was not, was, 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 was not screwed in. So I wasn't secure. Yeah. And I accidentally bumped the graphics card, which then hit the motherboard, which then ended up short circuiting not only the motherboard, but the power supply for $100 later. <laughs> Good going, man. Jesus. That was a that great was, idea. That was, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was an expensive lesson. <laughs> that was, Does yeah. OG have uh, Discord on his phone? He probably does, but I don't. I don't know if that's gonna help. Yeah, yeah how is he gonna do roles and stuff and hear yeah. everything, see everything? Well, that's why all, I asked all, if he had dice. All, well, no, all of his information would be on the laptop, and if his laptop died, then he wouldn't have access to it. Yeah, plus he wouldn't be able to see any of our modifiers or anything. So, I, I think I if, plus his story would probably be on the laptop as well. Probably has like uh, story points, like to what to mention and what we are seeing. Yeah, so he wouldn't be able to. He, he wouldn't. He would literally not be able to DM further if the laptop doesn't come on. Or would be very clunky. Yeah. So, uh, assuming he doesn't come back, um, hots after? <laughs> Hot, hell yeah, dude! Uh, probably have to. Uh, or PVP, World of Warcraft PVP. Nah, nah. Yes. I thought you hated PvP, Aquan. As a hunter, it's quite fun because you fucking ruin people's <laughs> lives. You ruin people's lives with that shit. Back. But um, yeah, I, I, I've luckily never had any sort of bad experience like that. Tell Lynn how you doing? That also, I. That also reminds me of, of of another horrible story. I have the worst luck with 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 graphics cards. So this was back when I had my gaming PC, and the tower I was using had um, had a had a top fan slot, and um, I had I had the laptop on the ground, but off to the side instead of having it tucked away. And I had a I had a drink on the on the desk. It was a glass of milk. Well, mm -hmm. I'm cutsy as hell, and I and I, I was waving my hands around. I accidentally hit the glass the glass of milk, which then poured into the computer. This was a week after I had just purchased a 1080 card. Get fucked. Yeah. What the fuck? Apocalypse, are you back? I am back. So, okay, my laptop is a piece of shit, for those of you that don't know. It's a very old laptop and it's falling apart. What happened was Discord made a push notification to announce that it was going to shut down for an update, but that put a surge through my computer, which then shorted out because my finger was pushing down PTT, and it shocked me, and then fucking shorted the laptop. So yes, I just I had did. to restart <laughs> it, and then it had to update Discord, which is why it took so long. Fuck me, Apocalypse, when, when is that money coming in, dude? I don't even know, mate, at this point. But you're gonna have such a fucking good time once you get a new beefy PC. <laughs> Telling right. me, mate. Right, yeah, so, uh, what I was saying was, uh, it seems uh, Sir Pentis, uh, Sir Wilfred Pentis, uh, seems to be controlling the rest of the business owners by hook or by crook. Either he's got some information on them that he's using to extort them, or he's just generally strong-arming them into the, supporting his movements. And uh, those that don't kind of follow his rules get fucked. Uh, they don't get the budget share, they don't get the help, they don't get any of the benefits of being part of this committee and uh, are usually actually suffering because of it. And this is where Paw Paw and Clint come in. Uh, they have both run afoul of uh, Sir Pentis and his um, particular ideals, and um, 
is definitely making them pay by siphoning off business away from them. All right, so Clint is the guy that we just helped with the last task. Yes. Can we maybe... Shamey, can you go talk to Clint and find out what he knows about um, this dude? I can definitely try. Because we know that the uh, Popo doesn't really know much about the guy, just that he is dirty, right? But maybe Clint knows a little bit more because Clint does seem to be a little bit more connected to, shall we say, not upper society, but definitely the workings of behind the scenes, so to speak. I wouldn't necessarily discount what Papa might know because of all the little street urchins that hang around his place. Never know what he might overhear. But Popo, Popo was the guy who told us about the, about this Lord, right? Or did we find out about it because he doesn't want to give us a permit? We found but, out about it because I needed a permit. And then um, he was the one who told us whom to go to. Um, what was the status of my request to meet with him? Uh, currently, you're being denied. Uh, mm. Just at every turn. You you haven't actually been able to speak to Serpentis at all. You've not even been able to get close to him. Uh, it seems that his little minions are gatekeeping you. Um, because you are new and not established. And uh, they do appreciate the irony of uh, not being able to get established by not being established. Can we go? Can we? Who's got the best uh, the best relationship with Paul? Paul, no one really, right? No. Can I? Am I? Can I attempt to persuade them otherwise? Uh, um, Thana would have the best connection with Papa as uh, she is originally from that area and still supports them. Who? Shammy. Shammy. Oh. Um. Then maybe Shammy should go talk to both Popo and Clint to find out if they know anything that we can use against this guy. Obviously not asking it that way, just asking what are their business dealings. Because maybe, since we can't get a meeting with him now, maybe we make it so pricey for him that he can't turn us down. If we can find out about one of his business dealings and intervene in that, maybe steal something from him or disrupt one of his uh, one of his uh, operations, he would have to see us. Let's put a pen in that. That is a great idea. I would like to talk to Clint about his um, offer of um, helping out with legitimacy while um, if... Um, I'm so sorry. I just blanked on your character's name, Shammy. Thana. Thana. Thank you so much. I if don't Thana would any of the um, names. Uh, go and speak with Papa. At least, at least we could um, we could see if we can get established in other ways, and then if we can get back to it to the we uh, can't, brothels. I mean, we know we can't because in order to get established, we need to meet with this fucking guy. We can't get established without talking to him, and we can't talk to him without being established. That's why Apocalypse said they do get the irony of, you know, not being able to get established until you're established so that you can get established. So, yeah, so, that's why I would like to go to speak with Clint. All right, so you're going to go talk to Clint. Shami is going to go talk to Popo. Can they be on their way? I guess the rest of us are just going to fucking chill at this point. Well, you can go with them, or you can do other things in the meantime. Uh, there's definitely not a limit as to how many people go to talk to each one. Before I leave, I do have something I want to talk to Akalon about. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before I head out from the the state, um, I um, I've got I bring Akalon down to my chambers in uh, in down in the basement and Where's talk this going? to him about. I'm wanting you to find my uh, Earl's, my uh, siblings, so to speak. Well, more legitimate ones. Mm -hmm. I just conduct all of my business down here. 
All right, but where is To your... assist you with that, I have a vial of my blood for you, which should also have a small sample of my sires, which would be a resonance point between myself and the remaining Shanks family. All right, I could probably do an arcana check on that to see if I can trace it down. Yes, you could. All right, so I'll do an arcana check right now. Mm, my arcana is plus two, so... Fuck, six. I'm going to walk around forever. <laughs> or it just pings me. D1000, please. Am I D1000? Yep. Losing or gaining? 626. So it's going to take you just shy of about three months to uh, kind of make a uh, scrying spell from scratch. No, we need a scrying spell from Clint. I mean, he he's the guy from Arcana Cabana, right? Yes. All right, I'm going with, um, with Morning to Clint. Sorry, it took my, my brain a second to work out what you actually just fucking said. Why? What did you think you, I was saying? It's going to take you six months to get a spell from scratch. No, we need it from Clint. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to go, gonna go buy the fucking thing off of Clint? Yeah, I guess that's what you meant, but I thought you thought I was stalking. You're going to just go buy it from scratch. Like, who the fuck is scratch? <laughs> No, I'll go with uh, Moni to Clint and then ask him about a scrying spell. I'm not waiting fucking six months to get shit done. Okay, so uh, Shami, are you going with Moni to both Clint and Papa's, or are you going to one while they go to the other? I I feel like I might be helpful in both locations because Clint's Definitely. a buddy. You are the you are the connection. I'll help with whoever's going to pop pause. Um, so I feel like um, if you guys feel that Clint is a priority, uh, I will go with you guys to talk to Clint. I mean, we're all in the same city. It's not going to take us a million years to talk to both of them. Um, yeah. So. I, I'm going to follow my boss around. So. I'm going to observe the shield that I got. I'll use Arcana on it and look at all of the details. Maybe try to find out how to get rid of this. Oh! Oh! This is what I wanted uh... to do! No, let him let him let him do his arcana check. I, I know what I want to do, Apocalypse, with that what? shield. Okay. No, you ain't touching me. Uh yeah, with a nine, uh you definitely know there would be a way to separate the enchantment and there is something underneath the curse. Um but how you might be able to kind of break through the maze of spell work on it is beyond your comprehension. Mm. Alright, Apocalypse. Can I whisper in Kamikin's ear? Softly, almost as if it comes from the other side, right? Deceiving him real estate. into touching the shield. You, no, I'm not touching this. No, I, I wanna, I wanna deceive him. I wanna use deception on him to touch the shield. I'll yes, the... you can. Uh... Pardon, Shami. No, go ahead, please. <laughs> uh, no. You can at disadvantage. Why? Because he knows that idea. you're an evil cunt at this point, and you're trying to <laughs> curse him. Yeah, plus, plus I've advantage. Plus I've advantage myself against that. Wait, um, can't I fir first persuade him that I'm not evil and then deceive him? No. Oh, look at the shield. It looks there like is only so far a persuasion will go, and trying to convince somebody that the most evil person in the group is not evil <laughs> after they've seen you do it is, is not something <laughs> a persuasion can do. Okay, fuck, here we go. Chat, hope for two 19s. God almighty! No. Wait, Gamakins has to roll as well, shouldn't he? 
Uh, he didn't even need the second one. His first one beat your three by a Ooh. fair margin. Oh. And that's without add-ons either. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. Anyways, let's fucking go then. Well, I do another advance if I can get a 20. Then that'd be fun, but I already won. Alright. Okay, so you guys are off to Arcana Cabana, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, on the way, yeah. you actually see some businesses reopening as well. Uh, it's been two weeks uh, since Shanks died, and uh, three weeks actually now. And uh, it seems that some businesses are returning and, and opening up again. And uh, it actually seems that on the northern side, you pass by a small kind of church, uh, a chapel, um, that is called Lucky Luke's. And uh, funnily enough, the uh, clergyman that is the one running it is called Luke. And uh, he is mostly kind of kept out of all the business dealings, both legitimate and nefarious, within the city. He's kind of seen as neutral ground for all uh, involved <laughs> parties, shall we say. Sanctuary! So, he's Switzerland, basically. Yeah. <laughs> now, is there a connection between these new uh, businesses coming up and Shank's death? Like, was Lord Shanks actually either keeping new growth from being established or keeping it sort of like oh, front no. under him? Shanks was... Shanks was definitely up for new businesses because that meant new people that he could uh, extort for protection money. Um, these people are the ones coming back after the exodus. So when Shanks died ah. and the power vacuum started, people fled because mass destruction on all sides as people were trying to claim that vacuum. Now that you have stepped in and so have a couple of other people, uh, there is a tenuous but at least currently stable kind of ecosystem within the city. Oh, there was a reference there, Apocalypse, right? For the bingo? Which one? Um, Andy's just asking, hope someone got that reference. I think it had something to do with either Lucky Luke's or... Oh, Switzerland. Oh. Yeah. Oh, lucky. Yeah, Lucky Luke. Hey, uh, has nothing to do with OG. Me. Um, is there any sort of symbols or anything on the outside of this church? Funnily enough, no. Uh, on most churches or chapels, you would find um, an animal kind of symbol to represent one of the saints. Um, but on this one, it is completely devoid of symbolism. Do you guys want to talk I... to the to Luke? Sure, we can see if there's any, um, is it, is it just a church or does it look like it actually has, like, um, wares inside? It's a church. Oh, okay. Alright, we want to talk to Luke. Apocalypse? Apocalypse? And, and see what's inside. It's a church. It's just an average church. Pews altar like place to read sermons from um the small uh, and i do not enter so that he can bless people and uh morning you actually notice that this is not consecrated ground and it's not desecrated either this is actually untouched by either side and definitely seems to be exactly what it says on the tin is is just neutral it is switzerland Bizarre. Where is Luke standing? Once we walk into this church, we see a giant church. Is it small, medium, large? Just so I can imagine it. It's more of a chapel than a church. Uh, so definitely right. more on the smaller side. Um, it's, what, 10 pew rows deep? And uh, so not not too big. It's, it's more for a, an everyday congregation rather than a once a week thing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, do you want me to uh, talk to Luke because I might be the closest thing to friendly in this group to him? Yeah, that's fine. I that's personally find that offensive, but go ahead. 
But as you enter, <laughs> all you see is one person currently in a in a kind of monk's habit, just sweeping. Assuming that's Luke. Hello, good sir. My name is Sir Dean. What is yours? My name's Luke. Uh, Luke, how goes the uh, flock? Day to day, some some come, some go. It's the way of the world. Yes, it is a sad day we live in. Um, we are looking to uh, form ties with the community and whatnot. Um, is there anything? that we should be looking for here and I uh, offer him a gold piece he takes gold puts it into a tide box and uh, just asks that you keep uh, squabbles and popularity contests and this territory business away from his place he will happily perform the rites as he's meant to and uh, those that come in here seeking sanctuary and safety uh, should feel the game on me. How you doing? And safe to do so. I don't want any part in any of this stuff. I I patch you up, but I'm not getting involved. Ask him. Fair tasty, enough. tasty, tasty. I whisper from across the room. Ask him which deity does he serve. Well. You know, I was kind of wondering, you know, what deity do you serve? I mean, is there anybody trying to push your deity out of here? I don't serve a deity. I serve the people. I'm here to actually do good works and not in the name of somebody else. I turn to Morny. And just say to him, I do not trust this man one but A church with no deity and a pastor or priest that clearly has something to hide. Yeah, I have a, I have a feeling yeah, yeah. that uh, I think that we um, should leave it be and see what becomes of it. You have a feeling, eye eye. Eye. Have a feeling it might be a good idea to check for um, maybe if somebody is good at arcana or religion might be. Might be gentlemen, but we yeah, are I mean, in a place of worship. Really fucking appreciate that. I suggest we leave now before we offend something that we do not want to deal with. No, but we I follow your lead. Can we not? Can, wait, I, I'm, I'm with fucking. Why do you guys want to leave so quickly? Hold up, I'm with Cami here. Um, we, we should absolutely do a religion check here. Or an arcana check. Something's going on here. This guy has a church. There's nothing on the outside of this fucking church. This guy is clearly standoffish. He doesn't want to talk to us. We haven't done anything wrong just yet. And he's basically not even responding. To what kind of priest is this? It's like the priest from Akron. fucking hell? Can I, can, I, the can, I, can I do a religion check to see if... Um, if there, if anyone of the cloth would not serve a deity, and how popular uh, you actually don't that even need be? to give me a roll. This is not uncommon, uh, especially with recent events and the saints themselves causing some issues across the world. Um, the ever since they fell from the sky, some actually didn't take them on board as gods, and um, kind of did away with pantheons of deities altogether and uh kind of started acting in the name of just good or evil rather than in the name of a higher being there are definitely quite a lot in the majority of people worshiping in the name of deities but there are some that are more earthly shall we say i've i've got it okay I've got it. i i relay that information to the uh to the group then but yeah, I'd be, uh, I'd be, uh, yeah, I'd be curious, but I'm not going to push it because I'm not. We don't know. We don't know um, if he's truly powerful or not. Guys, 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 guys. The guys. reason I, <laughs> I've got it. I have a scroll in my backpack called 
the scroll of frames now how do you guys feel about killing luke because we might have to after the scroll is worn off oh, are you as, suggesting this as as a as someone who follows the deities we should not as, as as openly we are towards killing those that are not of use, we should not just be randomly killing people we come across for no rhyme or reason. Yeah, very ill people with no uh, like em so, ambition power. The reason I was wanting to, uh, the reason I was agreeing with Dean on just the leaving was to build a rapport with them, uh, the with Luke that is. So it had more to do with the fact that. I wanted to just go ahead and respect his wishes for a time, maybe continually stop by, at least just say hi, make some donations, work the, the long game. Um, I, I forgot that, uh, I don't even care if I say this out loud, he, he hears, it's more of just, um, I pull back along kind of a side and telling him, like we're responding to his comment about why I, I chose to leave. All right, just before we leave, can I uh, can I do a perception check to see if there's anything in this church out of place? Maybe like a trap door, uh, a, a door that sort of seems like they're trying to hide something, like, you know, something that, that shouldn't be there. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. This dude just wants to be neutral to everybody. So, like, if he helps everybody... If we if we keep fucking with him, like we're gonna yeah. have everybody at us. I just want to see if there's something in the church. We haven't seen that. We've checked the outside of the church. We were told there's no runes there, right? I'm not doing anything to this guy. I'm literally just looking around as we walk out, just to see if I'm just noticing this. anything. I'm not yeah, hurting I, uh, anyone. Is this guy gonna be this... angry at me for looking around? Or could I um can I assist um echo in perception check? Uh, you can, but he will already have advantage anyway. Yeah, true. All right. Okay, I already have advantage, so... Oh, my God, yes. Oh. Yes. So, in fact, there are actually several hiding spots, and uh, it's not yourself that finds them. Um, it's actually Lucky Luke himself taking you on a guided tour and pointing them out to you. Oh, wow. So this guy's actually... You through... He shows you every little nook, every little crevice, every little back door hideaway. Uh, there's a trap door under the altar that goes down into a basement where he stores mostly kind of supplies for medical purposes, bandages, gauze, that kind of stuff. Um, there's a back room with some sacrificial, sacramental wine, not sacrificial, that's a whole different thing. Um, but some wine in there. And, yeah, my uh, vintages are sacrificial. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, some replacement, like, habits and robes, um, just to clothe the, uh, the needy. And, uh, he also has some, uh, non-perishable goods, there's some hard-baked biscuits, uh, that kind of stuff to feed the hungry. And uh, everything is completely above board. He just wants to help people and doesn't want to get involved. All right, fine. Now we can leave. I'm happy now. Yeah, ha yeah more. This might be a good idea for um, if you're able to renovate this church, not necessarily as a front, but just um, it could help with your um, with your cover and also like be genuinely good. Yeah, but this would come later when we're trying to legitimize even our illegitimate business. Um, if we could get Luke on our side, Moni, I do agree with you. So stopping by every once oh, in a while, absolutely. maybe keep donating and to him. It's the three of you, Moni, uh, Shami, and Andy that can read Thieves Can't, yeah? Yeah. So you actually do see a sign on the door, or just next to the door frame itself. Uh, it's actually written in Thieves' Cunt, uh, that basically says this is a neutral territory, and that anybody caught violating this will get, basically, just brown bread. Ah, uh, I see. You what, mate? I swear to me, Mom. <laughs> All right. Yeah, basically, if you want to have a ducky, you'll get a ducky. Okay, so are we 
Are we moving to Clint now, or? Before we leave, my character will uh, offer assistance to Luke uh, should he require it, being a fellow person of the of the cloth. Frame. Oh, oh, this could this could be a job opportunity right there. Luke doesn't like people causing shit. How about we offer our services as a group in case someone does cause shit? He, we never know. We might happen upon. That is a good idea. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. We'll fucking do that. Apocalypse. I turn to I, I turn to Luke, and I tell him that should he ever require anything, we are here to help. And he gladly accepts it. Um, he will definitely take that on board, as it's not the first offer he's got of that kind. Uh, it seems everybody so far is obeying a self-imposed rule of law to not fuck with this place. Hey, it's written in Thieves' Cant. Plain as can be. Yeah. All right, now we can go to Clint, because the group might get some kind of offer from him in the future, and we never know what that offer may entail. As you uh, get to Clint's, it's about the middle of the day. So, uh, morning, you're you're starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable in the in the sunshine. And uh, as soon as Clint sees you guys entering into his store, uh, he takes one look at Morney's face and recognizes the kind of discomfort that's displaying there as much as he try to hide it, and uh, actually goes to close the shutters uh, to block out the light. What a nice guy. That's quite a guy. I will kill him last. What? He uh, chuckles ruefully at that and says, you wouldn't be the first to try. And uh, I'm still stood here. So good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, that can right. kill. Um, I'm just right, saying, cool. has to be. <laughs> He definitely says it in a very jovial manner, big smile on his face, as though he knows that... Uh, it's not going to be a contest if it came down to it, but also knows that you're not entirely serious. Yet. Not going to be a contest yet, but okay. <laughs> stop, stop killing the useful tools. Yes, I mean, like, <laughs> I think if you attack, I'm pretty sure Shami's going to shank you 10 times over. Nah, she won't even know. <laughs> He's going to be one of my uh, thousand souls that I need to become a lich. It's not a problem. We'll do this. Um, all right, we're in here. Start asking your questions, ladies and gentlemen. Shami, before you ask questions or start asking for details, can you give me a perception check? Is uh, something is missing from the store that is quite important to you? Not another ring. <gasps> oh my! But you don't know what it is. <laughs> That was perfect transition. Just <laughs> yeah, that something was seems off, but you're not entirely sure. Uh... <laughs> and there is your natural one. I mean, out of character, I know what's missing. Like I know, I know what's missing out of character, but <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Who knew it's a perfect? It's a twenty next to a one. Uh, I can't. I can't really assess or anything like that. I can't see that she is noticeably befuddled and assessed because no, i don't you, know what it would be no idea no. um it's basically just a store and some inventories changed as stores happen um so he uh sits you all down there's quite nice actually cushy sofas in the back room of the store uh where you can all get somewhere comfy to sit down he offers you refreshments um, he does apologize to Morny specifically that he doesn't have his drink of choice on hand, as, uh, that might, uh, anger some of the locals. Um, but he, he has some, some nice kind of, uh, synthetic versions that might, might suffice. I'd be interested in the offer. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, I'll That's take the drink as well. Does does he have any poisons stocked by chance? Uh, we will get to that in a moment. Um, but Morny, if you are drinking this synthetic blood, can you give me a constitution save, please? Uh, oh, yes. With advantage. 
If you're rolling that one, I'm gonna laugh my fucking ass off. You will me. Yeah, you're just, you're bad luck. What happens in light of the if fact it's... you have advantage, I would be really fucking impressed if you rolled two net ones. Wait, if you're if you have advantage and your first roll is a net oh, one, oops. that you you still get the second roll. Net you twenty do. on the second one. So Ooh. yeah, you are absolutely fine. And in fact, you actually feel completely revitalized. Uh, you have gained the benefit of a long rest, although you haven't needed one because a week has gone past. You've had many. Um, but it definitely seems to do the trick. It's kind of like crack, in, actually. You, you definitely could get addicted to this stuff. Well, we should buy some for you then, just in case you need more for revitalization. <laughs> My eyes Shut kind of up, light up. up. Fucking hell. I was, that's oh, such you, a you don't have whites of your eyes anymore. It is all pupil. <laughs> your eyes fuck right now, boy. <laughs> is it, it, it are, are 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 his pupils like completely red? Actually, that would be up to Morny to tell you. Yes. Um, okay. Is it a is it a good thing that he's he's getting hooked onto it, or is it a bad thing in regards to it could be enchanted? I mean, it might be a good check to see if it's um. Poison no, I mean, just, um, no, no, I think it's just uh, synthetic blood. And the reason he was making the constitution throw was just, I mean, synthetic synthetic stuff is never going to be as good as for him good as, as the, real the original. Yep. Yeah. So I, I think this is just a nice little, in case Morny ever finds himself in a place, in an establishment again. So it might be good to keep some on your person, Morny, in case you find yourself in the middle of a street and you're really thirsty. Taking that out might be preferential to taking a human around the corner. I don't know, you know. Clint does seem very kind of wary about giving you a supply currently. The recipe is obviously not refined enough considering that um, very extreme reaction you just had. Um, but once it is complete, he would be more than happy to um, synthesize and kind of help supply you with a, a batch it could be good as a um, yeah it could be could be good I as it's sort of slur drunkenly it could be good as if not if not like a personal supply you could do it for um kind of you could do it as some type of like blackmail or storage for say um friendly vampires among us or like you say who the hell am i gonna blackmail myself starve vamp if the vampires are starved or... He's we're, trying all that to, we're trying to establish a business, and uh, we hear that you are the man to come to. Um, any advice or lessons we need to learn or things we need to do? Well, don't follow my advice. Look around you. You're the first customers I've had all day. It's not exactly a great business, but, you know... Fucking Serpentis, the absolute snake in the grass that he is. He uh he keeps blocking me. I can't can't do anything without his say so. Uh is how's he uh, doing this? Is it through business channels as in no one's working with you, or is there insurance that needs to be bought? Well he controls the committee. The committee controls business. No, uh, without Without their say so, without their backing, I can't. I can't do anything. I can't expand. I can't move. I can't even restock for the majority of, of kind of stuff. Like all I can do is now common stuff without going through some other channels that I have, <laughs> well, opened up. Shall we say? Dear, there's Kent. nothing wrong with alternative business. Um, now, how does the uh, council? enforce their will same way as everyone else like if uh serpentis says don't deal with this guy nobody deals with me i can't i can't do anything about it i gently place my uh, my hand on tasty's shoulder and i look over to clint giving him a faint smile reminiscing about the joke earlier ask him if he knows anything about um 
What's the guy's name again? Serpentus. Serpentus. If he knows anything about Serpentus' private business dealings, does he know which businesses he has fingers in? Anything to that degree? Probably all of them, since he runs the committee. Well, I mean, yeah, he uh, he controls everyone, so he's got his finger in everyone's pies. But uh, his his pet project is is Eden, is is the tavern just just down the road. Um, he uh, keeps taking in strays and the kids that are kind of ruffians on the streets and making them all respectable and brainwashing them. But I mean, it's getting the kids off the streets. Is it really that bad? Maybe. I hear brainwashing, but does it sound good? Uh, yeah, who would do that? You, Kami, and uh, takes a look at the ring on your finger and kind of snorts derisively about you talking about being brainwashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that ring. That ring. I would, I would, I would inquire about the ring and see if he says anything about it that's a nasty ring you got on your finger there i wouldn't want to be you jeez that makes me feel better i chuckle i chuckle away no one wants to be him yeah right, right. and if you tuck my finger i'll slap you i i sort of gently remind chat or the group rather that Shamey might be the one who understands Clint the best and could maybe get the most information out of him. Okay, old buddy, old pal. Um, I think that we're in a position where we can really help each other. Um, I don't want to see your business go under. You've you've been in business a long time and you've always been a good friend. So I, I don't I don't want to see you suffer. But you know, if you can give us any useful information, anything at all, then maybe if we can work towards getting legitimized, getting an in with the committee and, and Serpentis, then maybe we can help you too. So uh, as uh, Thana starts speaking to uh, Clint, without even realizing, she actually dips into Thieves' Cant herself as it's a natural habit when speaking to uh, people in her community. Uh, and too fast for even Andy or Morny to really understand as it seems to be a regional dialect. Um, they, he kind of tells you that there are multiple ways that you could do this. Um, there's, you, know, you could always, you could always take out Serpentis himself or you could get around the other board members. Uh, you could get everyone on your side, or just by force, uh, kind of take over his his gang, his his, his minions. Um, they seem to be wayward, lost souls from Pawpaws, and uh, bless him, I know he's he's getting a bit upset about it and everything, but it's nothing he can do. So Penis is just offering him a better life, and like as much as I like Pawpaw himself, that he's he's limited into what he can do. Um, but I, I know he, he'd have some, some, some not nice words to be saying about Serpentis currently. Um, but you can definitely find him over at Eden most of the time. He's uh, messing around with them boys and uh, trying, to, trying to take over the town. I recommend that we should head to Eden. Like, that sounds, that sounds like interesting. We can't get into Eden? You wouldn't even know what they were saying, Cammy. Yeah, we wouldn't know what they're saying. So we turn to Shamey or Thana, looking at her almost perplexed. What the fuck just it's, went on there? It is almost like they transitioned from speaking perfect English into just pure gibberish to your ears. Oh, was that on Thieves' Camp? Yeah. 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 But it was a real Oh, my God, Morgan, this stuff was so good. Even I messed up on it. And then we probably inquire what Sh what Shami and um, Clint were talking about, unless it, unless it's their business, and they'll tell us when they want to. But Thana, he does tell you, in fact, that uh, the thing you missed was that your favorite dagger, your prized possession that you've been you've been seeking so long and been saving up so hard to try and get, 
um, he actually figured out what it did, and uh, it's a good thing you, you didn't take it. Uh, it. It was actually quite cursed, and uh, would have stolen your soul. Ooh, oh, cool. if, oh, we should give that to Echo. So, whose soul did it steal? We'll find out. <laughs> um, Alpocalypse, Alpocalypse, can you... Uh, is there any way for you to turn your mic up? Because I have you as high as possible and it's very low. Big booty bitches. Is that low enough? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you very much, dude. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. Um, well, can Shami tell us? Uh, Thana, can you explain to us what you and Clint was just talking about? Yes, yes, of course. Like, I would, I would absolutely 100% explain to everybody what just happened. Uh, for the most part, I'm not really going to mention the dagger that was... That was just my thing. <laughs> but... Uh, but the rest, that essentially we can either try to get in good with the other members of the committee to um, to make our way to Serpentis and try to do it that way, or we can take the shortcut and we can fucking kill him. Yeah, but we would need to get into Eden first to kill him. So my suggestion to you, uh, Jaints and Lady, would be to make our way to Popo. And see if Paul Paul knows anything that could perhaps open the door. Perhaps a new child that was just taken in and is not yet fully brainwashed could give us a way in. Otherwise, we're going to have to use deception or intimidation on one of these brainwashed children. And that might take a little bit longer. Well, one more little question for Clint. And that is, um, do you know if uh, Serpentis has any particular... Vices, say, males, females. <laughs> Alter boys. He does like gambling. <laughs> I've seen him uh, going into and out of misfortunes. Um, she, uh, she seems to see him quite a lot. Oh, that's something we can definitely use if we if we want to kill him off. We could always lay a an ambush for him on his way to misfortune. Oh, no, better yet. No, not an ambush. When he's out, we break in and we wait for him to come in. That no. way there's no guards around him. No, 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 no. There, There is a much easier way to go about this. If he's addicted to gambling, Break. we we make, we have him bet what he owns and put up our own stock. And if we win... Then he's in our debt. Yeah, but if we, we, we lose fucking everything again, and plus we don't we, have we, a tenth of what he has. We won't lose though. Yeah, um, yeah okay, we can we can break it. it. Says can every fucking guy world? that's addicted to gambling ever. I won't lose. It's fine. And then you walk out there with nothing but your fucking jock on. I don't have the uh, I don't have the cotton balls put in my mouth to say. It say it right but we'll make him an offer he can't refuse now that <laughs> I, I i sort of i i sort of like but i do think we should head over to Popos because Popos yeah. might have additional information we now know okay so let's quickly reflect on what we know we know that we can't get a meeting with him because we're not established enough and in order to get established we need a meeting with him we can't get into eden because well of the aforementioned fact we know that he's addicted to gambling, right? Now that could be our way in. We could always do something very different. The fact that he's addicted to gambling, if we could convince the owner of Misfortune, so Mike, going off of what you thought, right? If we convince the owner of Misfortune to let us tamper with the gambling game, we could basically force him to lose everything because he is addicted. He will keep playing until he wins. Until right, so we could rig the game against him. That's precisely what I was thinking yep. of. Yeah. Who knows the sewers the best? No, we've been in the sewers. We we can't get into where we need to go from the sewers. What what do you want to do with the sewers? Well, if there's a uh, tunnel or branch that goes under the establishment, we can come in from the bottom during the night 
as a surprise. Isn't it Mike that would know the sewers the best, Apocalypse? Uh, Mike or Shami actually would both know just as well as each other. All right, can you guys do an, uh, either, what is it, what check do they have to do or no check? You would have to go down there and take a look. They would just know the direction. All right, we've tallied here for long enough. I say we head to Popos, find out what we can about the boys that he's taking, because that might be another uh, clue to what is going on here, what he is actually actively trying to do, because it seems like he is playing a bit of a bigger game, right? The fact that he's taking over all of Popos boys could mean mean something in the long run. What do you say? We should go to Popos. Everyone else in agreement? Sure. Yeah. The quicker we go through it, the quicker we can start. I agree. Uh, I suppose I'll wait on the poisons for later. No, now, now you can ask for the poisons. I mean, we just established that we are going to leave. I have another question that will be asked soon, so ask about the poisons. Uh, Poison. So you're looking to buy some, right? Or are you looking to buy ingredients to make them? That... That or sample one, since my character is immune and has a tends to have a habit of imbibing poisons on occasion. Uh, you actually drank some already, if you accepted the drink from uh, Clint himself. Uh, oh, okay. Knowing Yonti, he uh, gave you a, a tipple of choice, and it was definitely a potent venom that although it doesn't poison you or have any adverse reactions is definitely considered a very strong intoxication oh um wonderful excellent oh by the way um what type of store does clint have or at least the, um the what type of store is there it's arcana, arcana cabana. cabana magical yeah hey, they're fine then um mike Buy a little bit, keep a little bit of that poison. It might come in handy should all of our other plans fail with Lord Painters. Alrighty. All right. Um, as we exit the Arcana Cabana, I turn around and quickly ask, oh, dear Clint, I almost forgot. Do you have a scroll of what's it that I need again? I need a scroll for the fucking car uh, for scrying. scrying, a scroll of scrying. Do you have a scroll of scrying for me? Oh, I have uh, plenty. That's a that's a very easy spell to uh, produce. Uh, how many would you like? Um, how much do you charge for one? Twenty gold. Can I use persuasion to maybe get a little bit lower? Bartering? Is there any such as bartering persuasion or which would it be? You could uh, perhaps do me a favor and uh, I could give you some for free. Oh, his last favor gave me a shit ton of cool goodies, so I would absolutely I... accept. So uh, if you do manage to find your way into uh, Eden, uh, perhaps you could bring me back uh, Sir Pentis's medallion. It's uh, rumored to be enchanted and I'd like to take a look at that. I uh, I look, I, I glance over to Andy and hopefully Andy immediately understands that as a rogue, it might be up to him to steal the medallion. Oh, I hear a medallion. There is a glint in my eye. I'm not, I'm in. Um, by, um, by the way, I wish to ask Clint, is there any magical weapons or armor of any sort that he has at sale? Not that would fit you, fat boy. Yeah, <laughs> quite jovially. Um, no, he, he sells a couple of, uh, knickknacks, some, some magical items, but nothing, nothing that would suit yourself. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. I laugh loudly at that comment. I, I look at Akron, I call him Tiny, and I get and I just like punch him in the shoulder. Are you sure you don't have any like magical bracers? Because I'm pretty sure this elephant boy's about to get a nose ring. 
No, as I said before, uh, my business is being blocked. I can't import anything good. Uh, we have to unblock this whip business. We could get some fucking cool spells. Right. We're off to Popos. And this is precisely the reason why we should get the the bet for Sir Francis. Don Rigan, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. okay, so, uh, how did you actually arrive at Popos? You, you arrived to an altercation outside of the building. Uh, two groups of boys are actually having a bit of a scuffle in one of the side alleys nearby. And, uh, in fact, you, you actually see one side start to win over and uh, knock the others to the ground and start kicking them a bit. And uh, you, you hear one of them shout, That's for taking my money. Uh, I've, got, I've got tithes to pay. I've got fees to pay. You can't, you can't do this to me. And uh, the ones that are kicking him just kind of laugh and say, Come to Eden. There are no fees. And run off. Wish to, I want to approach the the people laying on the ground and and um, check on why are they getting the crap kicked out of them and what what type of debt do they owe. Uh, give me a medicine check. Wouldn't it be better to ask someone with higher medicine to do it, or does Cammy have medicine? Definitely not higher than Morty. No, with 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 a four, you're not entirely sure the extent of the damage, but they did just take a massive kicking, and are more concerned with the pain going on than talking to a random elephant that just came up to them. <laughs> True. I signal to Tasty to take um, over because Morty is a fuck. Uh, not Morty, because Cammy is a fucking <laughs> moron. <laughs> um, I. Uh, I don't. I, I don't wait for uh, for any permission, and I'll go over and give them a healing spell to help them. Oh yeah, you can Shall heal as well. Right in my name, cleric. Sorry, sorry, Shami. Go ahead. It's okay. I would like to ask um, the the um, injured boy who complained about having tithes and fees to uh, pay. I'd like to ask him in Beez Cant if he understands me. But he's hot, so he yeah, doesn't want to talk after, to after the healing goes off and uh, you you expend that spell slot to um, restore the injured party, uh, he kind of sits there wincing at his bruised ribs, but mostly seems fine. And... Uh, does respond to you, Shami. It's actually somebody you recognize as a, as a local and a regular to Pawpaws. And uh, you know that his um, kind of situation in, in kind of family life is the, the usual tragic backstory of, of a wannabe adventurer. Like, you know, sick parents going out to try and pay and find the cure to support them and whatnot and cure, cure everything. Um, and just trying to, to survive with with nothing to boost him up he's he's kind of scraping by and doing everything he can and that's why he comes to pawpaws to get some get some food because otherwise he wouldn't be eating everything goes to his parents that he's he's trying to look after how much did you lose son it's about 40 gold <laughs> that's pricey. Uh, right. do we want to make I gesture to the others that we could each get pass in like five gold each to um, donate to him. I I need to know who and and why it, um, who's taking his money. Why they say they're taking his money? We we would be willing the, the, to pay him. The, the wizards in the college they're, they're meant to be looking for a cure. But we would be willing to pay him for information. Little boy, if you tell us what we need to know, we will give you the 40 gold that you've lost. What, what do you want to know? What do you know of uh, Sir P? Well, that, that, he's bad news. Like, he's got this front that he's, he's doing everything for the good of everyone else and this really fake veneer about being 
being all amazing and, and that, but in reality, he's just take, take, take. The boys that go over there, they, they, they never leave. Like, they change, they, they become different. Different, different how? how. <laughs> like, the boy that, that kicked me in, that, that was my best friend like a week ago. And then he went over to Eden, and now you see what happened. You're quiet again, Apocalypse. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> he said that uh, the boy that kicked him in was his best mate not, not a week ago. And, and you see what happened. He went over to Eden, and he changed. Son, can you go inside and tell Paul Paul uh, we need to talk to him? Your money will be waiting when you're outside. Will everyone we'll pitch in for the 40 the gold? I'll pitch. We can all we all can share like five ish gold each. I'll that won't cover fifty. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll give ten I'll, as well. I'll give the rest of my ten gold. I'll give, I'll I'll give, give ten as well. <laughs> I'm only giving five. I know that boy was not holding 40 gold on his person. <laughs> you selfish paladin. No, I'll five give is... him. I, I will have to give him anything he needs. Uh, he he kind of limps inside, still clutching at his ribs. And uh, after about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, the familiar face of Paw Paw comes out, kind of really aggravated, looking kind of pissed off. And uh, just in general, not directed at anyone in particular, he's just in a very bad mood. Um, but sure enough, the, uh, the injured boy comes back out with him and uh, points towards you guys. How much, how much gold is everyone giving him? Have you deducted the gold? I'll give, I'll give up five. I'll give up five. I gave 10. I'm giving 10. So we're on 14. Uh, now we're on 30. Oh, five. Okay, so I will give the other five. All right, so we're on 40. Uh, I walk over to the boy and I say, thank you so much for your help. And I give him the 40 coins. I then turn uh, to at, Paw Paw. Yeah, yeah, sorry. At that Paw Paw's face does lighten up a little bit, almost as if that kind of broke through his aggravated state. Um, and uh, kind of kneels down, whispers to the to the kid, and uh, puts another 40 into his hands and tells him to run off home. Oh, another 40. Paw Paw, my man. What has you in such a foul mood? And don't tell me that it's this boy. We both know it's bigger than that. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. It's uh, that, the bastard snake in the grass, Serpentis. He keeps blocking all of my my imports. I can't get any food. I can't get any drink. I can't keep my business afloat. And if I can't keep my business afloat, kids like him are gonna suffer. <laughs> afloat. So well then, is, I, is, is it a, is it a, is it a, is it an orphanage that you run? It's not an orphanage. They're not bound to me. It's just... It's a service. I grew up hard times. So I know what it's like to go hungry. Now, these kids aren't going to go hungry. And, uh, you know, it kind of comes back around. They don't rob me. So, win-win. How many kids has he won over to his side? More and more every day, brother. Uh, don't keep track of them. They come in, they eat, they fuck off. As long as they're staying out of trouble and staying out of trouble with me, I'm all good. I don't mind what they do. But less and less are coming by these days. Popo, is there anything that you can tell us about Mr. P that we can use to the mutual ben benefit of us both? Because we too would like to set up business and we are currently being blocked by this ass munch. So if you believe everyone else, he's an upstanding citizen, never crosses the line, never does no wrong. 
but I mean, you talk to the committee, you talk to the other business owners, and and they're scared. They're hiding something. He's got something on him. I'm, I'm sure of it. Do you know of any way to get into Eden? Not the thr front door. The only way into his inner circle is through his pocket, and you don't want to be in his pocket. Hmm. I think. Well, I, th I think to get at him, I think um, a good plan would be to go th take. It would be not to kill him, but if we're if we're trying to um, go after him, is if we're not trying to get dirt on him, take his take his money from him. The, one, the money that see, he's been robbing from nearby stores and businesses. No, but we've just got a wonderful clue here. He's got dirt on everyone. We relieve him of that dirt. We destroy the dirt and we basically take over the fucking commission. We become the very people that decide who is made and who isn't. Because right now, no. the only reason people are loyal to him is because he's got dirt on all of them. Well, why don't we cut the head off the snake and divide and conquer? We take him out, and then we make deals with everyone else, and we kill those we can't. All the more reason to 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 force him to bet his business. We went over his business. That leaves him at a different What do we have for collateral? I'll put myself up for collateral. Okay. Did you Funny. just volunteer that, as that, tribute? I, I almost died. I did volunteer as tribute. I mean, I don't know if that's going to help necessarily, because... I mean... I mean for Pence's face go that way? Should we, should we maybe not venture into the nearest sewer and see if we can find a way into the business uh, when he's out going to gamble? What's the likelihood that we'll end up getting caught and putting ourselves into a much worse situation do not get me wrong i am all for underhanded tactics because they are useful tools dude but we just invaded hog worse we can take this guy out all right let, let okay all right. i i You're suggest line, then. i suggest we make our way to misfortune and uh we see if we can convince the owner of Misfortune. By the way, is the owner called Misfortune, or is it that the establishment and it's owned by someone else? Uh, no, it is Misfortune owns Misfortunes. Um, okay. It's it's a quaint little place. It's uh, a gambling den. It's it's got your your standard cards, your your roulette type deals. It's a, kind of a casino type situation, um, but it's run by an affable, although chonky uh she orc who uh is uh, an ex-prize fighter uh, in fact actually still runs some backroom fights under the table i'm so picturing ron i rouse you right now all right I I'll see am, you in i'm suggesting we make our way over to misfortunes uh, papa any I... chance uh anybody knows anything about uh how often serpentis frequents misfortune Oh, once a week with uh, the week's takings. Uh, he's definitely had a run. Some say that he's uh, he's blessed by something. Um, one one question I just one question I just thought about before we head off is um, asking Papa's um, what where what is this where does he get a supply from? From out of town, like everyone else. We live on a dockyard, son. All right. A good way of saying idiot. But anyways, uh, <laughs> um, Lord, I know. Soul. By the way, I know exactly why he wants us to get the amulet. It's the amulet that is um, making him win so much. The amulet is obviously blessed or cursed, or in some way gives the the wielder incredible luck. So, give me an insight check, Echo. Okay. Eight and insight. Do I have any bonuses to insight? No, it's just a fucking eight. 
you think you're pretty much on the money with it. The definitely the uh, the amulet is what's helping him. All right. Um, I say let's make our way over to Misfortunes. We need to first find out what game he plays, and then figure out how to get the amulet off of his person before he sits down without him realizing that the amulet is gone. Same. All right. So we'll make our way over to Misfortunes Apocalypse. Unless someone else wants to ask something else. Sorry. Is it, uh, just, is it the appropriate night to be making our way to Misfortune? Well, we would Funnily need to Funnily enough, up. it just so happens to be so, yes. Well, what a coinkidink. What a coinkidink. Yeah, you've you've got about the the afternoon, really. Once the sun sets and uh, Misfortunes opens, he, he'll, be, he'll be there. He'll be one of the first in the door. I would see... It, it would seem that fortune favors us. Yes, uh -huh. I think we, we make our way. Uh, fortune certainly does smile upon us. Let's make our way over quick because I have a plan. On our way there, I discuss the plan with the group. We will have, we will have to find out if any of the patrons there have ever seen, not patrons, the people that work there, have ever seen this amulet and can describe it to us. Then we have to make our way to Clint very quickly to see if we can find something that would fit the or resemble this amulet in such a way that if Andy or Shamey replaces that amulet that uh, Mr. P wouldn't immediately realize that it's been replaced. And then we have to get him into a game that is rigged against him. So we do not have a lot of time. Does anyone have a different plan? Um, Andy, out of character, Kill from pure sleight of hand. The rest of us could um, be entertainment. Uh, five, the rest of us could provide entertainment as a distraction. Yeah, we could we could definitely get Lord or Mr. P at a disadvantage, maybe, using performance or some kind of distraction. But for now, what, what did Andy say? What was your sleight of hand, sleight of hand Andy? Plus five. Plus five. What's yours, Shamey? Plus seven. Okay, Shamey's going to be the one who does it. Um, it could be a good collab if you can. Yeah, if we can do a collab, that would actually be perfect. But uh, okay. I've got I've got a plan in my mind. You know those in the movies where one guy bumps into it, steals it, and then hands it off to the other? That's sort of what I'm thinking about here. So Andy and Shame is literally doing a sort of massive sleight of hand deal within this move. But the game of choice could be a drinking game. Well, we would need to figure out. We don't know what the game of choice is. Apocalypse will tell us when we get there. Apocalypse, what do we see on our way there? Uh, you see standard city afternoon stuff. Um, you see a lot of um like newer businesses opening up and and kind of trying to establish themselves as well and uh on the way there you you do see some more of uh sir pentis's boys around the city and they seem to be um running a, a pocket picking racket uh where they would actually do exactly as you've just described deco they would bump into somebody pick their pocket and cut their purse and then hand that off to another boy walking in the wrong direction. So when the uh, victim inevitably kind of works out that they've been robbed, uh, that you, you see it happen in real time that run after the one that bumped into him and find nothing on him. Oh, we could use these boys, actually. But are they working? Uh, can I use a perception check to see if they're work? Well, I wouldn't know if they're working for Mr. P, would I? Oh, they are definitely working for Serpentis, yeah. Okay, so they're working for Serpentis. Okay, so we can't use them. We would have to be extra careful, though, because you will obviously be uh, aware of the tactics to some extent. Yeah. And I, and so, I wouldn't be... No. In, depending on how bad the situation gets, I wouldn't be um, reluctant to pull out my bow in case somebody needs an arrow flying at their head. Right. I will. I will say this. Okay. Uh, are we at uh, Misfortune at the moment? Have we reached it yet? Uh, yeah, you definitely have, although it's not open currently. Uh, the sun is still shining. 
and uh, it is it's just coming into about mid afternoon, so you have at least another three or four hours before misfortunes would open. Um, you see, actually, one of the nicer buildings in the local area, uh, or at least the local vicinity, um, and it's got a rather impressive stone facade. It definitely looks like some work has been put into this, and it's a respectable uh, place, or at least earning a lot of money so, to at least appear so. Um, but on, on the front door, and above the uh, mantle, you actually see a misspelled sign. Uh, instead of it reading misfortunes, as you would expect, uh, it's actually spelled misfortuns. And... Uh, as uh, it kind of gets towards uh, later evening, you actually see why. As uh, the woman who, say woman loosely, uh, comes to actually open the doors uh, is a very, very large hulking she-org. And uh, she looks as if she would weigh about four tons. Wow. I walk over she, to her. Oh, sorry, yeah, Kami? Sorry. I mean, is, she, is she like fit or is she just fat? That would be a question that would probably result in you losing limbs, should you ask it. Oh, true. So both. She is big. Oh. All right. I, I walk over to Miss Fortans, and um, I introduce myself. Good day, Miss. How are you? What do you want? My name is Akalon. I work for the Shanks family. I have a question about one of your regulars. Yeah, what do you want? Do you know Sir Painters? Of course I do. Wolf's my biggest earner. Was your biggest earner? Well, he, he is as long as he keeps turning up. All right. Have you noticed anything off about Sir Painters? Fast. Skinny boy moves quick. Hmm. Am I getting the I idea that she likes him or that she's neutral towards him? Uh, give me an insight check. 13. Yeah, she's definitely favoring. Um, she he he earns her a lot of money by the sound of it. Say, Miss Four Tons. Sorry, yeah. I was gonna say, uh, what's he like, Miss Fortune? When he he's here, does he like to just gamble? Is he very focused? Does he does he have a good time? Does he chat with people? Uh, does does he like the ladies? Does he? Like, how does he behave? What's his game of choice? He fights. He fights quick. He gets money. Gives me money. Fighting. He's how fighting. would you... Oh, okay. Miss Fortuns, how would you uh, like to make a lot of money this evening? Wait, um... We I always make lots of money. What you got? Wait, before, um, before I could suggest, I walk in and I... And I basically, I basically check her out, and basically, um, I compliment her body and say, and say how beautiful she is. Just uh, check well, her out. as you are still currently outside, you uh, walk into a door that is still locked. You bash your face, and then you look around and you see a very big hawk and shiok. You say, "You pretty," and uh, give me an intimidation check, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are now frightened, Cammy, as uh, she looks at you up and down. She sizes you up, and uh, she threatens to break you in half. And you're not entirely sure how she means, whether or not, you know, sexually or just literally picking you up and folding you in half. Uh, you are now considered frightened for the next minute and uh, cannot move closer to her for fear of pissing your pants. <laughs> Dang. Oh my god, that is fucking golden. Um, right. Um, 
it is clear at this point that do I have any idea whether or not she would actually help us fuck him over? Uh, not until you float the idea, really. Um, she seems to like money, and uh, if you could guarantee more money than Serpentis is currently earning her, then she would probably choose to favor you instead. All right, misfortunes. If I were to, hypothetically, of course, say that you should bet all your money against Sir Painters and he will 100% lose, hypothetically, of course, and you would make all of the winnings. Would that be of interest to you? Of course it would. I mean, 10,000 gold a night is pretty good. Oh. All right. Now, misfortunes, we have no interest in the gold. Only in the bet. When will Sir Painters be here? About two hours. <laughs> Does he ever have a drink before he fights or just instant fight and leave? He comes in, he gets in ring, he beats up boy. Hmm. All right, so this is going to be tricky. How are we going to... He, he beats up boys? Like young boys? Everyone young. You young. Mind opening the door for us, Miss Fortune? We'd like to have a drink in your establishment. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you actually see her opening the door in a very... Um, unconventional fashion uh she actually just boots in the door and uh you hear the splintering of wood as the crossbar breaks and uh she the door swings wide open and uh, as she escorts you all in she turns around swings the door back and puts just a spare beam across the door and you actually see to the side a, a massive stockpile of wooden beams nice uh, is this she-orc kind of related to a certain dwarf I know? <laughs> she may or may not have muttered an, oh yeah, under her breath as she busted through the door. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Um, can I do a perception check to see if there is, um, sort of look for the, well, actually, Let's make our way over to a table, and I I motion to her for drinks for the table. Oh yeah, well, oh while God. I'm while I'm at it, while well, I'm probably still intimidated, I I apologize to her and uh, comment on her comment on her being big and strong and commenting about size in a good way, and then just passed by. If she doesn't kick the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, yeah, she threatens really to like break you in half again. Sure. Like you've seen Deadpool too. The juggernaut to Deadpool, like I'm gonna break you in half now. Like she, she definitely looks at you with that kind of intention. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically, yeah, I was figuring it'd be more like Gloss Juggernaut. I'm hoping that's. Uh, uh, but she uh, kind of looks at you, Echo, and laughs, uh, and and kind of explains to you that this still isn't open yet. She doesn't wait on tables. She's the owner. Wait for people to turn up. All right, uh, can we maybe, is someone willing to help uh, with a perception? Who's got the highest perception in the group? I have, I have, I have a, one. I have a plus uh, three. Four. Yeah, I have plus, I have plus one and I have the advantage on smell. I have 14, so plus four. You have plus four on uh, perception, yeah. Andy. All right, I would say, um, I would say if you could do a perception, uh, especially you and Shami, maybe Shami, you can back him up for advantage. We need the best ah. possible location for this to transpire, this transaction, if you will, to transpire. Okay, um, I would just like to clue you in that I may not be the best person to check for perception. I do have um, 
I do have proficiency in perception, but having proficiency in my perception brings my modifier to a zero. <laughs> it would just mean that Andy gets to roll twice anyway. Yeah. Okay. As long as that's as long as that's the way it's working, I will help Andy. But yeah, don't like don't usually count on me for perception. <laughs> right, so you got a fifteen. Is there? Did he get a perfect spot? Uh, so depending on what you're actually looking for, these details may or may not help you. But what Andy finds is that. Uh, the main room that you, you entered into is uh, your very stereotypical casino. There are multiple tables uh, with chairs around them. Uh, multiple uh, versions of card games can be played all at once. Um, but the back room itself is not particularly hidden, um, but not anything drawing attention to it. However, in the back room, you do see a betting odds board and a pit and uh, you quickly surmise that in the pit there would be the fight, and on the betting board at the very top, you see Sir Wilfred Pentis. And uh, it actually says 10 to 1 odds. That's some good odds. He would probably be willing to make uh, a lot of bets. Um... <clears throat> I I ask uh, Miss Fortuns if he if Serpentis just uses his fists or if he uses magic as well when he fights. He use fists. He use fists very quickly. Skinny boy move fast. <laughs> Has he ever used magic for fights? His fists. He's either a monk fast. or he's a haste user. Um, what race? Um, by the way, what? Is he, a, um, just a normal human? What does that matter? Trunk face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, um... Ouch. We have to find the poison that, that, um, Battlenet has with him right now, right? What, um, what is its, uh, side effects? What does it do if consumed? So it got Mike very, very drunk, um, but on a person who is not immune to poison, should the poison take effect, uh, it would definitely act as almost a paralytic. All right. So it, it would cause them to most likely lose a lot of the speed that they have, right? Yes. Um, does that have to be ingested or does it, is it absorbed via touch? Um, you are mildly addicted to poisons, right? Uh, yes. So yeah, you've been occasionally dipping your finger in it and just kind of rubbing it on your gums, uh, just because that gets it in quicker. But uh, yeah, if you were to uh, kind of get it inside you in any way, either drinking, stabbing, injecting, snorting, it would definitely take effect. So... If, uh, in this heist that we're planning, if Mike was to maybe act drunkenly, right? So a performance check, I'm, I'm assuming. Bump into, uh, Sir, uh, Sir Painters. Sort of cough onto him the, the poison that is within him. That would al al already affect him. How long does the How poison take to take effect? It definitely doesn't take too long, but it would depend on the constitution of the person ingesting. Um, I can see, I see even being if Mike, except like being a female snake, actually uh, kissed kissed uh, Pentos. Oh yeah, Mike could absolutely do that. Just go and act as a drunken whore, right? <laughs> Kiss him without him even asking. But this needs to happen a few blocks away from misfortunes. So Mike would have to wait a few blocks away from his fortunes. I'll turn to I look at Venomous and say that you don't have to do that. What we could do is that uh, to let him get a fight in before us, and if he wins, which he usually does, he comes in like, oh, my winner, and then kisses him out of nowhere and does the thing, and then disappears. We are good. Oh, that's, that's good. I yes. like that idea. I like that but, idea better. Yeah. 
and they have the animation to just fight them. Yeah, need be, I'll be the me or somebody else will volunteer. Like my character wishes to volunteer to fight him and both to um both to be the scapegoat or or the fighter and also to prove myself to misfortune. <laughs> this is where Tavi dies. <laughs> is this not the hot huh? Is it non-lethal fights or is it lethal fights? Uh, with the amount of blood that, although the sand in the bottom of the pit has been raked over, you can definitely still see blood stains coming through. Uh, this has either been going on for absolute years and decades, even uh, the tradition of having fights back here, or many people have died. Um, All right. What about the poison that I've been milking from my spider? Yes, give me seven d20 rolls, please. Well, Mike, thank you for the follow. I really oh, appreciate that, bro. Mike, fucking good thank you there. Is that is that just flat d20 or is that with uh, Oh no, you said animal handling, correct? Animal handling, yep. That's a that's a plus three. Wait, never mind. What's your roll, Mike? Oh, there we go. Whoa. Whoa. Wait. 17, 11, 4, 6, 15, 2, and 14. How'd you get... So over the week, uh, Mike has had to uh, milk his pet spider of some neurotoxin. And uh, he failed a grand total of four times. So <laughs> that might explain why he ended up in uh, on the outskirts with most of his money robbed. Uh through the week um but you do you do know uh firsthand the effects of this neurotoxin and uh it should have a similar effect but a lot more potent uh than the poison that you've been sampling all afternoon but it actually does affect you it is not poison all right so both of these would okay. basically cause because basically here's what i'm thinking guys I'm thinking we get him poisoned, right? And then Andy and Jamie pull off their magnificent robbing of him. And then we send in combat, but we make it interesting for this guy. Because obviously, since he's fighting, I'm sort of banking on the fact that he's, uh, his ego plays a part in this as well. So we need to convince him that he needs to bet everything on this fight. But we still don't actually know what this fucking amulet looks like. So stealing the amulet yeah. might be might be pointless if we can't figure out how to replace the the the, the amulet. Check if he even has any amulet on him or like wrong or anything. You know, if we fight him and kill him, there's no need to replace the amulet. It depends on how the fighting goes because because um uh, if we can basically just take all this stuff, as if we knock him out, then we can do that. But if it's like, if do we have, have to take him one on one, or can we do, you know, with those kind of odds, you know, three on one, four on one? I I asked uh, Miss Four uh, Miss Fortuns um, what his typical fights are, whether it's one on one or if he t fights more than one. It's always one on one. Two people in ring, one comes out breathing. He fast, very fast. Does okay, anyone but... does anyone die in the fights? Yeah, he just said one person goes in, two people go in, one person comes out. Sometimes they start breathing again, but you you, you finish when one's not breathing. Okay, uh we need that amulet. Misfortunes, or misfortun, misfor misfortuns, excuse me. Have you ever seen him with an amulet of any kind? Echo, what is your armor class? <gasps> my armor class? Oh my god, am I going to get fucking right now? Oh, right now, that's enough. Uh, that's, 11? That's my...
You take three points of bludgeoning damage as a fist as big as your head comes crashing into your jaw at the, the mere mention of calling her Miss Four Tons. <laughs> oh. oh my shit. All right, I've got 10 HP left, so it's all right. I'm, I'm still living. <laughs> wow. You do that. Wow. Milady, my, uh, my, my apologies for my associates. Miss Fortune, have you seen him wearing an amulet. He, he always wears amulet. <laughs> he does, he wear a, does, does he wear it around his neck, Misfortunes? I do apologize for my earlier mistake. And I his absolutely necklace. deserved it. His necklace. Can you describe the amulet to us? Shiny. Good idea. Well... well I say we just wait until he shows up here, and, uh, yeah. I mean, one of us, I mean, as far as I can see, I can see one of us poisoning the guy t two times over. Somebody that can just strip mug him, um, fighting, entertainment, um, thievery, Yeah, but if this, is an, if this is an amulet, we have to re replace the amulet immediately, because he's going to notice when it's gone. Right? So, first, we should probably not say this out flat. Misfortunes, my friends are barbaric. They do not understand the subtleties of actual combat with a bit of honor behind, such as the type we're finding with gambling. With your games, there's a little decorum and honor about them. So, do a pol do. Do accept my apologies for their um, tad barbarism when it comes to planning to defeat him. Yeah, I politely okay. apologize. Me not smart either. I want to say okay. That on that note, let's let's relocate if we are to speak of this. But I do like the idea of one of us taking him on in some aspect. Hamakin's already said he's you, gonna. Uh, you take in on you take in on Wilfred. You 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 trying to get business? Oh yeah, I'll I'll fight I'll fight um Pento I'll fight Pentos myself because I'm I'm a um a big boy. <laughs> so <laughs> flex. If Everybody, step boy, while we get away from him. Yeah, we don't associate with him. I slowly back away. What I wanted to say is that there might not be a reason to swap the amulet with anything since the fights end with death usually of one of the sides. Sure. You have to win, right? Yeah, but the problem is the amulet, right, gives him his power. I've already done an insight check on that. The amulet is what gives him his power. It doesn't mean that out, even poisoned, he might still be superhuman, right? Yeah. Right. Is there any way we can... um? Do they do they um, prepare before fights, or is it just like, okay, this fight is about to start, slug it out? You get ten minutes to put a fair in order. Oh, okay. So yeah, base fortune. Enough enough time for a venomous kiss. Miss Fortune. If you keep threatening me, trunk man, with kiss, I'm gonna break you. <laughs> I oh, all thank the gods. I apologize. I apologize about towards <laughs> Okay, so my suggestion is we poison him, obviously, after his first fight with uh, with Kamikins, and then we try. We well, we have to see first what amulet it is. Then we have to rush to Clint to find a replacement amulet, because in between the the first fight and the second fight, we have to get him to basically put up everything. He needs to bait everything, but if we kill him in the ring, that's also a, a good job. That's a job well After done. After all this discussion, you do only have about an hour before the place opens and the first fight is scheduled. All right. Perfect. Miss Fortunes, I would, like to, I would like to put Kamikins up in the first round against Sir Painters. I'll elect, my, I'll elect myself just to... Just to show off without being brutish in approach. Um, I would like 
sorry, to accidentally on purpose spill my drink down my down my front. And I'll explain why in a minute. Okay. Um but she actually looks at you, Morny, and says, uh you have business with Sir Pentis. You fight Sir Pentis. Oh fuck. I I agree. Those are well thought out terms. Is this, is this literal or metaphorical? <laughs> no, no, Moni now mm. has to. You, you second fight. He goes in. He does his display. He make me money. You then go in. You do your business. Agreed. All right, so Moni is the fight that we need to figure out how to weaken this guy before Moni gets in the ring with him. He's going to be full That's power it. against you, Cammy. It's going to be a fucking slaughterhouse, but hey, we've got you, buddy. As I said before, we can do it with the, the kiss, right? Yep. If you yeah. Different, 100%, pretty much. Yeah, unless unless you want to put spider milk over the guy's face or whatever. Or, 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 or if he has a drink in between fights, that could be another option as well. This is, why, this is why I have accidentally spilled my drink down my front on purpose. I would like to ask. I, I would like to draw attention to my soaking wet self and ask Miss Fortune. I, I seem to have spilled drink all down my front. Could, do, you, do you have, I don't know, employees, uniforms, or something I could borrow just for the time being so that I'm warm? I can pay you a little. Give me a persuasion check with advantage. No, oh, Camigan's fucking brilliant. Oh, Shami, brilliant thinking. Probably a little sus, but might it could work. Oh, oh my god! But there's with advantage, so oh, thank fuck. <laughs> the twelve is enough. Uh, in fact, the reason that she was so offended by the uh, elephant man is because of the man part more than the elephant, and uh, drawing attention to your. Uh, soaking wet leathers uh she she definitely um kind of ums and ahs looks you up and down and definitely takes far too long to come to a decision but in the end she tells you that yes there is a back room where there is some spare uniforms crap him to know I, nice. I give her a wink and a smile and i go back to change crap fuck we should have had shamey running this entire conversation <laughs> <laughs> Backfired. I was like, yeah. I was hoping this would work. It was so, it was so perfect. Shami could have gotten anything to this woman to do anything. But okay, it doesn't we matter. We got, we got, we got a good fight. Married. We've got a good couple fights. All right, um, you know, Shami, you learn uh, when you get married to let the women talk all the time. <laughs> Shami, you are familiar with uh, the Hooters outfit, yes? I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that the outfit? That's, Sorry, that's is that the me. outfit or just the mental picture that you're conjuring for for <laughs> Alpaca? Pretty much both. Uh, it, says <laughs> Hooters, it says Miss Fortans, again, spelled incorrectly. Um, and uh, yeah, you are considered now unarmored and there is nowhere to hide weapons while in this uniform. All right, so show me can oh, absolutely not be part of the fight. Weapons? You think you don't have weapons in this uniform? <laughs> if, if, only, if only we put Mike in that outfit, that actually would have worked. It yes, have. with uh, my stick body, I don't a... think so. You surprised Give me a me. stealth check, Shami, please, to see if you can hide a single dagger somewhere. That wasn't the kind of weapon I was referring to, but I will. I was going to say she's got a pair of them. Yeah, she's already she got two weapons. Cannons. Yep, yep. I'll just say three, but I don't want to go there. Oh, 14. And funnily enough, in between those considerable cannons, uh, you have managed to <laughs> sequester. <laughs> A, a small knife. Nice. All right. So all, of our, all of our members. By, by the way, Shami, it doesn't matter if this breaks into a brawl. I've got mage armor that I can put on anyone that isn't armored. So I can give you armor anyway. So it doesn't matter. We should still be fine. Um, 
Right, I guess we'll wait now for uh, Sir Painters to arrive. Funnily enough, uh, actually not too long to wait. Um, it's, it's about half an hour later. Uh, the doors open to the public and uh, it quickly starts getting crowded. Uh, are you guys waiting in the back room for the fight itself or are you guys waiting in the front room to see Serpentis arrive first? We're waiting in the front room. I see him arrive so we can know what his armor and stuff is. I'm going to kind of pretend to make myself useful since I look like an employee. I'm not going to draw any attention to myself and I'm going to look like I belong here. As a normal guest. Yeah, we are all just normal guests. Okay, okay, so can I get a stealth check from everyone except for Shami? Can I get a performance check from you, please? 19 from me for stealth. Stealth is a what? Dex check? Uh, yeah. Ooh, a tide. 16 for me. 14 for me. Okay, so uh, as uh, the crowd starts filling in and filing in and running into the back room to get a spot close to the uh, action so they can actually smell the blood coming off these people, um, you notice quite a few people you recognize around town, just faces uh, that you've seen often. Um, Andy and Cammy, uh, you are both very quickly noticed. Uh, you're not exactly blending in with the crowd as uh, Pentis comes in. Um, but what you all seem to notice from him is that he doesn't exactly look quick or fast. He actually looks like an elderly gentleman. Uh, he kind of walks in a little bit slowly and occasionally seems to try to hold himself up uh, on passers-by or tables or um, kind of chairs or the backs of people as he makes his way uh, into the back room. Um, but off to the side, he goes through a uh, kind of passageway that leads to uh, what you can assume to be a locker room. Um, Shami, you need to give me a D100 roll, please. Ooh. You earn 82 golden tips. Wow. <laughs> Fucking hell. Seems that seems the cannons have really uh made you a lot of money. Yeah, th those money cannons. <laughs> uh, go, you you clearly went the wrong road. You clearly went the wrong route for making money. Should have played a female. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, you should have played. Should have played a blood elf. Based on Kamikin's uh, reception earlier, if you get your dick out, you'll get it fucking chopped off. So. Oh. Yeah. Definitely not. Okay, so he's now in the back room, right, Apocalypse? Yes. Did we notice uh, an amulet? Not at all, right? No. Uh, in fact, he, he just kind of looks like an elderly robed gentleman. Um, doesn't look to be too imposing in any way, shape, or form. Might be a good idea if Shami or somebody can sneak behind, sneak into the locker room and see if he's got the medallion just sitting around or whatever oh yeah that could actually be a good idea venomous yes. i would so laugh if he left could it you see else. if there are any others like me in here yep i will cut i'll uh, do a uh what's it called um i oh nope that's not it where is it? Yeah, it's eyes great. Uh, that's not it. I believe it's actually Testy that can see if there are any undead aberrations or Fey. Yeah, it's something I can do too. I just don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Um, eyes of the grave. That's it. Yeah, eyes of the grave. All right, can you do? Can you do it? Yep. Yeah, I can do it.
Does this just work? Yeah. Just gives him. Uh, yeah, Eyes of the Grave uses Wiz modifier per long rest. As an action, you can open your awareness to magically detect undead. Till the end of your next turn, you know the location of any undead within 60 feet of you that isn't behind total cover and that isn't protected from divination magic. This sense does not tell you anything about the creature's capabilities or identity. Uh, then, no. There, uh, other than Morny, there's actually no undead at all. I give him the the signal that there's no others like him. Mm -hmm. Can, uh, something that will cut out. Can, uh, can Shamey accidentally wander into the, uh, changing rooms? Maybe to take I, him no, a drink? I'm, I'm gonna, no, that's what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm gonna go back, carrying a tray. I'm gonna go back towards the locker rooms, and I'm just gonna call out and say, you know, does anybody need water a drink anything and just you know kind of walk in the room a little bit Ooh, what if um i just thought about what if you got a a drink on on your tray and it was poisoned by by venomous and then you you tripped and spilled the drink all over the pentos well if, if he wants the drink he'll drink it though and i mean if, it, it, but wait hold up the apocalypse i mean but yeah, but, so. yes so we can poison a drink. If he doesn't accept a drink, I'll just act like I trip and spill it on him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so as you as you make your way to the back room and uh, kind of poke your head around to ask if anybody needs a drink or something, uh, he kind of snaps his fingers uh, very derisively and derogatorily and says, uh, my usual, please, now, wench. And... Uh, you actually get a glimpse of him um, kind of changing for his fight. And uh, he seems to be pretty standard human, although his skin seems to be slightly spiked. Uh, almost as if um, he's not entirely human, but there's something mixed in with him. Um, very humanoid form, but flesh-colored spikes protruding all over his upper torso. Crap. Hmm. I'll bring that. I'll bring that right to you. Bring that right to you, Sir Kempis. What's on the white men and black character? The book. Does she know his favorite drink? Well, I'll just go to the barkeep and be like, "I need Sir Kempis's favorite." I'm sure the barkeep knows. Truth. Uh, yeah, uh, as you do, he uh, mixes up. Um, what looks to be the most colorful cocktail you have ever seen. Uh, it is completely layered of all different colors uh, in a very tall glass. And then he puts a little umbrella in the top. Uh, what color is the poison that, um, that I get from my spider as well as the synthetic uh, stuff? Uh, the spider toxin is, uh, a very milky white kind of liquid, um, very thick, very, um, kind of curdled cream looking kind of color, if that makes sense. Ailies. Um, but the synthetic stuff is completely see-through. Does it have a taste? Okay, I, I go, uh, I'll go over to Shami and slip her the... Uh, synthetic. No, but first, does it have a taste? The synthetic stuff. Will it be tasted if he, if it's in the drink? You don't know unless you try it. Well, I'm not sure trying it. Mike can try it. <laughs> Mike has tried it. Mike can tell us. Mike, does it have a taste or is it sort of tasteless? Oh, what it has it a taste? taste, but he wouldn't know whether or not it could be tasted over the cocktail yeah. itself. I then just but put the, it in and but, fucking hope, I suppose. Well, Pretty go much. order, go order one and like slip it in there and see if you like take yeah, take a sip first and see, and then put some of the synthetic in there and then take a sip and see if you can tell a difference. Like then we'll know, right? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, fucking do that. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. Fakro, thank you very much for something. You really fucking appreciate that 11 months in a row. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, another one gets mixed up for you very quickly. And can you give me a constitution saving throw at disadvantage, please, Mike? Oh, this is where all of us die in this fucking bar. Nothing me explodes. This is how Apocalypse decided to end the session. Everyone's dead. One's died by poison, another one. <laughs> My face caved in. Ackle, you're, you're just socked in the face. Uh, nine and a 20. Yeah. Uh, with the nine, um, you, you down the cocktail. You can definitely taste the uh, kind of synthetic poison. Uh, that's not what has an effect, but the cocktail itself is so potent uh, that you kind of take a couple of steps back and black out, falling headfirst into the bar. Uh, and can you take one point of bludgeoning damage, please, as you are now unconscious. <laughs> you black <laughs> with those points. <laughs> Had well, nothing to do fantastic. with the poison. It's definitely the cocktail itself. But but he could taste the poison on the. Well, we'll just try it. We'll just try it. Like maybe he'll take a big old drink and then he'll he'll not notice until it's too late. It's, it, the 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 taste of the cocktail itself is very colorful. Would, would you say? Definitely, definitely. Uh, for those of you Taste that were close rainbow. to Mike as he, uh, fell unconscious, you went, ooh, that's not, uh, and then just completely passed out. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, we don't know, he wouldn't have told us if, uh, if it tasted like anything, yeah. so yeah, just put it in there. Fuck it. We'll just give it a try. So, uh, I will pour the synthetic... Uh, poison into Serpentis' remaining drink and uh, take that back to him and offer him the drink. You know, pressure make it uh, suck. Enough. So as you as you make your way into the back room again, um, you uh, kind of see him fully dressed and he seems to have perked up. Uh, he seems to be doing some fancy footwork, bouncing up and down, uh, very butterfly floating, bee stinging kind of kind of imagery and uh he takes the drink from the tray doesn't thank you doesn't tip you downs it in one shatters the glass on the floor and then screams very sorry or... oh okay do you ooh, you could you could offer him another wait never mind crap mice blacked out on the floor I'd say you could offer him another one, but that would that probably wouldn't work because you got a blacked out snake. You're not entirely sure you managed to completely pick out the words from what he screamed, but it sounded like thought you had a friend boy and then unintelligible. Uh, Alrighty, well good 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 luck in your fights. Um I'm just gonna go back to work. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I am super intrigued by by this character. I want to know the fight. I want to see the fight happen now. Drink a you drink a beer or a cocktail, and you you just smashed your head on the on the bar. I mean, out of character. So, uh, as uh, a little bit of time progresses and uh, fighters have been prepared, um, the the kind of ringing of the bell starts to call everyone to the to the pit that can fit in and uh can i get a uh strength saving throw uh from everyone in the party that is trying to watch this first bout of serpentis versus randomer oh i'm working so i'm not watching how does the <laughs> how does the saving throw work apocalypse so underneath your stat block, you'll have a saving throws block. You roll a d20 and add that modifier. Okay, spell save DC, right? No, that's uh, to Ooh. save against your spells. So it should say saving throws. Uh, but what is your strength modifier? Uh, it's zero. It's zero. So it's just d20 straight up. So you have a zero on that, yeah. Because you're not proficient in strength saving throws as a warlock. Three. Fuck me. I'm not going to get in to see this fight where Cammy gets fucking oh, wrecked. No. This is not against Cammy. Cammy is not 
entered into the fights. This is the pre-arranged fight between Serpentis and someone from the town. And uh, it will be Serpentis versus Morny to settle syndicate business. Ooh. Okay. That's a six. Uh, Cammy, why did you roll twice? Because I had um, proficiency, so I... Isn't yeah, that... that's not advantage. All right, then. So you got an hour. Uh, Cammy got pushed out of the crowd and uh, definitely cannot get a seat at the table, so to speak, uh, to, to watch the fight and is actually pushed to the very back uh, and cannot see a thing. Uh, Mike, you you just... You're, you're unconscious. People are leaving you alone. They actually don't want to touch you, uh, funnily enough. You <laughs> seem to be uh, exuding a very colorful liquid out of your mouth. Uh, that <laughs> might or might not be vomit, might just be stuff you didn't actually manage to swallow before you passed out. Yes, uh, but alrighty. Echo and Testy, you uh, you do manage to actually push your way into not the front of the crowd, but you can at least get a sight of the ring and uh, see most of what's going on. And uh, it's a very weird sight. Uh, you see this man who who when he walked into the establishment, was was holding on to people, was was needing to, to get a hand to kind of move, is now bouncing around and uh, is absolutely light on his feet and seems to be very pumped up. Um, but he seems to be wearing a martial arts robe, uh, almost like a, a gi type of um, attire. And... Uh, Across the, the pit from him, across the ring from him, is a uh, very well-built, uh, what looks to be uh, like the blacksmith, or at least somebody who was working at the smithy. Very top-heavy, broad shoulders, very big arms, definitely skipped leg day. And uh, mm -hmm. you, see them, you see them prepare, do the knuckle cracking, neck cracking, the bell goes, and before you can even blink, Serpentis is across the room, and you just see fists flying. And you, you, you all know the ye olde ballad of the Matrix, uh, when uh, the hero, uh, Sir Neo, was, was just being absolutely pummeled in the ribs by, by a particular Mr. Weaving. That is happening, but to the face. And this guy is just getting beaten into the ground. Fuck. We have an anime style fight, folks. So our poison literally didn't do shit. I At least not from what At we least... can tell. Can I use him? Well, I couldn't because I don't know what he looked like uh, in, in normal circumstances. So I wouldn't know if he's at least slowed down a little, right? By the poison. If anything, he's sped up since you last saw him. When he entered, he was he was just uh, an elderly gentleman holding on to people to make his way through the through the through the place. Now he is moving faster than you can actually see. Right. Okay. So I'm assuming the guy, uh, the blacksmith, is dead. Right. He is taking a beating, but he is not dead. Uh, as the uh, fight progresses, you you see the uh, commoner try to try to break free of the the barrage of fists multiple times and, and occasionally gets away, only to be swarmed and jumped on again. Um, but then the bell rings, and they each uh, retreat to their corner of of the pit, and uh, Serpentis just absolutely fine he is still light on his feet he's bouncing around he is amir khaning all up in that place whereas the smithy sat on the sand he is just bleeding from a broken face just heavily breathing and you just see a white towel float to the ground however no one moves to stop the fight Might be a good time to for might be a good time to try an Arcana check and see if he's got enhancements. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Give me an Arcana check. Do you want me to do it? I've got bonus Arcana. Yeah. All right. Seventeen. He doesn't seem to be resonating any magic. He does have an amulet on him, but it's not resonating an enchantment at all. 
Right. Okay, so oh, well, whatever, sure. whatever this amulet could be, it's not magical. Or the magic could be impossible to, to spot. Yeah, I suspect that it's either it's either the amulet's super subtle or it's actually that like um he's whatever free whatever type of human he is, it's like yeah, a weird mutant. And I'd understand that that I'm to fight him next, or is that canon? That will be you morning. Um Lovely. when the bout comes round, but currently he's still fighting the commoner himself and uh the bow goes again and uh this guy stands up and he, he tries to shake off some of the blood tries to shake off some of the the kind of fuzz that's creeping into his brain and uh again quicker than you can blink serpentis is across the room and pummeling this guy and just absolutely making him look like a a rag doll just suplexing the boy into the sand and uh, just smashing his face in. Fuck, He's just Morty. not stopping. Good luck, Morny. At this point in time, I uh, make my way over to Andy, out of the crowd. And uh, tell him to... Well, no. Now that I know where this amulet is, can I make my way to Clint? Can I leave the establishment and, and rush over to Clint? Because I've now seen the amulet, right? Uh, I, I, I now know what it looks like. You can certainly try. Um, by the time you get over to Clint's to start a conversation, um, by the rate at which this fight is going, Morny may be dead already. Question. Intoxicants and stimulants, are they akin to poisons? Sometimes. Um, right. First chance I get before Morny uh, gets knocked out, I want to lay a hands on uh, that priest to try to nullify any poisons slash stimulants slash intoxicants. Uh, Hold which, up, you've lost me. And which priest? Oh. Th the guy who likes to play with little boys that's like being Mr. Speed. Sir Pintus. Oh, he's not a priest. Yeah, he's though. not a priest. Uh, but Moni's not in the fight yet either. This is still first Well, round. I want to work my way over to that. That way, like, when the door opens up and I want to be right there when uh, the guy goes back into the ring when he goes up against Morney because I want to brush my hands up against him to... Uh, Try and neutralize poisons. Sexual. How come? But the poison. Okay. Well, you can do that. I've got a different plan though. When the fight is over, like something that I'm, I'm gonna talk to Sir Painters. I'm gonna make him a, an offer he can't refuse. Please make sure it's his business, like I mentioned before. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, as the uh, massacre continues within the pit, uh, the commoner is just absolutely reduced to a pulp. Um, you are fairly convinced that at some stage, Serpentis got bored of just beating this guy to death and actually set himself a challenge to break every bone in alphabetical order. Oh, and has succeeded. Me. Jesus, the poor guy. Worse than I thought. Now, this guy is a fucking beast. Holy shit. All right. So when when is this guy dead? When's the fight over? Oh, he's dead. He's still getting beaten into the ground. So he's like, basically, it's like an animal. Interesting. Yeah. All right. What morning? And Good. you have three minutes real time to come up with the plan before the bell is called to signal the end of this current match. Uh, I'm I make my way over to the door of his. Uh, is there time between each match, or is it match of the match of the match of the match? 
There will be some wipe down time to remove the body. Yes. Will he go back to his uh, dressing room or stay in the ring, so to speak? They go to their locker room. All right. I make my way over to the door of the locker room to intercept him before he enters the locker room. At this point, just before I do, I, I stop by Andy. Andy, when he makes his way back into the ring, you will steal that necklace. Regardless of whether he catches you or not, make sure that you hand the necklace off to Shamey before he catches you. The deal I'm about to make is foolproof. We just need him not to have that locket. Just out of curiosity, how long am I KO'd for? Um, about an hour. So until the business has concluded at four tons. So this dude has a rope and he has the thing around his neck? Yes. There's no way that's not a roll in disadvantage for me. Would it be a roll in disadvantage, Apocalypse? To do what? To remove the necklace. Neck. It depends on circumstances around it. Uh, if you're just walking up to him and just being like, yoink, then yes, massive disadvantage. No, the idea sure. is that I stand in the crowd and he passes by me. As he is just past me, I take it, you know, like slightly from behind. Yes, it, it would be a disadvantage unless you had another distraction. All right. So the distraction will actually be the distraction will be as follows, right? Um, Kamikins will use a, pers uh, a performance check, right, to intimidate uh, this man, right? Basically saying, if it was me in that ring, you would have lost. Basically getting up in his face. Then you will use sleight of hand against this guy now that he is distracted by Kamikins. Use sleight of hand to remove the necklace. You'll then hand the, ne the necklace off to Shamey, who will get out as quick as fucking possible out of the establishment. Well, that so it's all us... riding on good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, make sure yeah. Make sure doesn't get slugged in the face and probably. Shami, you had something to say? I mean, I was wondering if he was going to go to his locker room, and I have a dagger in my cleavage. Uh, can I just wait for him to slit his throat and disappear before anybody notices? I hereby dub it the cannon shank. <laughs> yeah. I I so Okay. So it is definitely an option. You could try that for sure. If he um, has the but... amulet on, he's gonna no he's gonna be faster than you. So if you try to slit his throat, he's probably gonna pummel you into the fucking ground. Just wanna point that out. If he out. doesn't Yeah, but not if he doesn't know I'm in the room. If I enter the room before he does and there's someplace I can hide, I I, I got a chance. I, I mean, you may have the fastest retraction time in the world, but uh, you have to have react to something. So she gets her first action off. It depends on how good she is. I asked so plus seven it, to self. Planning time is over. There are many places to hide in the locker room. Uh, they are called lockers. And uh, you would be able to fit in one of them to jump out and shank him. Uh, if that is the plan. Echo is stood over by the locker room to talk to him before he goes in. What is the plan? Let's go with I'm my plan. My way towards the ring. So here's what I'm going to... I'm going to tell him, right? That we are willing to bet, bet the entire Lord Shank's business. Fortunes and everything that we have just reclaimed. If he will make the same bet with us to fight uh, Morny, the leader of the Lord, Lord Shanks family, right? He's most likely going to take that bet because Lord Shanks still has a name. Uh, the Shanks business still has a name. I'm going to tell him then that it is a non-refundable uh, non bet. So if for any reason he wishes to back out, he forfeits his business. So that means even if he notices that the amulet is wrong, gone and his strength is gone, he has to take the fight with Morny. If he backs out, he forfeits his, his entire empire. There is no going back on this. 
So all we need to do is get out with the necklace without him fucking realizing it, and we've done it. If he even get his attention, or if he cares. So which plan do you want to go with? We can I try. know, we I'm... Can... Sorry, go ahead, Shammy. I was going to say, we can try Earth. I, I'm not opposed. I mean, you could sit in the locker room regardless, and just, like, if it, it's a fallback, just take the... Take his throat out. I sit. I, I enter the, the the locker room and I sit down in a very mafia esque kind of way, <laughs> waiting for him to enter his locker room. You got in. Oh. Okay, so you're waiting for him in the locker room. Shami, are you going to be in the locker room as well to to jump out? Should should it be needed? I'm yeah, I think you should. Hiding in the locker. Hiding in okay. the locker. If things uh, morning, go wrong with said... me. Shami, if, th if things go wrong with me and you see he's trying to pummel me, you, sli you slit his throat. So I'll be the distraction for you to fucking kill him. All right? Good job. Okay. Morny, you are being directed to uh, a small hatch to get into the pit, um, but you're being asked to wait until the body is cleared for your fight. Um, and uh, Shami, can you give me a stealth check, please? Damien, how you doing, bro? Ooh. That's a bitch. Oh, my God. Echo, are you trying to help her or? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll help her. I'll help her get into the locker. So roll again. Oh, oh my God, that fuck. <laughs> so on her own, she, she couldn't actually get the locker door closed uh, because her her considerable cannons kept popping it back open again. Um, but with, with your help, you do actually manage to get the door closed in such a fashion that it can be opened by her from the inside. All right, cool stuff. I go sit down in the corner, crossing my legs yeah, and waiting. Breath. And at that point, we will end the session. Fuck! <laughs> I... Oh my Stuffed god. Stuffed in a locker for a week. I'm so interested in knowing what the <laughs> fuck's gonna happen here. Oh wow, I'm so interested in knowing what's gonna happen here. But yeah, That's I cool. have to I have to switch off everything now. Power's going out in about yeah. literally 30 minutes. So this okay, is gonna be have fun. a good one, y'all. Yeah. Thank you very much for the game, yeah. Morning. Apocalypse, thank, thank you. you very much for this fucking session. It it ended. On a very high fucking note, I am I am so interested in knowing what's happening next. <laughs> oh Such my god! That's me. I am dying to know what's happening next. And uh, for those of you in the chat that think that this is completely scripted and all written out, I had zero notes for this session, by the way. Shit. So all of this is happening in real time. On the fly. On the spot. Yeah. That's a sign, <laughs> that's a sign of, a, of a good DM. When they can oh, make yeah. a flowing story on the spot. This was that. The, knowing this now, it's actually fucking amazing. Because uh, Alex should clip this bit and put it at the beginning of this session for YouTube. Just so people know that this entire fucking scr this entire session was unplanned. Don't ruin the mystery. That's that's a live streaming bonus right there. These guys get to see behind the scenes just a little bit. It doesn't need to be in the video. True. I'll I'll leave it up to Alex to decide what the fuck he wants to do. But um anyways, guys, I'm quickly going to say goodbye to the stream and then I'm going to switch off my uh PC. So thank you so much for the D&D shenanigans. Uh I will see you guys Bye, uh I will see you guys again. Yeah. Say goodbye to the stream everyone. Bye, Bye stream. Peace, Peace out stream. I have a good time. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, yes, it is now time for me to say good night. Uh, my power is going out in exactly 28 minutes. Uh, it is scheduled load shading once again. They let us know uh, when was it? 12 o'clock this afternoon that we have load shading until Sunday. So I will be out tomorrow night for tomorrow for about 
five hours and then on sunday for five hour five hours as well but we should be back half an hour before the sunday night show show starts for um like my power should be back half an hour before um yeah before the sunday night show show starts so for now sunday night show show is still on i will see all of you on sunday thank you so much for hanging out with me i really appreciate all of you thank you so much for all the gifted subs the subs Take care of yourselves. Have a, a wonderful weekend. And remember, I am usually on Discord during the weekend, so you're more than welcome to come hang out whenever you see me in one of the voice channels there. Um, regardless, you know, what, whatever we're playing, you are always welcome to come say hello. I will see all of you on Sunday. Peace out, fam.